Chapter 1152 The enormous mothership floated in the pitch-black cosmos. Fancien's complexion was snow-white. She clenched her teeth, her expression incomparably unsightly. The ancient saint grade five elements Mecca had been destroyed, and the five great experts had all been wiped out. How could this be? Her appearance was unmatched. She looked at the five soul patterns that had disappeared from the crystal wall, feeling extremely unsatisfied and uncomfortable. He was clearly just a Tao Severer, and no matter how astonishing his bloodline was, he was still far from ancient saints. However, he displayed such terrifying power and caused such serious consequences. It was hard for people to accept. We must seize the five secret force seeds. They were found in the ruins of ancient deities. I don't know how they are now, but they might be useful in the future, said an elder. They had obtained great benefits from the ruins, such as the ancient pill refinement method and the damaged formation that sealed the heavens. Meanwhile, the five element seeds couldn't be considered all that dazzling at first. At first, there wasn't anything special about them, but in recent years, they swept out with five elements divine light, and only then did they gradually blossom with brilliance. The losses this time are too disastrous. The expressions of the people on the mothership were all gloomy. The heavy price made people feel suffocated. These were elite and mysterious ancient divine Mecca, and the loss of any one of them was enough to make an ordinary family suffer greatly. Even though the foundations of the heavenly hall's plunderers were powerful, they still couldn't withstand such losses. This was a disaster that made people want to vomit blood. The price is too great. Van Sien's snow-white face was filled with anger, shock, and even more regret. In order to deal with Yi Fan, they actually caused such terrifying consequences. The gains didn't make up for the losses. To be more precise, they didn't obtain anything, and the losses were disastrous for nothing. Under the ice-cold starry sky, Yi Fan quietly stood there, many metal fragments floating around him. The five seed-like splendor flowed about, gradually dimming. Five-colored divine light! This was the most original thing among the five mecha, and one could tell with a single glance that it was a rare item. The splendor was disappearing, continuously dimming. The ancient deity's aura was becoming weaker about to return to nothingness. Yi Fan used the army character formula, absorbing the five streaks of divine light. They curled around the tip of his finger, and he lowered his head to carefully observe them. Every seed was sparkling and translucent, and there were ancient deity runes on them. They were glistening with a mysterious strange power, gently fluctuating, spreading like ripples. It can't last long. It won't take long for them to dry up. Yi Fan's heart stirred, and his Yuan Shin flew out. The little golden person opened its mouth and sucked in all five seeds. Immediately, the little golden person's body flickered with the radiance of the five elements. One after another, ancient runes flickered on the surface of the small golden person's body. He quickly resonated with them capturing every strand of aura and branding them in his heart. These five secret forest seeds grew dim, quickly disintegrating within the golden little figure's body, unable to exist for long. However, there were many divine chains of order that interweaved, and in the final moment of disintegration, the most fundamental thing was revealed. Capture it, we must engrave it! The golden little person released great radiance firmly remembering every single ancient symbol, arranging them in his sea of consciousness, earnestly comprehending them. This was the five elements, the world's most terrifying power. By grasping it, one could control all things in this world, standing above all sages. This is a type of divine skill of the ancient gods of eternal kingdom. It turned into a secret power seed and was preserved. I obtained it. Yi Fan was pleasantly surprised. 
Any source of life, any star field, or even the entire universe could be explained by the five elements. This was a supreme power. The five elements were the root, constructing the world, transforming it into the universe and the galaxy. This was the foundation. How could Yi Fan not be surprised to obtain such a divine skill seed? He constantly analyzed, repeatedly deduced, and wanted nothing more than to completely grasp it. This was the secret skill of the ancient gods, so it was naturally broad and profound. He quickly entered a state of enlightenment, his mind completely immersed in it, and his whole body emitted the divine light of the five elements. The five secret force seeds dispersed, and the various symbols on the surface of the small golden person's body also disappeared. Everything returned to nothingness, but Yi Fan remembered the perfect imprint of the origin. The previous secret force was the divine power left behind by the ancient gods. Now, it had finally been annihilated, but the most precious imprint had been passed down. As long as Yi Fan was strong enough, he could condense his own divine power in the future. The most precious thing is not the empery in five elements mech itself, but the five secret force seeds within it. This is really delightful! Yi Fan could not help but laugh out loud. Although the light blue mech was destroyed and he did not obtain a single piece of the five elements mech, he was still in a good mood. After all, the mech was an external object. It was like an ancient sacred weapon that was stolen. It could only be used, but it was not the foundation of one's cultivation. However, this five elements divine light was different. It could improve his cultivation and increase his combat power. If he could advance a little further, he would not need the mech. He would be able to block it with his bare hands and tear apart the ancient sacred weapon of war. I want to break through. Just one more step and I can go anywhere in the entire star field. Yi Fan did not leave this place. He believed that Fan Xian and the rest would definitely be searching for him in the fairy Feather Star Ocean. Instead of going out and risking his life, he might as well stay here and cultivate. He had set up the heaven-deceiving stratagem and could not see through this place. Even the various space carriers with high-level star field deities' eyes could not detect him. Time flowed like water. For half a month, Yi Fan's body glowed with the five elements' divine light from time to time. He swept away the pieces of the mech in the distance and collected them again to continue his training. Clang, clang, clang. Another half a month passed. The sound of swords rang out and five swords rose up behind him. They lined up in a row and were filled with a chaotic aura. It was a majestic sight that shook the entire star field. Yi Fan studied the secret techniques of the ancient deities and finally had some understanding. He opened up the five elements' divine light again and gathered the secret force. With a sweep, everything in the universe was destroyed. He fumbled around and tested it again and again. The result was amazing and he displayed extraordinary combat power. Once the five elements' divine light appeared, it could be used for both offense and defense. Yi Fan found that the five elements' divine light could be used to sweep away enemies and everything in the universe. The effect was amazing. Yi Fan was still in seclusion. He studied it seriously and consolidated his Tao fruit. He wanted to improve it further. Only after another month did he let out a long sigh and stand up. This is as far as I can go. I need to slowly study it and experience it in actual combat. He was already very satisfied with this. He had unexpectedly obtained a divine technique that was not inferior to the secret technique of the ancient sovereign scriptures. It was a peerless ultimate technique. Yi Fan put away the talisman carved from the Enlightenment ancient tea tree and unsealed the heaven deceiving stratagem. He returned to the outside world and floated in the universe, preparing to enter the Eternal Lord planet.
If there is the third stage of the evolution fluid, then there must be the fourth stage. If I can get my hands on it, I might be able to shorten a hundred years and directly advance to a higher realm, he muttered to himself. In this star field, the evolution fluid was a treasure. All the major forces attached great importance to it, and were all thinking of ways to refine it. It could be said to be a heaven-defying shortcut. Different star fields had different paths. This was the difference between the great civilizations, and they all had their own strengths. However, Yi Fan knew that to extract the fourth stage of the evolution fluid was an extremely difficult and illusory task. This was because in the fairy feather star ocean, even the third stage of the evolution fluid had not appeared for many years. The fourth stage was simply a myth. According to the records, someone in the fairy feather star ocean had successfully extracted it 5,000 years ago. It was too long ago. The fairy feather star, the original demon star, and the divine land are three smaller star fields that surround the eternal lord planet. I believe there must be an exciting divine liquid in the center. Yi Fan was hopeful. The journey in the star field was very monotonous. Yi Fan planned to go to the fairy feather star first, and then go to the eternal lord planet. The pure heavens was not a real life star. It was just the base of the plunderers in the fairy feather star ocean. The fairy feather star was the origin of this smaller star field. Boom! Suddenly, a huge light beam was shot from the front. This was an extremely powerful thermal weapon. When traveling in the void of the universe, it could destroy a large number of meteorites in an instant to ensure that the route was smooth. Now, someone was using such a weapon to deal with Yi Fan. It was extremely terrifying. If he was hit, he would most likely be in big trouble. Swoosh! Yi Fan moved ten miles to the side and avoided the light beam. A huge warship came from the depths of the dark universe and launched a fierce attack on him. The people from the heaven are really persistent. They have so much patience and have not retreated. Yi Fan was surprised and then frowned. His feet moved with the row word art, changing unpredictably. He moved in the darkness and attacked forward wishing to board this enormous ship. It's really him. Stop attacking. Perform the space jump immediately and return to the mother ship. The person in charge of the ship ordered. This was a huge warship that could perform long-distance space jumps. It was sent into the starry sky to search for Yifan. In the past two months, the Brahmin race had invested a lot of manpower and resources because they were really angry. Even the pure heavens could not bear the loss of so many ancient sage mechas. They did not obtain the immortal blood and suffered heavy losses. They went for wool and came home shorn. What? He appeared? I want to meet him personally. The leader of the heaven, Fan Zhou, said. I'll go too. Fan Xian clenched her fists. Her pretty face was cold. In the next moment, the huge mother ship jumped into the stargate and appeared in the starry sky. It quickly chased after the coordinates where Yi Fan had appeared. He can't escape. Search for him. Fan Xian's expression was cold. This serious expression gave her a unique charm. She stared at the screen in the main control room and gritted her teeth. Not good. There are changes in the heaven. The Chi family of the immortal Feather Star has ambushed our pure heavens. Suddenly, an urgent alarm sounded. The whole mothership was in chaos. Damn it! They attacked right after we left. They have been planning this for a long time. An elder of the Brahmin race on the ship roared. Oh no, they stole part of the evolution fluid. When the news reached them, Fan Zhou, Fan Xian, and the others' expressions changed. They immediately ordered to reinforce them. They could not let them escape. Qi Meng is among them. 
She was captured by us for a period of time. She is very familiar with the pure heavens. Later, when their ancestor came, we were pressured to let her go. I never thought that she would be the one leading the way. Yi Fan flew up from a meteorite. Seeing them leave, he looked pensive. He then set up a chessboard formation platform and crossed the starry sky. He wanted to follow them and take a look. He wanted to fish in troubled waters because he lacked an ancient sage mecca. It was very inconvenient to travel in this country. Boom! The flames of war reached the sky. Blazing light burned. A great battle was going on in the starry sky outside the heaven. Countless battleships and ancient sage mecca were fighting. At the same time, there were also motherships fighting. Great Tao runes and beams of light flooded the area. It was terrifying. This is a good chance. Hey! Yi Fan used the deceiving heaven formation to hide his aura. He then used the secret technique of the celestial court to hide himself in the void. He was invisible. He moved toward the huge battleship and prepared to land. Chapter 1153 Yi Fan boarded a giant ship. The cold metal flowed with fine symbols. The fusion of the great Tao and technology made it extremely sturdy. This was a rare material that had been refined hundreds of millions of times. Divine laws interweaved. From time to time, enormous flames would erupt. Terrifying energy surged. The void was densely packed and extremely dangerous. It had become a land of destruction. The battle between the two sides had reached its climax. No one noticed him. All of his aura was concealed by the formation patterns as he mixed into the battlefield and waited for an opportunity. Chi family, you've gone too far. An elder from the Brahmin race roared angrily. His divine senses spread into the cosmos as he controlled an ancient mech to charge forward. Yi Fan stared at this war tool. His eyes flickered with light as he said, Not bad, but it's too difficult to seize it. So, a fiery red ancient mech flew up and rushed towards the Brahmin race's elder. It brandished a flaming divine blade and was like a divine phoenix bathed in immortal flames. The fluctuations of the saint level were boundless. A sea of divine force appeared between the two. More than thirty small spaceships exploded in succession, metal fragments flying in all directions. Then black holes appeared one after another, separating the two sides and turning them into the source of destruction. A grand battle began. It was carried out everywhere. The giant motherships were the most terrifying. They could easily destroy large amounts of planets. They could also activate light screens to protect their own fleet. Hong! A 500 John Long ship exploded, metal fragments flying in all directions. Many small warships were affected and destroyed one after another. Yi Fan frowned. A large scale battle in the starry skies was cruel as expected. Death could arrive at any time. Chi family, you will pay the price! The Brahmin race's people roared. The Chi family's people retorted. They sneered and said, Heaven's plunderers, you can only blame yourselves. First, you stole our heaven's mandate rock. Later on, our clan's sacred ancestor descended and made an agreement with you. Only then did you agree to give us the evolutionary liquid. Only then did the war end. This time, they went smoothly. They broke into the plunderer's pure land and directly seized a portion of the precious liquid. If not for the evolutionary liquid being divided into several portions and not stored in one place, they would have directly plundered it all. Hong! In the distance, the mechas of the ancient sages were engaged in a great battle. Near them, the symbols of the ancient gods flickered. Both sides were engaged in a life and death battle. Firearms, weapons of the great Tao, and all sorts of other weapons were brought out at the same time. This was a chaotic place. 
From time to time, there would be spaceships exploding, turning into fireworks-like sparks that were exceptionally resplendent in the starry sky. The battleship that Yi Fan boarded was 3,000 Zhang Long, and its interior was very spacious. There were experts guarding it, but there was no ancient sage mech. He wandered around and searched through a few battleships. Unfortunately, none of them existed. Ancient saint-level mechas were too precious, and the Brahmin race did not have many of them. The remaining ones were probably on the mothership. Yi Fan waited patiently next to the mothership. He stroked his chin and said, Don't tell me they've been overwhelmed after I destroyed the Five Elements armor and can't send them out. In the end, he boarded the mothership. He was confident that as long as the saint did not appear, he would be safe. Enemy attack! Suddenly, a loud alarm sounded. The moment Yi Fan entered, many symbols flashed. He had been discovered. He was not discovered by a scan, but by a person. This caused his hair to stand on end. It seemed like an ancient sage, a person with flesh and blood. You're quite bold to dare to board the mothership. The middle-aged man who looked like he was valiant raised his fist and punched over. Yi Fan's scalp went numb. He really felt the aura of a saint. He had never thought that he would meet such a huge person the moment he appeared. He had no choice but to brace himself and fight. At this moment, he raised his physical strength to the limit. Since the other party was attacking him with his physical body, he did not want to injure him badly. And no, it's far from the real body. When the two clashed, Yi Fan revealed a strange expression. Although the other party's mana waves were terrifying, they were not as invincible as he had imagined. Could this be a clone? Brat, could you be that indestructible golden body? You can actually fight against my clone. The middle-aged man revealed a strange expression. This was a battle physique cultivated from the flesh and blood of an ancient saint. Moreover, a strand of his primordial spirit had entered it. His physical body was definitely at the ancient sage level. Although his mana was lacking, it was still stronger than a half-saint. Hey, as long as you're not a real ancient sage. Yi Fan relaxed completely and took the initiative to attack. Boom! A great battle erupted. The ancient sage's expression changed. He opened a screen of light and opened the super training field inside the mothership. Otherwise, he was afraid that the holy ship would be destroyed. What happened? Inside the mothership, the important members of the Brahmin race were shocked. When they saw what happened, all of them were dumbfounded. The battle physique created from the flesh and blood of an ancient sage was actually suppressed by Yi Fan and was coughing up large mouthfuls of blood. Swoosh! Behind Yi Fan, the five colored divine light swept over, and the ancient sage ancestor tumbled twice, blood dripping from the corner of his mouth. Fan Xian was almost petrified. Her small cherry like mouth was wide open and her eyes were wide open. She had never thought that Yi Fan would be so powerful. Impossible! This is a battle physique created from the flesh and blood of an ancient sage. How can it not stop him? Brahma cried out. This is too inconceivable. Even the Brahmin race's giant Brahma was muttering to himself, his eyes blazing with light. There was not a single person who wasn't shocked. This toppled their understanding. A Tao severing realm expert could beat an ancient sage until his flesh bled. This was like a fantasy story. He has the true indestructible golden body, not a few generations later. His golden blood is very pure, the ancient sage battle physique said in the middle of the battle. He had been artificially created and his divine sense was a true strand of a saint's. He had vast knowledge and experience, and after suffering a great loss in a real battle, he naturally understood. Stop him, 
We have to make him stay. Fan Zhou was trembling from excitement. The first generation indestructible golden body was far more powerful than the later generations, and its value was immeasurable. Every single drop of refined golden blood was comparable to the most powerful precious medicine. This type of physique was difficult to produce even out of billions of people in a hundred thousand years. The first generation had nothing to do with their parents, and it was completely natural. Hurry, don't attack the Chi clan anymore. Let them leave and do everything we can to make him stay. Fan Shou ordered. If it was the first generation indestructible golden body, its blood would be incomparably precious, and its value would multiply several times. It was even more precious than the lost portion of the evolution liquid. If it is refined with all of its power after a few generations, the precious blood's divinity will flow out. However, the true first generation is different, and it can continuously produce golden divine blood. An elder from the Brahmin race said excitedly. Then, he ordered everyone to seal up this information and not let it leak out. Yi Fan was rather gloomy. He wanted to fish in troubled waters, but he did not expect to block a disaster for the Chi clan. He was being targeted, and the fleet of battleships was about to be freed. Hey, you guys don't have to go that far, right? I'm just here to see if there are any ancient sacred mechas. I'm not here to raid your base like the immortal Feather Chi clan did. Yi Fan did not dare to continue fighting, and he charged out. Stop him, don't let him leave, a group of people shouted. At the same time, two ancient sacred mechas returned from afar, and they were about to enter the mothership to deal with Yi Fan. Do you really think I'm easy to bully? Yi Fan swung his golden fists, and the ancient sacred's physical body was pushed back, and blood spurted out of its mouth. This was his current combat ability. He did not use magic, and he only fought with his physical body. After obtaining the evolution liquid and breaking through to the eighth heaven of the severing Tao, he became this powerful. I'll beat you up! I'll beat your ancestors! Yi Fan cursed. The group of people all felt dizzy. They were so hateful that the roots of their teeth were itching. From a certain perspective, the battle body created from the flesh and blood of a saint really was one of their ancestors. However, when Yi Fan said this, they all felt very uncomfortable. Bang! The saint's physical body was beaten until it bled, and its body was covered in wounds. It was actually suppressed by Yi Fan and everyone was shocked. Finally, the two ancient sacred mechas returned. Yi Fan immediately turned around, took out the matrix platform, and stepped into the space gate. He left the mothership, and he did not want to be surrounded and killed by all the forces from the heaven. Chase, don't let him escape! The mothership started to move, and it scanned the entire sea of stars. What made them dizzy was that Yi Fan immediately rushed out and disappeared into the fleet of Qi clan battleships. Behind him, Fan Zhou and his people could only chase after him. The Qi clan was puzzled. Just now, the people from the heaven had retreated, and they did not expect that they would suddenly come back and start a fierce battle. I don't want to be the scapegoat of others. You guys can carry on. However, I am going to the Immortal Feather Star, and I can hitch a ride. Otherwise, I won't know where I am, Yi Fan said to himself. He rushed towards the Chi clan's mothership. This time, he was more careful, afraid that he would provoke another ancient sacred beast. Fortunately, no accidents happened. This guy has many secrets. He entered the Immortal Feather Chi clan's holy ship. This is going to be tricky. The battle body created from the flesh and blood of the ancient sacred beast had a light beam that was hundreds of miles long, and it could see everything clearly. They could not make any noise. Otherwise, if the indestructible golden body fell into the hands of the enemy, the losses would be even greater. 
They could only resist the urge to curse and chase after him. The leaders of the Chi clan also had the urge to curse. They realized that the people from the heaven had gone crazy, and their attacks were even more ferocious than before. Yi Fan entered the mothership and did not find any monsters. However, he did not dare to wander around unscrupulously. He planned to hide and leave immediately when he reached the immortal feather star. Little friend Yi, as long as you return to the pure land of the heaven with me, I will immediately betroth Fan Xian to you. If there is any trouble, I am willing to die, Fan Zhou swore. With the help of the battle body created from the ancient sacred beast's flesh and blood, he sent a divine thought into Yi Fan's ears. Although it was dozens of miles away, he could hear it clearly. On the side of the Brahma clan, everyone was shocked, especially Fan Xian. She opened her mouth and wanted to say something. Her beautiful eyes were wide open, and her face was full of shock. I am serious, Fan Zhou said. Let me think about it for half a year, Yi Fan said lazily. He entered the Qi clan's mothership and was very relaxed. He knew that the people from the heaven did not dare to let him be exposed. Inside the holy ship, it was very spacious. There was an armory, a dining area, and a resting area. It had everything. This was a large base, and there was space law inside. It was many times larger than it looked from the outside. Unknowingly, he came to the resting area and entered a room that looked very luxurious and comfortable. In his opinion, there was a war going on outside, and no one would be resting here. Both of you go ahead and fight. I will rest here and recover my energy. When we reach the Immortal Feather Star, I will automatically leave this car. Yi Fan lay on a soft bed. The pillow, which was carved from the Nine Heavens Sacred Jade, was emitting a precious light. The quilt, which was refined from the feathers of the Golden Crow, was warm and comfortable. All of this was extraordinary. Half a quarter of an hour later, he suddenly opened his eyes. Someone had come, and they were actually rushing towards this room. The door opened, and a slim figure appeared. She was beautiful, and her hair was shiny. She was wearing a feather robe, and she looked like a fairy from the Nine Heavens. You! Who are you? Why are you lying on my bed? You have entered the wrong room. The Chi clan leader said that this room is temporarily occupied by me, Yi Fan said shamelessly. Nonsense, you! Get up! The beautiful girl was angry. Chapter 1154 This was a young woman. Her appearance was dreamlike, beautiful to the point of being unreal. Her fine black hair flickered with starlight, and her entire body was like this as well. Immortal radiance flowed about her, causing her pure white skin to appear even more sparkling and translucent. Who are you? What right do you have to order me around? Yi Fan was lying on the bed calmly. He glanced at her from the corner of his eye and did not seem to want to get up. Chi Meng was speechless. She did not expect this guy to be so calm. He had come to her bed, but he was still so calm. It was as if she had walked into the wrong room. Who are you? Get up. How did you sneak in here? A beautiful woman was a beautiful woman. Her beauty was unparalleled, and her beauty was illusory. Even this slight reprimand had a different kind of charm. Her beautiful body was glowing, and her jade-like body seemed to be covered with a layer of moonlight. She looked ethereal, ethereal, and very fairy-like. Didn't I tell you? The chief family leader has lent me this room temporarily. You can choose another room, Yi Fan said seriously. Nonsense! Chi Meng could not take it anymore. More black lines appeared on her forehead, and her eyebrows were twitching. She gritted her silver teeth and said, This is the first time I've seen a bastard like you. You dare to tease me? 
Do you want to be thrown into the depths of the barren universe forever? In this galaxy, there was a special punishment for controversial felons. All their relics would be taken away, and they would be stripped naked. Then, they would be thrown into the depths of the universe and left to fend for themselves. Unless one was a saint, it would be difficult for any cultivator to cross the boundless universe. Most cultivators would die of exhaustion, especially in the eternal kingdom, which relied on external artifacts. Don't be so cruel, okay? I'm just hitching a ride. Once I reach the immortal feather planet, I'll leave immediately. Ifan said lazily. He was lying on the soft bed, feeling very comfortable. He had been living the life of a monk for so many years, and it had been many years since he had laid on a bed like this. He looked at the woman in front of him and guessed her identity. This was because there were only two most resplendent immortal pearls in this sea of stars. One was the heavenly palace's peerlessly beautiful Fan Xian, and the other was the fairy like Qi Ming. Suddenly, Qi Ming's expression froze, and she said, Your Yi Fan, the foreign ascetic cultivator who wreaked havoc in the heavens and caused the Brahmin race to lose face? She was quite sharp. Although she had never seen Yi Fan before, she quickly made the association and judgment based on recent events and confirmed his identity. Yi Fan said, that's right, it's me. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. You guys have a grudge against heaven, so we should be allies. That's why there's nothing wrong with me commandeering your bed now. Let me take a nap. Chi Meng was very pure and very beautiful. She was as indistinct as a fairy, making people feel that she was too high to reach. However, at this moment, she was grinding her teeth. It was as if she had been banished to the mortal world and was tainted by the aura of the mortal world. She gritted her teeth and said, You really make people want to beat you up. Yi Fan's name had spread throughout the heavens recently, and even she had heard about him. He had single-handedly destroyed many of the Brahman race's ancient sacred meccas. It was so shocking that even some of the big shots of the immortal feather star were shocked. This was a powerful ascetic cultivator that everyone wanted to rope in. But now, no matter how one looked at him, he did not look like a good person. He seemed a little sloppy. Boom! The mothership suddenly trembled and shook violently. It was obvious that it was under attack, and it was very fierce. Hey, pretty lady, is your mothership okay? The Brahmin race is risking their lives. Don't fail to steal the evolution fluid and get sunk here. Yi Fan said. Qi Ming rolled her eyes at him and looked at him carefully. No matter how she looked at him, he did not look like an ascetic cultivator. He did not have that kind of tenacity, coldness, and steadiness. Instead, he looked very frivolous. Very quickly, she thought of a rumor that said this ascetic cultivator had a special physique. The Brahmin race wanted to get their hands on him. She could not help but look surprised. Chi Ming was suspicious and said, The battleships behind us have already given up, but they are suddenly chasing us relentlessly. It can't be because you are here, right? Nonsense. Nonsense. It was clearly you who stole the evolution fluid, and you blame it all on me. I am your ally, so don't be so suspicious of a good person, okay? Yi Fan still had an indifferent and frivolous look on his face. What kind of person is this? For no reason, he came to my bed and still acts like he is in the right place. Chi Meng muttered. Then, she raised her head and threatened. No matter what, you had better get up and leave this room. Otherwise, all the firepower on the mothership will be aimed at this place. She was like a fairy, elegant and beautiful. Her whole body was covered with the light of the stars and the moon. She was surrounded by a divine aura, which was intoxicating. At that moment, her expression was very flirtatious. All right, then I will go take a look elsewhere. 
As an ally, you should play the role of a host and treat me well. Lead the way, said Yi Fan. He had the mentality of a game. At worst, he would just pat his butt and run away. There was nothing to worry about at the moment. You. Really think of yourself as a guest and barged in without reason. Hurry up and apologize, or else you will be destroyed in this battle. Chi Meng threatened fiercely. Yi Fan opened the door and walked out with her. He really thought of himself as an ally and acted very familiar with her. Miss, who is he? Why is he here? A few young experts walked over and appeared in the corridor. After seeing Yi Fan, they were all shocked. Some of them were guard commanders, while others were old friends. Oh, sorry to disturb you. Although we have just boarded the ship, we are all allies, said Yi Fan. You. Who are you? Where were you just now? Why did you suddenly appear? A young man asked suspiciously. I just rested in Miss Chi's room for a while. Now Miss Chi is going to show me around, Yi Fan said. Nonsense. You can take a nap in this room? The group of young people opened their eyes wide. Yes. Yi Fan spread his hands and pointed to the door behind him that was not closed. A few people suddenly saw the messy bed and were tongue-tied. Then they glared at him, as if they wanted to bite him. You went to Miss Chi Meng's bed? A young man's face was as white as snow and he clenched his fists. Beside him, there were two people who almost fell to the ground. At first, Chi Meng did not speak. She wanted to judge what kind of person Yi Fan was based on his various reactions. But now, she could no longer hold it in. When she heard this, her body could not help but tremble. She was so angry that she almost fainted. Going to her bed? If this scandal were to spread, the entire fairy feather star would be shaken. There would be many people who would cry. She would not be able to clear her name even if she jumped into the sea. The veins on Chi Meng's forehead were bulging. She gritted her teeth and said, Don't listen to his nonsense. This is a special intruder, and he is also a bastard. You guys keep an eye on him and bring him to trial. Guys, don't be nervous. I just accidentally entered your mothership when I was crossing the star region. I was just joking. In fact, the heavenly palace is also my enemy. Two months ago, I killed several of their ancient sacred mechas. Yi Fan explained. It was rare for him to be so serious. A few young people pointed all kinds of firearms and great path weapons at him. They were questioning him seriously and gritting their teeth. It took a long time for their expressions to soften. I knew it. How could he get into Lady Chi's bed so easily? It turns out that he came in by mistake. One of them let out a long sigh. Another person said fiercely, Boy, you better pray for your own good. If the news spreads to the fairy feather star and people find out that you have been in Lady Chi's bed, all the young talents in the entire ancient star will fight you to the death. Enough. The veins on Chi Meng's forehead were bulging. Her fair and alluring body was glowing brightly. Her beautiful eyes looked like they could kill. She warned everyone not to talk nonsense. It was not a big deal at first, but if they continued to pester him, it would only make things worse. If the news spread to the fairy feather star, it would be explosive news. Especially those bad newspapers and starry sky websites, they would definitely do their best to add fuel to the fire for the sake of popularity. After a round of questioning, Yi Fan's freedom was almost taken away by the few old men. He wanted to rush out immediately, but an important person arrived. Everyone changed their minds and allowed him to continue hitching a ride. The war in the universe was still going on. The Brahmin race was dead set on them. The Chi family did not dare to make a large-scale space jump. 
They were afraid that the Stargate would be destroyed along the way and they would suffer heavy losses. Xiaoming, you guys go back first. It won't be a problem for us to restrain the enemy's mothership. We can definitely get rid of them, but just in case, you guys should take the evolution fluid back to the mother planet first to prevent any accidents. One of the giants ordered. Yi Fan was lucky enough to leave with Qi Meng and the others. They took a smaller spaceship and rushed into the open stargate, disappearing without a trace. Hey, did you really kill the Brahmin race's five elements armor alone? That is the famous king of massacre, the war tool of the ancient sages. The group of people who left were mainly young people with sensitive identities. One of them could not help but ask. Yi Fan smiled and said that it was a fluke. I heard that you killed Chao Qing before this. He is a noble son of the eternal main planet. Not many people dare to provoke the Chao family. Yes, it is definitely a terrifying force. It even has a place in the eternal kingdom. The group of people was discussing. Is this real or fake? Why do I feel like I don't believe it? Aren't the ascetic monks a bit too powerful? Some people were skeptical. Boom! The spaceship, which was more than a hundred feet long, rushed out of the stargate and into the starry sky. There was a planet with life not far ahead. It would not take long to travel there. Oh, we are back. Everything went well. Everyone let out a long sigh of relief. However, Qi Meng's expression quickly changed. She stared at the big screen. In the cold space ahead, a huge mother ship appeared, blocking the way. This was another mother ship of the Brahmin race. It had actually stopped outside the fairy feather star and had come to their doorstep to stop them. It looked like it had just made a space jump and had been guarding here. The asterisk am in it. We are being watched. Don't worry. We are already at the doorstep of the fairy feather star. They will not dare to stay for long. As long as we avoid them, we will be safe. The group of people could not calm down. Everyone was very nervous. Boom! A huge divine light shot out. It was as fast as lightning. It was so fierce that it shattered the starry sky. Whoosh! The hundred feet long spaceship was very agile. It dodged the attack and flew away quickly. Boom! The attacks from the Great Path God Sigil and the hot weapons were getting more and more intense. Beams of light intertwined in the void, drowning the place and turning it into a sea of fire. Oh no, they have blocked the way. If we continue to escape, we will only get further and further away from the Fairy Feather Star. Many people were worried. I will stop them. You guys get ready to break through. Chi Meng stood up, took out a mecha, and prepared to fight. No, how can we let the lady go? I will stop them. The other three young men stood up and said at the same time. They were not ordinary people. They came from prominent families and all had mechas. They had only come to pursue Chi Meng. Two of them rushed out, but they were hit by the blazing light and had to retreat. Although they had the ancient sage Mecha, it was difficult for them to unleash their full power. Who can lend me a Mecha to help you retreat? Yi Fan asked. He still did not look serious. The group of people looked at each other. Thinking of his battle record, they were all tempted. But was it true? Yi Fan did not wait for them to say anything. He stood up and pushed Qi Ming's mecha out of the hatch. He then entered the mecha and charged forward. Boom! More than ten beams of divine light shot out. The hot weapons and the great path god sigil were used at the same time. Whoosh! Behind Yi Fan, the five-colored divine light flashed and shot up to the sky. It swept away all the attacks. He entered the ancient sage Mecca and unleashed his power. He faced the front alone. It's him! In the mothership in front, Fan Xian stared at the five-colored divine light 
and clenched his fists. Chapter 1155 Fan Xian's fiery red hair was very beautiful and fluttered like flames. She was graceful and elegant like a fire elf, but at this moment, her knuckles had turned white from clenching so tightly. Facing Yi Fan once again, the other party used her clan's five colored divine light. The divine might was so great that it shattered the dozen or so light beams fired by the mothership. She had complicated feelings toward this person. She was the one who brought him back to the clan and could have put him in an important position. Who would have thought that he would end up like this? Chi. A beam of bloody light flew out from the mothership. This was a divine technique supported by the ancient saint's runes. It was an attack of the great Tao, and it was aimed at Yi Fan. This was a strike comparable to an ancient sage, capable of shattering a small planet. It was as if a river of blood had streaked across the pitch black sky. Several hundred million ancient characters were densely packed together, and every single one of them was blood red. This is the burning devil blood sacrifice. I hope it can ignite his golden blood and make him temporarily lose control, Fan Xian said calmly. In order to deal with Yi Fan, the pure lands of heaven had made a lot of preparations. They even found an ancient technique to deal with people with special bloodlines. As expected, even Yi Fan felt a bit of heat inside the Mecca. The golden blood in his body was boiling as if it was burning. He was moved and said, Not simple. What happened in the Eternal Kingdom in the past? Could it be that they created a special technique to deal with the indestructible golden body? His expression didn't change as he circulated the swordsman's secret character. The blood in his body quickly cooled down, but his blood energy didn't decrease. He was sure that this forbidden technique couldn't do anything to him. Clang! Behind Yi Fan, five colored divine light rushed out and turned into five treasured swords. Green, yellow, red, black, and white lined up in a row. Chaotic energy filled the air, and each of them seemed to be able to crush an ancient star. They were extremely heavy and powerful. Crack! The five colored divine light swept out, and the five treasured swords slashed horizontally. The hazy auspicious energy scattered, and the blood-like light beams and the tens of thousands of characters all dimmed down. Moreover, the sword radiance clanged as five beams of sword energy swept through the army. They directly slashed out for hundreds of miles and attacked the giant mothership, wanting to sink it. How greedy! Do they want to destroy our mothership? A veteran expert from the Bauman clan said angrily. The others all had ugly expressions on their faces. The rainbow divine light originally belonged to them, but now it had fallen into Yi Fan's hands and was being countered. This made them all feel terrible. Boom! Five streaks of sword she slashed down with boundless divine might, causing the expressions of the people on the mothership to change. The mothership's shield flickered and the runes cracked a little. This guy's power is too great. Is he really just a Tao slayer? To be able to fully unleash the might of an ancient sage Mecca, it's comparable to a sage. The group of people at Chi Meng's side were all shocked. A few youngsters revealed peculiar expressions, feeling that this fellow was too fierce. It seems like the rumors are true. The Brahmin race, which is as powerful as the heavenly halls, was really defeated. They suffered heavy losses, and this was caused by a single ascetic monk. Within the hundred Zhang Long spaceship, the expressions of the youngsters were complicated. They were all elites, but none of them could display such power. Yi Fan's performance was truly shocking. Clanging sounds rang out continuously. Behind Yi Fan, five treasured swords rushed into the heavens releasing brilliant light. He actually took the initiative to attack the giant mothership. Boundless sword energy drowned out heaven and earth. Damn it, this fellow is truly powerful. 
he hid his true cultivation before. The people of the Brahmin race were helpless. They felt regret and hatred. They had allowed such a powerful youngster to walk on the opposite side. Hong Long. The mothership was trembling. It was actually being threatened. Open the energy barrier and protect the hull. Fan Xian gave the order with a solemn expression. A giant screen of light opened up, protecting the entire giant mothership within. Countless ancient runes flickered, lighting up on the body of the ship. These were the remnant runes of the ancient deities, and they could be used for protection. Yi Fan was shocked. It would be very difficult to break through. The reason why the mothership was so powerful was that it had the highest performance. Unless it was the throne of the Mecca, ordinary weapons of the ancient sages would not be able to break through it. He only relied on one Mecca, and yet he was able to force the people of the heavenly halls to be so cautious. This is really incredible! The people of the immortal Feather Star exclaimed. Even Chi Meng's beautiful eyes blinked, revealing a look of surprise. Yi Fan did not dare to be arrogant. He was very careful, using the Rho formula. Every time he moved, he would move dozens of miles, and he would choose to attack. Damn it, he is provoking us. Crush him, someone in the mothership said coldly. Yi Fan had a premonition of danger, and his movements became even more careful. Once the opponent's energy barrier opened up, it would be very difficult to break through. But the mothership could still launch attacks outwards without any hindrance. Smash him! This is too hateful. He is humiliating us. We cannot let him live! Someone from the Brahmin race said angrily. In the distance, Yi Fan twisted his body in the blue mecca. His movements were agile, and he kept making all sorts of gestures at the ancient ship. This made it difficult for them to suppress their anger. Let me go out and tear him apart. A strong fighter with a head full of fiery red hair said. It was obvious that he had a bad temper, and he was about to rush out with his mecca. Don't be angry, Fan Xian said. He won't be able to hold on for long. The power of the mothership is unparalleled. He can only buy us some time. I really can't stand his provocation, the strong fighter with a fiery temper said. He is actually using the five-colored divine light to carve words to provoke us. I want to join the battle, an elder stepped forward and said. I admit that you are very strong, but even the five elements Mecca were defeated. Do you think that you are stronger than their combined strength? Our race's ancient sages Mecca are almost gone, and we cannot lose another one. I just want to give it a try. You all can carve divine patterns on the Mecca. If I lose, I can immediately take it back. It won't be lost. The middle-aged man insisted on fighting, unable to swallow this anger. Many people in Heavenly Hall were discontent, all of them asking for permission. In the end, an old monster nodded, allowing the expert with the bad temper to control the ancient sage's mecha to fight. Shio! A streak of purple light rushed over, fast to the extreme. This was an extremely powerful war tool. The mecha's body was sparkling and translucent, its lines smooth and almost perfect. He held a dragon spear in his hands that looked like it was carved from a purple diamond. It was extremely sharp and dazzling, stabbing towards Yi Fan. There were no words, only a battle. Hong! It was just the aftermath of this spear. In the distance, an enormous group of meteors collapsed, radiance sweeping through the cosmos, ultimately turning into dust. Chang! Yi Fan pulled out a water blue longsword from his back. It was several John Long, and like a ghost, it attacked forward, fast to the extreme, leaving behind streak after streak of blue light. Chang! His sword hacked out, sending the dragon's spear high into the air. 
the five-colored radiance behind him even more so flickered. Five streaks of heaven reaching sword energy hacking down, actually hacking off an arm. His movements were concise and swift, extremely ferocious and powerful. Everyone became stupefied. It wasn't that they didn't know that this foreign ascetic cultivator was strong, but they never expected him to be valiant to this extent, attacking like this as soon as he took action. Hurry, activate the formation patterns, drag him back. Inside the mothership, Fan Xian hurriedly gave the order. A streak of light appeared, forming an extremely resplendent divine gate, forcibly dragging the purple ancient sage's mecha inside. When Yi Fan saw this, light flashed past his eyes. The five precious swords on his back became one, turning into five colored divine light, tearing at this war tool. Everyone was shocked. He only relied on a single mecha, yet he could seize prey from the several thousand Zhang Long mothership, continuously pulling at it. The five colored divine light is too mysterious worthy of being the secret force seed of an ancient deity. In his hands, it truly shone with stunning brilliance. Fan Xian couldn't help but admit this fact. A violent tremor sounded. The mothership activated divine patterns, energy surging. Yi Fan had no choice but to give up, unable to compete against the giant ship. However, he didn't stop here, attacking fiercely. Half of his body stood within the divine gate, a fist smashing outwards, six streaks of fist intent blasting apart one of the purple mecha's legs, and then he even more so reached out his hand to tear off the other leg. Too valiant! The people on Chi Meng's side cried out in alarm. Damn it, kill him! This bastard is too hateful! Even Fan Xian couldn't help but stomp his feet in anger. Ever since Yi Fan appeared, the heavens had continuously encountered bad luck. The only fortunate thing was that the purple mecha had been seized back, its source not lost, so it was easy to repair. No wonder he is a powerful ascetic cultivator from outside the region. His valiance is boundless. Chi Meng couldn't help but cheer with her people. Seeing this, Fan Xian felt even more uncomfortable. She and Qi Ming were equally famous in the starry sky, and there were many enmity between beautiful women. Yi Fan had turned around and betrayed the Brahmin race in her, and now he was helping Qi Ming, which made her feel terrible. We must capture them alive. Activate your strongest attack, Fan Xian ordered angrily, in a bad mood. Let's go, Qi Ming ordered. At the same time, she sent a telepathic message to Yi Fan, telling him not to continue fighting. No matter how strong an individual was, it would be difficult to destroy a mothership like this. If he was not careful, he would be doomed. He, the ascetic cultivator lives up to his name. No wonder he dared to kill Chao Qing. He is really powerful to be able to destroy the Brahman race's divine armor so easily. Among the rising stars, perhaps only a few freaks from the Eternal Lord Star can be a match for you. The people from the Immortal Feather Star shouted. Through the spaceship's signal, they deliberately transmitted it to the enemy's mothership. The people from Fan Xian's side were so angry that their faces turned green. Even so, Yi Fan still had a small spaceship to escape. It was impossible for him to be a match for the huge mothership, so he fought and retreated. Oh no, the people from the immortal Feather Star Ocean are here to rescue us. Not long after, Fan Xian's expression changed. She had discovered the disturbance in the distance. This bastard! She stared at Yi Fan on the big screen watching him attack. She was extremely angry, but she had no choice but to order a space jump and leave. On the 100 Zhang spaceship, the people cheered. The enemy had retreated, and they were finally safe. They had a good impression of Yi Fan, and they invited him on board. Of course, there were some people who frowned and did not look good. 
After all, Yi Fan's performance was too godly, and he had shown in front of Qi Ming, which made them feel threatened. However, to everyone's surprise, Yi Fan was waving at them from afar. He was saying goodbye to them, and he did not return. Why did he leave? He made such a great contribution. Why did he just leave? Even Miss Qi Meng admires him. With such combat power, the Qi family will definitely try their best to rope him in. The people were shocked, and they could not help but discuss. Qi Meng was surprised at first, and then her expression changed. The smile on her face disappeared immediately. She gritted her teeth, clenched her fists, and said, This bastard! He stole my ancient sage Mecca! The group was stunned at first, and then they all had different expressions. Their expressions were very interesting. No one had expected Yi Fan to do such a thing. They had been prepared to welcome the hero back, but in the next second, he had turned into a bandit and stolen an ancient sage war tool. Everyone, I have saved you. Take the Mecca as my reward. I am leaving now, and we will meet again if fate allows it. Yi Fan waved at them from afar, and then disappeared with a whoosh. This bastard is too ruthless. Losing an ancient sage Mecca is enough to hurt a very strong family. His reward is too generous. The group did not know whether to thank him for saving them, or curse him. This guy is a bastard. Even Qi Meng, who was usually very gentle and delicate, could not help but grind her teeth and curse like a little devil. Yi Fan used the chessboard's matrix to cross the starry sky and rush to the immortal feather star, which was the home planet of Qi Meng and the others. In the past, the stargate on this ancient planet had exploded many times, causing many casualties. Since then, stargates were not allowed to be built on the ground. Normally, they had to go deep into the starry sky. Therefore, when Qi Meng and the other spaceship returned, they appeared in outer space. The chessboard's matrix that Yi Fan controlled was not restricted and it did not take long for him to appear on this life planet. What a beautiful planet! He could not help but exclaim. The mountains were surrounded by fairy energy, the lakes were like gems, and the plains were like jade. The whole planet was fresh and beautiful, and the spiritual energy was dense. It was very beautiful. In particular, he saw a lot of modern cities, skyscrapers, and rows upon rows of them. It was a very visual impact. Moreover, there were many huge divine islands floating in the sky. The mountains and rivers were magnificent, the spirit springs were gurgling, and the palaces were floating. Golden crows, pylons, rocks, and other divine birds and strange beasts could be seen. This was a modern planet with an ancient mythological atmosphere which gave people a very different feeling. Yi Fan did not know how many people there were on this planet. When he was in midair, he saw many huge cities. As he flew, he saw many desolate places. Hey, besides the modern cities and ancient divine islands, there are also ancient barbarian cities and some ancient ruins. Yi Fan was surprised. He found that there were some ancient cities and castles in the primitive desolate places. These should be the only remaining ascetic cultivators. In this starfield, there were people who specialized in cultivating the treasures of the human body. It was just that there were very few of them. They had completely declined. In fact, most of them were crafting equipment and could not be considered as pure ancient cultivators. Yi Fan was very cautious. He knew that the people in this starfield were always on guard against races from outer space. If he was not careful, he would be detected. After putting away the Mecca, he changed his appearance and used a few days to understand it. Then, he changed into a new legal identity. He even had the crystal soul seal of this starfield to show his identity. It's like a dream. It's so modern. I thought I had returned to Earth. 
walking in a city that was even more modern and dreamy than Earth, Yi Fan sighed. Before going to Eternal Lord Star, I should relax. Yi Fan wandered around. The fiery sun, the white beach, and the blue seawater all looked so beautiful and pleasant. Sunshine, beach, sea. How many years has it been since I felt like this? Yi Fan hugged a coconut and lay on the beach. It felt very surreal. There were many people in the distance, most of them mortals. They were enjoying the sunshine, the beach, and the sea. On this ancient path, there was such a place. It was like returning to earth. It made Yi Fan feel surreal. Yi Fan stretched his limbs and lay on the white beach. He faced the sapphire sea and completely relaxed. He treated himself as a mortal, as though he had returned to the past. Robber! Thief! Return my Mecca! Not far away, a pure and beautiful girl with a great figure walked over. Her angry look made people want to pinch her flawless white cheeks. How did you find me? Yi Fan's face was gloomy. Chi Meng actually found him. She was wearing cool clothes suitable for the beach. Her delicate body was as white as ivory, and her clear eyes were staring at him. Chapter 1156 The white sand beach, the blue sea water, the gentle sea breeze, and the hot beauties walking by naturally made people feel relaxed and happy. Yi Fan had a ridiculous feeling. This was the other side of the universe, but it felt like he was on the beautiful coast of Earth. It made him doubt whether it was real or not. However, he couldn't care about this now. Trouble had come knocking on his door. Shi Meng was standing in front of him. She was wearing cool shorts, a tight corset, and a pure white body. Her hair was soft and shiny, like the condensed starlight. Her big eyes were very lively, and she was grinding her teeth at him. Beauty, do I have such great charm? Is it worth it for you to not be willing to follow me for thousands of miles? You really flatter me, Yi Fan said lazily as he lay on the beach. With Qi Meng's identity and status, the people she came into contact with were all refined and courteous talents who were very respectful to her. It was rare to see such a sloppy guy. Thief! In the end, she spat out these two words with a trace of a little devil's smile. Yi Fan touched his chin. These two words were really a little destructive. After roaming the world for so many years, she was known as the indestructible golden body in this star field. But now, she was regarded as a thief. How shameful was that? You dare to come here alone? Isn't it the same as a little white sheep voluntarily throwing itself into the mouth of a lion? Aren't you afraid that I will kidnap you? Yi Fan said with a mischievous smile. Chi Meng glanced at him vigilantly. She moved her snow-white feet slightly and took a few steps back. She looked like she was guarding against a wolf or a thug. She whispered, That's true. There are not many good people among thieves. Yi Fan was speechless. This girl was obviously not afraid of him. What she said was completely to mock him. If she was really afraid, she wouldn't have shown herself. Chi Meng playfully blinked her big eyes and said, I have used a special mysterious forbidden tool to capture your soul wave. I can upload it to the Starry Sky Network at any time. At that time, the entire Eternal Kingdom will put you on the wanted list. It's useless even if you change your appearance. I'm not from this star field. If I can't do it, I'll just leave. It's no big deal. Yi Fan had a look of indifference on his face, and then he threatened viciously, saying, Before I leave, I'll take away this most resplendent immortal pearl of yours. I believe there are many fat-bellied uncles or bald uncles who will like a girl like you. I believe you can be sold for a good price. If they know your identity, they will be even more excited. Maybe they can even trade it for an ancient Mecca. Go to hell. Chi Meng was so angry that she almost pounced. 
Being able to enjoy the dance of the most beautiful woman in this star domain in front of this blue sea, blue sky, and sandy beach is indeed a delightful thing. Yi Fan took out a celestial cherry from the fruit basket and bit into it. The juice was fragrant and fragrant as he looked at her contentedly. Are you really an ascetic? Why do I feel like you grew up in the scoundrel battalion? Chi Meng blinked her big eyes and asked seriously, What do you think a cultivator should be like? Yi Fan naturally knew that she was mocking him. This girl looked delicate and pure, but her mouth was very unforgiving. Chi Meng tilted her head and thought about it seriously. A monk should walk barefoot in a world of ice and snow or magma without frowning. He should train his will through all kinds of hardships. He should move forward alone in the midst of hardship. He should be serious in speech and manner and strict in self-discipline. He cannot be a thief. Are you scolding me again? Yi Fan found her lively and interesting. I'm not scolding you. Give me the Mecca. Otherwise, you won't be able to control it. It has the mark of my race, Chi Meng said. Yi Fan had already guessed why she was able to find him so quickly. This ancient sacred mech was extremely mysterious and complicated. It had long developed intelligence and had an inseparable connection with the Chi family. Hey, I can polish this ancient sage war tool and remove the imprint on it. On top of that, you have delivered yourself to my doorstep. If I don't accept such a huge gift, the heavens will not tolerate it. Yi Fan stood up. His expression was evil and he did not look like a good person. I'm not afraid of you. If you dare to do anything on the immortal feather planet, I believe you won't be able to leave, Chi Meng said, wrinkling her nose. Tell me, what do you want? Yi Fan refused to return the Mecca. I'm here to ask for the ancient sacred battle matrix. Why are you so shameless? Chi Meng mumbled. She frowned and thought for a while. It's fine if you don't return it, but you have to show me enough sincerity. My uncle wants to see you. No way, Yi Fan said laughing. You want to see his parents so soon? You're too impatient. We haven't known each other for long. Chi Meng stared at him and waved her fist. She made a throat-cutting gesture to give him a warning. My uncle is inviting you with sincerity. There is no motive. He just appreciates your fighting power, Chi Meng said seriously. Yi Fan frowned. After what had happened to the Brahmin race, he did not want to join any powerful factions. This was a cruel and realistic world. There was no gratitude or hatred for no reason. Once he got involved, there would be endless karma. How about this? You can talk in private. You don't have to go to my race, Chi Ming said, taking a step back. Yi Fan looked into the distance. There were dozens of experts hiding there. They had followed Chi Ming here. This was why she dared to approach the imperishable golden body so casually. Your spiritual senses are really scary. Even from so far away, you can still detect me with the ancient talisman of the Great Path. Chi Ming was surprised. She asked the people in the distance to leave to show her sincerity. Yi Fan did not say anything. He thought about it carefully and walked forward with Chi Ming. They entered a coconut grove. There was a spiritual spring there. There were many beautiful buildings. An old man had been waiting in a stone pavilion for a long time. This was Chi Meng's uncle. He was a big shot in the Chi clan of Fairy Feather. He had come personally to ask Yi Fan to join them. As a first rank guest of the Chi clan, his status would be extraordinary. Yi Fan naturally did not want to join them. He had no interest in these things. He had come to this ancient planet for the evolution fluid. There was no point in using it. At the same time, he had reason to believe that they knew he had the imperishable golden body. 
It was hard to say whether they would have the same goal as the Brahmin race. Chikun said, Don't worry, little friend. We will not be as heartless as the Brahmin race. Compared to your golden blood, we appreciate your talent and potential more. We believe that you will become a peerless ascetic cultivator. Yifan smiled. He shook his head and said, Do I need to join the Chi clan? What he meant was obvious. What benefits could he get? What was the point of joining them? He would rather be free and unrestrained. I know you are thinking about the evolution fluid of a higher level. I believe you have experienced its charm. It can save you decades, or even hundreds of years of hard work, and you can easily advance a level. You have to know that in this star area, only the top forces can refine the best evolution fluid. That is because the materials are all rare divine minerals from ancient times. Our Chi clan is about to succeed. If the heaven did not snatch the destiny rock, the divine fluid would have been flowing. This time, we have found an ancient planet with traces left by ancient deities. I believe we will be able to gather the materials soon. In the near future, the fourth stage of the evolution fluid will appear in the world again after thousands of years. Chi Kun was very eloquent. He laid out his bargaining chips and let Yi Fan choose. There was something here that he needed the most. The fourth stage of the evolution fluid was indeed a powerful temptation. How could Yi Fan not be moved? He had come here for this. However, he did not want to take the risk. This clan definitely had an ancient saint. He did not want to provoke them before he successfully crossed the tribulation. I can obtain the fourth stage of the evolution fluid just by joining? Yi Fan was not convinced. Of course not. The materials we need are in a strange place. It will be difficult to excavate them, so we need the help of a powerful ascetic like you. Chi Kun smiled. Let me think about it first. Yi Fan did not want to join. Sure enough, there was no such thing as a free lunch. If he wanted to excavate the divine mineral, he might lose his life at every turn. I naturally will not force you. Think about it carefully. Chi Kun handed him a jade crystal wall. He told him that if he had any ideas, he only needed to crush it, and he would rush over. Hey, you have to take good care of my ancient sacred mecca. Don't make it too bad, Chi Meng said. She did not ask for it back and left with Chi Kun. The immortal feather star was a source of life. Like the original demon star and the divine soil star, it was not very vast. Together, they protected the eternal lord star in the central star area. The Chi clan was known as the immortal feather clan. On this ancient star, they were not the most powerful clan. No one dared to provoke them. Tens of thousands of years ago, their clan had a supreme immortal body. They were invincible in the eternal kingdom. Because of this, this star was named after the clan. The Brahmin clan had a Brahma battle body, which was also world-shaking. They also appeared in this star area. However, they could not name this star because they came from the Eternal Lord star area. The Eternal Lord star was too vast. It had produced many terrifying people. No clan could completely rule it. There were many kings, and it was like the Big Dipper Star area. The Immortal Feather Clan was located in a vast wasteland. There were many divine islands floating in the air. It was a forbidden land, and no one dared to enter. Big Brother, you have a lot to worry about. Why don't you just capture that boy? I heard that the Brahmin clan used evolution liquid to nourish his body. Now, it is already fat and can be refined into golden divine blood. This is a great gift. Why don't you do it? On a divine island, a middle-aged man sat on a stone chair with a cold look in his eyes. He faced the clouds in front of him. There was a waterfall there, rumbling, and the island was suspended in the air. 
It was a spectacular sight. Chi Kun's expression darkened. He said, Little brother, if you dare to act rashly, don't blame me for not considering our brotherhood. This young man is not simple. The battle talent he has shown is even more precious than his indestructible golden blood. Things that can be grasped in the palm of your hand are the most precious, Chi Yun said with a cold smile. Chi Kun warned him solemnly. I will not allow you to do this. He saved Chi Meng and the other young people. If you act rashly, others will say that we are biting the hand that feeds us. He stood up, flicked his sleeves, and flew away from the island, disappearing into the horizon. Hey, what do you mean by biting the hand that feeds you? Reality and the situation are stronger than you, Chi Yun said. Report, the Chao family is here, and they are asking to see Lord Jio. Someone reported to the island. Chi Yun's heart jumped. He said, Oh, people from Eternal Kingdom? That family is a giant. They are super powerful, and they can look down on everything. They are respected as nobles. Chao Qing is dead. They heard that the murderer might have come to the immortal Feather Star. They most likely want to ask Lord Jio for help. The leader is a beautiful woman. Good. Please meet them, Qi Yun said. Chapter 1157 Yi Fan left the seaside and appeared on a huge mountain that was tens of thousands of meters tall. This place was covered in snow and ice. Cold mist was everywhere, and it was bone chilling. He studied the Mecca here and finally erased the Chi family's imprint. As for the jade disc, he threw it by the seaside. He had no intention of contacting Chi Kun. Ha! Huh. He saw a huge mothership flying through the sky towards the depths of the desolate sea. Its aura was monstrous. It has the Chao family's insignia. Is it here for me? Yi Fan was very alert. He pondered for a while and then flew towards the seaside. When he was hundreds of miles away from where he had thrown the jade disc, he stopped and opened his celestial eye to observe and wait. Ever since he killed Chao Qing, every time someone mentioned it, they would sigh at how powerful the Chao family was. Naturally, Yi Fan paid attention and had a deep understanding of them. This was a large and terrifying clan. Among the great powers of the Eternal Lord Star, they played an important role. They were a powerful overlord. Otherwise, Chao Qing would not have been able to send two auxiliary divine materials to the Brahmin race. The seaside was beautiful, and nothing had happened. Yi Fan waited for half a day, and no one came. However, he did not leave. Instead, he buried the crystal wall in a cliff in the no man's land. He set it up repeatedly and carved the deceiving heaven matrix. Of course, he left a flaw on purpose. The crystal wall could avoid the scanning of the mothership, but it could still send out a wisp of chi that allowed others to deduce his location. Then, he started to wait patiently. On the second day, an undetectable ripple came from the distance. Dozens of battleships appeared. They were like dark, leaden clouds. Many people flew out and started to make arrangements here. They are really careful. They stopped when they are still five hundred miles from the seaside. Yi Fan revealed a sinister murderous smile. They were definitely coming for him. The group used a special method to hide themselves. Then, they advanced two hundred miles and started to make arrangements about three hundred miles away from the crystal wall. They buried many forbidden weapons. This was a great Tao killing formation. If it was activated at the same time, there would definitely be heaven-overflowing baleful energy that would be able to flatten everything within a range of 300 miles, completely shattering it. I want him alive. This brat has an imperishable golden body, and his body has golden blood. It will be extremely useful. A youngster licked his lips, revealing a bloodthirsty expression. Yi Fan murmured to himself from afar. 
People of the Chao clan, you're really overbearing. I killed Chao Qing and provoked a group of experts. They didn't hesitate to cross the starry sky to come here. Do they want to extract my golden blood? Oh, this brat really has some tricks up his sleeve. Even the mothership couldn't skin this place. He could only deduce the aura of the crystal wall here, a middle-aged man said to himself. Yi Fan watched them coldly from the side. With the secret art of the celestial court, he hid a dozen miles behind them and watched them quietly. What kind of role did the Qi family play? Were there people guiding them? He muttered to himself, his gaze somewhat cold. A thousand miles away, a huge mothership sank into the sea. It was closely monitoring the situation in this direction, ready to provide assistance at any time and carry out a destructive attack. Heh, he's just an ascetic cultivator from the outer realms. Does he really think he's one of those terrifying existences from ancient times who could summon the wind and rain, devour the sun, moon, and stars? Unless Wan Qing comes back to life, no one can behave atrociously in the eternal star region. A youngster from the Chao clan sneered. Clearly, his status was not low. He was Chao Qing's cousin, and his name was Chao Feng. All right, the ancient killing taboo divine patterns have all been buried underground. After we activate them, we'll definitely flatten this place and destroy that brat's soul. We must pay attention to the heat, or else we'll waste the golden blood for nothing. A middle-aged man said. This was one of Chao Qing's uncles, Chao Delin. Don't worry, leave him alive. We'll beat him until he begs for mercy like a dog and kneels on the ground. Chao Feng said with a chuckle. Killing him isn't enough to display our might. We should keep his blood and use it wisely. Even his bones, flesh, and blood are treasures for refining weapons. It's worth preserving. Another youngster named Chao Jin, who was also from the direct line of descent, spoke up. This time, the Chao clan had mobilized such a large force. They naturally had to give an explanation. Chao Qing had died, and they had lost an important ancient mecca. Such a great enmity had to be avenged. Activate it. The middle-aged Chao Delin waved his hand. The people from the Chao clan all revealed cruel smiles. They moved together, activating the divine patterns buried underground. This place instantly changed. In an instant, wind and clouds surged, and a vast killing intent surged thousands of Zhang. Boom! Black clouds pressed down, and killing intent covered the sun. Giant divine statues rushed up one after another, all of them as black as ink. They crushed forward, definitely capable of creating a rain of blood and a foul wind. Yi Fan's expression changed. If he was trapped in this great formation without the rose symbol art, he would most likely be killed and turned into a mist of blood. You guys are truly vicious. Since this is the case, I won't be polite either. He transformed into a specter and appeared beside an important character of the Chao clan. With a slash of his finger, the head of that person was decapitated. Fresh blood sprayed two meters into the air, and with a flip of his hand, he shattered the immortal foundation of that person. After that, he rushed towards the next person. In a simple and direct manner, he used the killing arts of the celestial court, vanishing without a trace, reaping lives. Poo poo. Almost instantly, eight people died. All of their heads flew into the air. They died so suddenly that no one even saw the killer. It was as if there was a malicious spirit secretly stealing their souls. Retreat quickly! Chow Delin shouted. Hey, you guys want to leave after coming here? Didn't you guys lay down a great formation for me? Yi Fan rapidly arrived before Chow Delin and attacked mercilessly. This was a half sage and it was impossible for him to wait helplessly for death. He resisted fiercely. However, 
A five-colored divine light flashed behind Yi Fan, sweeping him away. After that, a green, yellow, scarlet, black, and white treasured sword appeared, all of them shrouded in chaotic chi as they slashed over. Pooh! Even someone as powerful as a half-sage was not enough. He was immediately beheaded, and blood splattered everywhere. His body and soul were both destroyed. It's him, the ascetic with golden blood. He was the one who killed Chao Jing and seized the Brahmin race's divine power seed. Chao Jing shouted and fled for his life. No one had thought that the unforeseen event would happen so quickly. The person they had trapped to kill had actually appeared behind them and was not in the formation at all. Chi Yun, that old bastard, set up a trap for us. This ascetic must have received the news long ago and turned around to kill us. Chao Feng shouted on the other side. He no longer had the high-spirited and arrogant attitude he had before. A cold light flashed in Yi Fan's eyes. Sure enough, there were people from the Qi clan involved. With a single step, he caught up to Chao Feng and twisted his neck. With a ka bei sound, he beheaded Chao Feng, ending his life. Pooh! At the same time, there was a flash of bloody light. Yi Fan's finger pointed out and pierced through the space between Chao Jin's eyebrows from a kilometer away. Blood blossomed everywhere, and his corpse fell from the sky. In the distance, the battleships rumbled as they discovered the abnormality here. They all moved over and huge beams of light shot over with divine might that could shatter the sky. Yi Fan transformed into an azure with a faint cold light in his eyes. He moved quickly, and a golden world opened up behind him. The golden divine treasure appeared, and all kinds of divine weapons flew out. They were dazzling and incomparably terrifying. Many people from the Chao family were shot through and couldn't board the battleship in time. Their corpses lay there, and blood flowed everywhere. Ah! Miserable screams rose and fell. Yi Fan was like a god of death. Everywhere he passed, there was a rain of blood and foul winds, and he started a boundless massacre. Once a divine technique like the golden divine treasure was used, it was as if the source of destruction had been opened. He was invincible. Many people cried out in fear. In order to avoid him, many people were forced into the monstrous killing formation in front of them. They stepped into the danger zone they had set up themselves, and immediately, miserable screams rang out incessantly. Boom! Yi Fan faced the battleship and used his corporeal body to fight against the metal hull that was 300 meters long. He tore it apart with his bare hands, causing many people from the Chao family to turn pale with fright. The indestructible golden body is actually terrifying to such a realm. Quickly, run! This was a great defeat. The Chao family was caught unprepared and suffered a huge loss, suffering heavy casualties. Yi Fan gave chase. Once the five-colored divine light shot out, a 400 meters long battleship was swept by him and struck into the dangerous formation in front of him, instantly shattering into pieces. Boom! Once the six paths of reincarnation fist was unleashed, the mountains and rivers lost their color, and the sun and moon lost their light. He destroyed four battleships with his bare hands, and his golden fist smashed the ice-cold metal hull into pieces. The Chao family was shaken, and many young people were so frightened that their faces were drained of blood. To them, this was truly like a legend. Was he still human? More than a dozen battleships were sunk. Buzz! Suddenly, violent energy waves came over. That mothership that was hidden in the sea a thousand miles away rushed into the sky and shot a beam of scarlet light at Yi Fan, traversing a thousand miles. This was definitely a thunderous strike. If one was really hit, even an ancient saint's body would be penetrated. Yi Fan used form transposition and traversed more than ten miles away. 
His eyes flickered as he looked at that gigantic object. Its entire body was flickering with green light, and it was thousands of meters long. It was like a giant steel city, eternal and immortal. Almost in the blink of an eye, it closed in on 800 miles with unbelievable speed and crushed Yi Fan. Moreover, at the same time, for ancient Saint Mechas flew out and rushed toward Yi Fan. One of them held a blood red dragon spear, one bent a purple Saint Longbow, and one pulled out the golden axe on its back to attack the great enemy together. Swoosh! Yi Fan retreated again and quickly entered his blue ancient Saint Mecca before disappearing from the void. He had used the secret technique of the Celestial Court to launch a sneak attack. Kacha! With a flash of five colored divine light, five primal cakes treasured swords behind his back soared into the sky and almost cut a purple Mecca in half at the waist. So powerful, even more terrifying than I imagined! A woman and an old man in the Mecca looked at each other in shock. They quickly activated the forbidden array and summoned the other Mecca's back. The four powerful ancient saint war machines came and went quickly. They were sucked into a divine gate, but Yi Fan did not let them go. He chased after them and attacked fiercely. With the help of the five-colored divine light, he attacked with the six paths of reincarnation fist breaking the thigh of a golden mecca, the arm of a red mecca, and the bow of a purple mecca. Then, he pulled them out with brute force. This. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, only an ancient saint can fight him. Maybe only a few monsters from the main planet can fight him. Everyone on the Chow family mothership was shocked. All of them were dumbfounded, and a chill ran down their spines. Swoosh! Yi Fan disappeared again. He controlled Qi Ming's ancient Saint Mecca and used the secret technique of the Celestial Court to merge with the Void. He also used the Heaven Deceiving Array to hide his aura. Even the mothership couldn't detect him. Damn it, he escaped. We came here with so many people, but we suffered such heavy losses. It's hard to swallow this. Someone clenched his fists in anger. Boom! However, what shocked them was that Yi Fan didn't run away. He actually approached the mothership, and the five colored divine light swept out, cutting off a corner of the ship's hull that weighed several tens of tons. Clang! A terrifying sound rang out. Yi Fan swung the six paths of reincarnation fist, smashing everything in his way. He tore off a large piece of the hull and wanted to break in. This. This is not a human. Quickly, activate the energy shield. Everyone was stunned. This was a god of death, an evil spirit that broke free from the shackles of hell. He was invincible and even dared to attack the mothership. Boom! The energy shield activated and protected the entire mothership. Even an ancient saint's attack could not do anything. Yi Fan had no choice but to retreat. He stood in the air and faced them coldly. Inside the ship, a young man was about to go mad with anger. His name was Chao Tian, and he shouted at the top of his lungs. Damn it, he almost destroyed one of our mothership's great Dao Rune's propulsion systems. This is a divine treasure, and it was actually shattered. Now, the situation is very bad. We need to return to the main planet immediately. If we are targeted by other forces, it will be very dangerous. Beside him, an enchanting and beautiful woman also looked terrible. Her name was Chao Lin, and she was Chao Qing's sister. She did not expect to suffer such a great defeat when she came to denounce him. We have underestimated him. This is a very dangerous and terrifying monk. We cannot underestimate him in the future. An old man sighed. Return! Chao Lin gave the order reluctantly. On this day, the immortal Feather Star was in an uproar. Everyone was shocked when they heard the news. A person and a Mecca had defeated the Chao family's mothership fleet. 
What a glorious achievement. This is crazy. Is this true? This monk named Yi Fan is too powerful, isn't he? This is an unbelievable battle. He can't possibly be able to compete with the freaks of the main planet, can he? Is this the rise of another legend? The immortal feather star was shaken, and everyone was shocked. After the battle, Yi Fan's expression was very cold. While the outside world was in an uproar, he began to take action again. He asked around and had a detailed understanding of the Qi family. He then found out what kind of person Qi Yun was. It was he who had provided help to the Chao family. This time, he had almost fallen into the killing formation. Yi Fan responded to this and began to search for Qi Yun's youngest son. In the end, he dragged him out of a brothel in an ancient city in the Great Wasteland and shocked him half to death with his supreme divine power. Go and tell your old man that I am not afraid of him. If he provokes me again, I do not mind looking for him to settle the score, Yi Fan warned. Bang! On a divine island of the Qi family, Qi Yun smashed his teacup into pieces. Looking at his beloved son who was seriously injured, he stood up, gritted his teeth, and said, This is the immortal feather star. Even if you are a dragon, you have to coil up. Suddenly, Chi Kun's voice came from afar, ordering him not to act rashly. He said, Little brother, don't cause trouble for me. Chi Yun's expression was livid. He did not say anything until Chi Kun was far away. Then, he gritted his teeth and said, Even if you have the indestructible golden body, so what? Can you compare to Wan Qing? Chapter 1158 The Chao family played an important role on the Eternal Lord planet. A stomp of their foot could make anyone tremble. They were a powerful force. They came with a fleet of motherships, but they were defeated by a single person and a single mecha. The immortal feather star was in an uproar. Everyone was talking about it. No matter how they tried to find an excuse, it seemed too dreamy and unreal. It is said that he is an ascetic from the depths of the universe. I did not expect him to be so powerful. Could he be another divine fetus after Wan Qing? The Chao family will not let this go. They have lost a lot of face on the immortal feather star. They will most likely send an army to fight. Everyone was shocked. They all felt that this incident was unreal. The news also reached the heavens. All the important people were stunned. They realized that Yi Fan's potential was limitless and that he was talented in battle. Fan Xian and some of the clan members frowned. The inextinguishable golden body had missed them. It was famous on the immortal feather star and would attract the attention of many powerful forces. Even if the Chao family went to kill it, it would be useless. There might be other powerful forces who would extend an olive branch. I think it is necessary to make up for it. Fan Zhou said to himself. He looked at his clan members. A true inextinguishable golden body was not a few generations later but the first generation. No one could predict how much potential it had. The Eternal Lord's star was a vast ancient star. It was vast and had a large population. Since ancient times, many people had been born there. There were even ancient gods. The Chao family dominated a region. Few people in the eastern region could match them. Now, some of the giants were angry. In front of the huge palace, many people were silent and did not dare to say anything. This was an ancient palace that had existed for hundreds of thousands of years. It was floating in the sky. It was the symbolic building of the Chao family. It was surrounded by space carriers, islands, and mountains. Pa! An old man smashed a diamond table in the palace and shouted, Useless! You have disgraced the Chao family. A space carrier and a large fleet were defeated by a Dao slayer. What use do you have? The people below were trembling, 
but no one dared to say anything. This result was too embarrassing. There was nothing to say. Think of a way to wash away your humiliation. Don't let the Chow family become a laughingstock, or else I'll feed all of you to the dragons. Another giant roared angrily. That day, a gale swept out from the Chow family. A group of people left, wanting to get rid of Yifan. All types of methods were used. The immortal feather star received the news very quickly. The people of the Chow family were furious and decided to enter the immortal feather star en masse. They wanted to cause trouble for Yifan. The news spread like wildfire. For the past few days, Yifan had been very Loki. Although he had shocked the immortal feather planet with his battle, he did not dare to be arrogant. Instead, he went into hiding and visited various historical remains to find what he needed. This was a historical site known as the Evergreen Pond. It was a pond made of bluestone, and there were a few stone pavilions beside it that had traces of time on them. Clusters of lotus flowers grew in the pond, looking like jade. They were flourishing, not withering in the past twenty thousand years. It was said that Wan Qing had once bathed here, and the lotus flowers had sprouted overnight. After such a long time, the pond had not dried up, and its spirituality was still there. I think Emperor Qing must have been incredible at that time, reaching a shocking level, Yi Fan said to himself. He was convinced that Wan Qing was Emperor Qing. Regardless of whether it was in the Brahmin race's heaven or the immortal feather star, he had been seriously looking for traces of his ancestors. He believed that this could be a stop on the ancient road of the galaxy. Otherwise, why would Emperor Qin have appeared? After such a long time, he had been searching carefully and asking some people indirectly. He had learned some unusual information. Throughout history, there had been groups of monks who seemed to have passed by this area. If I want to know more, maybe I should go to the Eternal Main Star. Yi Fan believed that there should be more traces there. Splash! He dived into the pond and swam downstream. Wisps of spiritual energy rose up in the water, forming a myriad of colors. This place was very suitable for cultivation. Yi Fan could not help but be amazed. The ancient demon emperors were extraordinary. They must not have become emperors twenty million years ago but they could leave such immortal traces. Hey, handwriting! Yi Fan was surprised. On a piece of green stone at the bottom of the pond, he saw a line of words. They were not ancient words, nor were they divine words. They were words from Earth. Master Pang was here! Seeing this sentence, Yi Fan's expression became strange. Then, his heart beat violently and he revealed a look of ecstasy. Such a person with such bad taste, such tone, such handwriting, immediately pointed to one person, Pang Bo. He really passed by here. Yi Fan suppressed his excitement. Without a doubt, this line of words confirmed his guess. Emperor Qing had passed by here, and Pang Bo had passed by here. This was a stop on the ancient road of the galaxy. Oh, I have to be more careful and look for traces of them. Maybe some of them have not left yet, he said to himself. There were no treasures at the bottom of the pond. Yi Fan rushed out of the water and continued to the next relic, following the legend of Wan Qing. Hey, the Chao family is here. They have issued a sky-high reward. Whoever can provide clues and capture that monk will be rewarded handsomely. This news swept across like a gust of wind, stirring up the clouds in all directions. The people of the Xianyu star were very interested. The Chao family made a comeback. Last time, they were dispirited. This time, the fleet of battleships roared. It was like a dark cloud pressing down on the sky. They rushed toward the planet, full of murderous intent. Yi Fan looked from afar and saw that the silver battleships were densely packed like a steel jungle. 
there were three motherships that had come just for him. It could be said that they had mobilized a large force. They really think highly of me. Yi Fan was surprised. He knew that this could be a big crisis. The Chao family had come to the Xian Yu star with great momentum. In the next half a month, they attacked in all directions, looking for traces of him. However, they had not found anything. Could it be that he has already left? The people of the Chao family were suspicious. Chao Ling frowned. Her enchanting and beautiful face revealed a thoughtful expression. Then, she said with certainty, When I retreated the last time, I had people activate the power of the galaxy net to monitor this part of the galaxy. Any appearance of the starry door would be detected. As for directly flying to the outer region, it is even more impossible to hide. We can be sure that he has not left this ancient planet. Increase the bounty, a middle-aged man said. Not long after, the Xian Yu star was in an uproar. The Chao family was actually willing to use a supplementary divine ingredient to refine the strongest constitution evolution fluid for a monk. They are indeed rich and overbearing. Few other big forces can compare. Is this a battle of pride? Is it purely to vent their anger? What do you know? I heard that the monk has an indestructible golden body. Even after more than ten generations, it is still amazing. The golden divine blood that can be refined is priceless. With the Chao family's all-knowing methods, it will definitely be of great use. It is definitely worth it. Many people were whispering, causing a huge uproar. Very well, if the Chao family is willing to pay, I am willing to help. Go and collect the bounty. On the Chi family's divine island, Chi Yun laughed coldly. Not far away, in a quiet bamboo forest, his most beloved son was recuperating. More than half of his bones were broken, and his vitality was greatly damaged. This made him extremely angry and annoyed. You are an outsider monk, and you dare to behave so atrociously on the Xian Yu star? I will make sure that you will regret ever being born. Chi Yun was furious. He ordered people to go to the ancient sacred Mecca warehouse and retrieve a secret map of the Great Path. He studied it for a long time. This was the talisman used to construct these war tools, and it contained a huge secret. My clan's ancient sacred Mecca is not so easily taken away. Now, analyze it carefully for me. I want it to explode together with this war tool. A group of elders buried themselves in front of the talisman and studied it carefully. From time to time, the talisman of the Great Path would flash. They were conducting all kinds of experiments, preparing to crack the ancient sacred map. Chi Ming came to visit and said, Ninth Uncle, what are you doing? Big Uncle told me to tell you not to act recklessly. Yi Fan saved our lives. If you make a move now, Others will look down on us and say that we are biting the hand that feeds us. My dear niece, what are you thinking? Don't worry, I am not that kind of person. Chi Yun smiled as he sent Chi Meng off. In heaven, the Brahma clan received the news that the Chao clan had made a move. Fan Xian frowned and said, This is not good. If he is captured, won't the indestructible golden body pass us by? Oh, we can try some other methods to draw him over. Do you still remember the ascetic cultivators that appeared several years ago? Why do I feel like they came from the same place? Fan Tian spoke with an evil tone. His fiery red hair was a dazzling scarlet red. That's right, there might really be a connection. The Brahma clan's big shot. Fan Zhou's eyes lit up and he stood up. On the Xian Yu star... On a divine island of the Qi clan, Qi Yun laughed coldly. His eyes were sinister as he stared in a certain direction and said, Let the ancient sacred Mecca explode. If he is smashed into pieces, we will go and extract the golden divine blood. If we fail, 
We can also expose his whereabouts and sell him to the Chao clan to collect the reward for the divinity minerals. No matter what, he would not be at a disadvantage. This time, he would have a great harvest. The group of people rushed toward a vast wasteland. Oh, he should be in the depths of the mountains. Get ready to activate it. Let Qi Ming's ancient sacred mecca of war disintegrate and destroy this so-called indestructible golden body for me. Qi Yun's expression was sinister. He did not hesitate to destroy a divine artifact in order to severely injure Yi Fan and destroy his physical body. In the depths of the mountains, Yi Fan was restless. He had a feeling that something was about to happen and that he was about to face a great disaster. This was an instinctive feeling that one's cultivation level had reached a certain level. After ascending to the eighth level of severing heaven, this kind of divine instinct had become even more extraordinary. Something is wrong. What is going on? Yi Fan used his powerful divine consciousness to scan his surroundings. Then, he looked inside his physical body that was as pure as rainbow divine glass. He held the green copper tripod in his hand to guard against any mishaps. It's this ancient sacred mecca. Finally, his expression changed. At the last moment, this divine artifact of war underwent a transformation. It suddenly became dazzling and was actually about to explode. Yi Fan's mind was shaken. He quickly summoned it out and fiercely suppressed it into the green copper tripod, isolating it from the outside world. The green copper tripod had been passed down for tens of thousands of years. Even though it was broken, it was not something that could be destroyed by the power of the mortal world. It could suppress an ancient sacred weapon. The blue radiance was blazing, but it could not detonate the divine mecca. Yi Fan carefully observed and saw that something was wrong. He sneered and erased the destructive imprint, resolving the dangerous situation. So dangerous. This is a divine artifact. If it really shattered and burned in my body, I would definitely not be able to endure it. Even if I don't die, I will still be crippled. How ruthless! Yi Fan still had lingering fears. This brat's life is really tough. The ancient sacred mecca actually did not explode. What method did he use to endure it? In the distance, Chi Yun was bewildered and had a gloomy expression. Then, he smiled sinisterly and immediately contacted the Chao family, telling them that Yi Fan was here. The Chao family's mothership was extremely fast. It appeared in a short while and completely sealed off the entire mountain range. All the strongest firepower was concentrated in front. Chapter 1159 The depths of the mountain range were completely peaceful. All types of powerful vicious beasts and barbaric dragons were lying dormant, feeling a type of pressure and danger. Occasionally, strange birds would cry out and flee into the distance. The leaves on the trees fluttered about, fluttering down in a disorderly manner. There was a wave of austere energy, as if late autumn and winter had arrived, sweeping through this place. The atmosphere was tense and suffocating. The fleet of motherships appeared several hundred li away. It was as if millions of evil mountains were traversing through hell, making everyone's hearts almost stop beating. The ice-cold ships flickered with cold light. They were densely packed, surging over like lead clouds. Under the lead of the three motherships, they sealed off this mountain range. Yi Fan naturally sensed this a long time ago. He opened his heavenly eyes and saw a dark expanse in the distance that made one's heart tremble. Chi! A streak of scarlet light rushed out several hundred li, sweeping towards Yi Fan. Chao Lin's expression was cold as she gave the order. The great battle thus began. Wherever the scarlet light passed, mountains collapsed and lakes dried up. It was dazzling and terrifying. Yi Fan didn't have much of a choice. 
he entered the light blue Mecca and turned into an ancient saint. He held a large blue bow in his hands, his eyes releasing cold light. Chow family, you all are too domineering, bullying others intolerably. Yi Fan held the large bow with both hands, releasing heaven overflowing fluctuations. This was a divine artifact. It was sparkling and dazzling. The large bow was several zhang long, releasing a terrifying aura. Yi Fan shifted his position, avoiding the tens of thousands of beams of light. He released a loud roar and drew the bowstring. His entire body shone with endless radiance as he aimed forward. It was as if a volcano was erupting, or as if a vast sea had burst its dike. A biting cold and intimidating aura surged, illuminating eternity, piercing through the river of time. With a light shout, Yi Fan released the bowstring. Fluctuations that made one's flesh and bones tremble swept out in all directions. The arrow that left the bowstring flew out, the brilliant beam of light like a blue sea. Hong! This arrow struck a 500 Zhang Long giant ship. Light rushed into the nine heavens on the spot, producing an intense explosion that shattered heaven and earth. That place was filled with endless black holes. This was a catastrophic result. There were many smaller ships in the surroundings, and they were all affected. Under the scattering of the holy arrow's fluctuations, they all exploded one after another. It was as if doomsday had arrived. Back off! Someone in the three motherships gave the order one after another. They propped up the light screen and pressed forward to protect the battleships. Then, they shot out destructive light beams. This type of powerful mothership was enough to shatter this ancient star. Now that it was attacking Yi Fan, it was naturally a great disaster. It was like a tsunami that swept through the world. Their defense was astonishing. Once the light screen was activated, it would be difficult for outsiders to break through. To the enemies, it could only mean despair. If not for the traversal formula, Yi Fan would have definitely fallen. The divine power of the three space carriers was too great. It was enough to sweep across the boundless star field. Wherever they passed, even saints would be shocked. Other than that, there were also six ancient sage mechas standing in the sky, swinging their golden divine swords, black dragon spears, purple heavenly sabers, etc. This was a great battle, the sky surging, incredibly ruined. Chaotic energy was even blasted out, unable to endure such terrifying power. As for the mountain range, the moment Yi Fan rose into the air, it collapsed inch by inch and turned into fine powder, leaving nothing behind. Yi Fan, return my brother's life! Chao Lin was enchanting and beautiful, but at this moment, her face was somewhat distorted. She screamed. She was Chao Qing's blood sister. Last time, she was the one who came with the mothership, but in the end, she suffered heavy losses and had to leave dejectedly. Yi Fan did not reply and disappeared from his original position. He used the secret arts of the celestial court and the heaven-deceiving formation to conceal himself and rushed forward. At close range, he waved his golden fist and forcefully smashed into the light screen of a mothership. A deafening sound rang out, but unfortunately, the wave-like ripples spread out, and he could not attack. This mothership had tens of millions of Tao patterns densely covering its body. The interweaving brilliance could not be broken, otherwise, it would not have been revered as a powerful mothership. Beams of light shot out together and the sky was colorful and overflowing. All kinds of divine radiance burst forth, looking extremely dazzling. Any beam of light was extremely destructive. Yi Fan retreated, moved horizontally, and charged vertically. He constantly changed his position, controlling the ancient sage war tools to fight back fiercely. The three motherships sealed the sky, and a supreme defensive light screen descended, blocking all of Yifan's attacks. 
Meanwhile, they still had a dense group of battleships that could shoot and kill the enemy without restraint. Yi Fan did not want to continue fighting, so he took out the chessboard formation and wanted to escape. However, the other party discovered his intentions, and the three motherships rushed out with hundreds of millions of beams of light, cutting the void. This method was simple and effective, completely breaking through the laws with brute force. The Supreme Divine might cut the void into countless pieces, and Yi Fan could travel through space, but he would immediately rush out. Outer Realm Cultivator, you are dead for sure. Return my nephew's life! A middle-aged man shouted, and the attack power of the mothership he was on became even stronger. I will use your golden divine blood as a sacrifice to my brother, grind all your bones into pieces, and sprinkle them in front of his grave. Chao Lin also screamed, full of resentment and hatred. Yi Fan's expression did not change. He continuously attacked, wanting to break through the blockade, but the light of the motherships was like the sea, sealing and enveloping this place. He could not break through at all. Qi Yun said sinisterly, It seems like he can't make it. He is going to fall here today, and we have to help out. After all, we have received a bounty from others, and that is a type of divine mineral. We cannot let this brat leave alive. A mothership rushed up and joined the battle. The four directions were sealed, and Yi Fan's situation became even more dangerous. He had fallen into a hopeless situation. It's the Chi family's mothership. Yi Fan's expression turned cold. Outer Realm Cultivator, are you willing to join us? Perhaps we have a way to save you. Suddenly, someone secretly transmitted a message. An ancient sacred mecha appeared in the distance, watching the battle from the horizon. Who are you, and what are your conditions? Yi Fan asked. I come from an organization called God. Those who can be ranked in it are all peerless experts. They often go to the outer realm to mine divine minerals, and they need an ascetic like you. The Mecca transmitted a message. If you want me to join, you have to let me see your strength. Help me sink a mothership first, Yi Fan said. Your request is too excessive. I have already contacted another god and he said he wants to test you. You must have a stunning performance to be worthy of us taking action for you. The god within the ancient sacred war tool replied. Yi Fan's expression was cold, and he no longer paid attention to this god. The situation was getting more and more dangerous. If he didn't change anything, he would most likely die. For motherships compressed the space. Even if he had the Celestial Court's secret concealment technique and the heaven-deceiving formation, he wouldn't be able to escape. Five colored divine light flashed, and five treasured swords slashed out, cutting a large part of the light screen. Unfortunately, it quickly healed, and he couldn't rush out. Boom! The heaven and earth collapsed. Yi Fan struck out with the six paths of reincarnation fist similarly shattering the light screen. He rushed forward for several kilometers, but in the end, he was swept back by the light screen that appeared again. Your performance is astonishing, and you are qualified to join God. However, we still want to see your potential. If it is stunning enough, you will become our core member. The God transmitted a message. Facing four mothership fleets alone was like a legend to any Tao executioner. It could even be called a miracle, which was why even this mysterious organization recognized him. Yi Fan sneered in his heart. No matter what, he had to rely on himself. The other party still didn't help him. Did they want to see his trump card? This was clearly unreliable. Open for me! Yi Fan circulated the army formula with all his strength, treating one mothership, the densely packed fleet behind it, and the blazing light screen as one. He did everything he could to control it, 
wanting to move it away. Boom! The heavens trembled, the fleet of motherships trembled, and the impenetrable light screen undulated. Everyone was stupefied. Just how enormous and terrifying of a power was this? To control an unmatched mothership fleet from so far away, it was comparable to moving an ancient life star. It was because there were supreme traces of the great Tao here, and every strand could lock down the universe. Who could move it? This was a leviathan that could wipe out stars. Yi Fan did it. The god in the distance was shocked, and he said to himself, Could it be that he really has the potential to become a core member? As for Chao Lin, Qi Yun, and the others, they were all dumbfounded and completely dumbfounded. This was truly a person who could pull up the stars and moon, and whose aura was unrivaled. Is he human? How did this ascetic cultivator cultivate? It's truly shocking. Many people were tongue-tied, and they were almost dumbfounded as they watched the scene. Boom! Blood seeped out of Yifan's mouth. What he was doing now was incomparably difficult. Even someone as powerful as him could not defy the heavens for long. The void was clearly locked down, and the light screen isolated everything, but it was forcibly moved away by him. Some battleships lost their balance and collided one after another. They emitted brilliant light and were continuously destroyed. Boom! Yi Fan threw out the mothership and rushed out of the blockade. He spat out a mouthful of golden blood as he charged out of the exceptional killing formation formed by the four motherships. Too powerful. He can even escape like this. Inconceivable. Many major powers were watching the battle and were incomparably shocked at this scene. Who was that just now? It seems to be that terrifying organization on the Eternal Lord Star God. Heavens, could it be that this ascetic has caught the eye of God? Yi Fan had killed his way out of the four mothership fleets. For many people, this was simply a miracle. Don't let him go. This person is terrifying and has boundless potential. If he escapes, there will be endless disasters in the future. Qi Yin roared. For the first time, he felt fear. The Chao family people hadn't even chased after him, but he had already led the motherships to chase after him. He was even more active than those on the Eternal Lord Star because he was truly afraid. That's right, kill him. We can't let him go. Chao Lin also shouted. The three motherships chased after him. But no matter what, they couldn't catch up. Yi Fan escaped danger and rushed through the realm gate. This ascetic is very powerful and has the qualifications to join God. The two gods from the Eternal Lord Star looked at each other and made this judgment. Although Yi Fan had spat out golden blood, his physique was astonishing. He recovered in a moment, and his vitality was not damaged. That night, he entered the Qi family alone and used secret arts and the heaven-deceiving formation to hide his aura. Like a ghost, he ascended a divine island floating in the air. There were all kinds of divine marks and marks here that could defend against ancient saints. He used the travel formula and safely entered without making a sound. There were no alarms. This person is very powerful. He must be an unrivaled existence among the ascetics. In the future, his achievements will most likely catch up to the ancient gods. We must find him. If we don't get rid of him, I won't be able to eat or sleep in peace. On the island, Chi Yun's expression was ugly. This time, he had let Yi Fan escape. He was alarmed. He had personally seen how terrifying the other was, and a layer of haze appeared in his heart. He had gathered a group of powerful subordinates and was discussing how to find Yi Fan. He was determined to kill him. There's no need to find him. I'll come myself. Yi Fan stepped on the moon with a cold expression. He walked step by step like a god. 
Yu. Chi Yun was shocked. He didn't think he would be so daring as to barge into the Qi clan's forbidden area. One had to know that this place could defend against ancient saints. Immediately, someone rushed into the sky, wanting to gather people and send out a warning. They wanted to use the power of the immortal Feather Chi clan to kill Yi Fan. Not a single one of you can leave! Yi Fan walked several hundred zhang away and intercepted them in the sky. With a piu sound, he removed the heads of two people who rushed into the sky. They were dripping with blood as he threw them onto the ground. The remaining people kept quiet out of fear. They were all horrified and felt a chill from head to toe. I'll pay you a visit tonight. Tomorrow, I'll go and sink the Chao clan mothership. Yi Fan was like a demonic god as he pressed forward step by step. His words were cold. Chapter 1160 The bright moon washed the starry sky, and pure white divine light shot out in all directions. Yi Fan was walking on the moon like a god of death. No one outside knew that he had arrived on a divine island of the Qi family. Two blood-stained heads were thrown to the ground by him, shocking the group of people. Their scalps went cold, and no one dared to act rashly. Cultivator from the outside world, what are you doing? This is the immortal Feather Chi clan, don't you dare act recklessly, someone shouted loudly. His relationship with Chi Yun was not shallow. What am I doing? You already know the answer. Yi Fan stepped on the moonlight, and with a single step, he arrived in the blink of an eye. He punched him into pieces, and blood splattered everywhere. He had come to kill. He wanted to find trouble with Chi Yun and get rid of him. There was nothing much to say. An old man came forward and said, Young man Yi, I heard that you have a good relationship with our clan's pearl, and big brother Chi Kun also admires you very much. What you do will destroy their relationship and lead to serious consequences. You have the nerve to say that? Who sent the mothership and the Chao family to surround and kill me? I saved Chi Ming, and this is how you treat me? Yi Fan's voice was cold. His step landed, and the entire island almost collapsed. Huge cracks appeared on the ground, and with a ping sound, the person was sent flying and turned into ashes in the air. Let's talk about it. The immortal Feather Chi clan has no ill intentions. Big Brother Chi Kun has already said that he wants to invite you to be a first-class guest. A middle-aged man said, But in reality, you want to kill me. Yi Fan stared at everyone. The middle-aged man continued, This. In short, the immortal Feather Chi clan is willing to be on good terms with you. Some unpleasant things may have happened today, but it was only the actions of an individual. We can talk about it. If we were to talk about it, I wouldn't have come to this divine island. I would have gone to meet Chi Kun directly. Is there anyone on this island who wants me to visit? Yi Fan mocked. This was Chi Yun's base camp, and the troops he had gathered were of the same mind as him. They had all boarded the battleship to kill Yi Fan, so there was nothing to talk about. Sir Chi was indeed impulsive today. But fortunately, he did not make a big mistake. Please calm down, little brother. We are willing to compensate you. The middle-aged man was Chi Yun's niece's son-in-law. Yi Fan coldly glanced at him and no longer spoke to him. Instead, he stared at Chi Yun and said, Old thief, how long are you going to hide? Do you think you can escape this calamity? Chi Yun's veins were throbbing. Just now, his niece, son-in-law, and the others had bowed down to him, but it was completely useless. The other party was overbearing, making his expression unsightly. From start to finish, he didn't feel anything. Although he was afraid, he didn't want to lower himself to beg for mercy. With a gloomy face, he secretly sent a message to someone asking for reinforcements. Why aren't you saying anything? 
Yi Fan gave him a sidelong glance. Expert from outside this region, don't go too far. We admit our wrongs and are willing to pay the price to compensate you. Do you want us to kneel down and beg for mercy? A hot-tempered fighter said. Pooh! A cold smile hung on the corners of Yi Fan's mouth. He struck out with a fist, and this person turned into a bloody mist on the spot. His body and soul were both destroyed. Your power and arrogance have become a habit. Even in this kind of situation, you still can't put down your airs. Those who don't know might even think that I'm the one begging for mercy. Who exactly is the one on the chopping block now? Many people's expressions changed. The young man on the other side was extremely ruthless. He didn't even frown after killing several people in a short period of time. Now, no one dared to speak carelessly and kept their mouths shut. This time, this old man was wrong. What do you want? My Chi clan can give you some divine ores as compensation. Chi Yin spoke. His expression was indifferent without any expression. That's not necessary. Your life is enough. Yi Fan said. A few people stood behind Chi Yun. All of them revealed angry expressions and ominous glints shot out in all directions. Hong. They had been preparing for a long time and activated an ancient formation. At the same time, a group of terrifying firearms emitted blazing light and swept forward to launch a murderous attack. Everyone, let's kill him together. The news has already been sent out, and I believe there will be a great army coming to assist in a moment. Even the ancestral saints will be alarmed. These people shouted loudly. At the same time, Chiyun entered an ancient sacred mecca and fled into the distance at lightning speed. He wanted to escape this calamity. I dared to come here, so why would I be afraid of your tricks? Yi Fan's expression was calm. The six paths of reincarnation fist intent was unleashed, and the formation markings in front of him were greatly destroyed. After that, five-colored divine light appeared behind him and swept through all the blazing martial divine light, destroying all of them. He also entered the ancient sacred war tool and used the secret technique of the golden divine treasure. In the next instant, the golden sacred bell, divine sword, heavenly pagoda, treasured umbrella, and other things appeared at the same time. All of them were dazzling and dazzling as they transformed into streaks of flowing light and rushed forward. This was an attack that didn't discriminate. Piffed, piffed. Streak after streak of bloody light dyed the red divine island red. Those who rushed over to attack Yi Fan were all chopped into pieces. Almost no one could take this attack. On this divine island, there were no motherships or the strongest war tools in the universe. How could these people contend against Yi Fan? They would only be throwing their lives away. He was like harvesting crops. With a sweep, a large expanse of blood blossomed. Everywhere he passed, there was a rain of blood and a foul stench as corpses fell in rows. Old thief, you still want to escape? Yi Fan executed the Xing word art and cut off the path forward in an instant. Everyone, let's go together and stop him. Our great army is about to arrive, and there will definitely be ancestral saints coming out of seclusion, someone tempted and encouraged loudly. I only need a breath of time to kill people. Why do I need to take so long? Those who obstruct me must die, Yi Fan said ruthlessly. The five-colored divine light flashed, and the six paths of reincarnation fist was executed. Piffed, piffed, piffed. Corpses exploded one after another. They were not on the same level at all. The entire place was surrounded by a large expanse of bloody fog. Chiyun flew up into the sky, but under the Bing word art, his ancient sacred mecca did not listen to him. He quickly lost control and fell down. You. You can't mess around. I am the younger brother of the head of the Chi family. 
I am a direct descendant of the main bloodline. Qian panicked. Everyone was afraid of death, and he had experienced it himself. When the time came, he was completely terrified. The person I am going to kill is you, Yi Fan said coldly. No, if you kill me, you will be in big trouble. If you show mercy, you can go anywhere you want on the immortal feather planet in the future. We will give you endless benefits. Chi Yun's face was pale. Even if I kill you, I can go anywhere I want on this planet. Also, don't think too highly of yourself. I really don't think that you have a high status. You are just an annoying rat. If I kill you, then so be it. Yi Fan said coldly. I will fight you to the death. Chi Yun's face was pale. He wanted to fight to the death and detonate the ancient sacred mecca. Kacha! Yi Fan had already made his move. It was clean and neat. The five colored divine light flashed behind him, and he cut the ancient sacred mecca in half. Sparks flew everywhere. Then he added a punch. Suddenly, the core of the mecha turned into a ball of light and turned into powder. Bang! Yi Fan pulled Chi Yun out and said, I have killed people who are a hundred times stronger than you. Old man, how dare you provoke me? No! Chi Yun shouted. He was completely paralyzed. He could not help but beg for mercy. Piffed! Blood spurted two to three meters into the air. Yi Fan crushed him with one hand, turned around, and left without looking back, disappearing into the horizon. The cold moonlight shone down. The divine island was a mess. Dead bodies were everywhere. Qian's people had died, and there were many casualties. This was destined to be a restless night. The Qi family of Xian Yu was in chaos. The location of the divine island was a bit out of the way. The island was surrounded by runes that Yi Fan had set up to isolate the space. However, what had happened was quickly discovered. This was a drastic change. Battleships roared, and the ancient sacred mecha's war tools appeared. The place was locked down, and the sky was filled with noise. It won't be long before news of what happened here spreads throughout Xian Yu Star. The Chao family will be alerted. Now is the time to sneak in and kill them, Yi Fan said to himself. This was a primitive mountain range. Auspicious air was rising. This place was the base of the Chao family. It was in a very good location. It was said that this was the training ground of the ancient great sage. Three space carriers were parked in three different directions in the huge training ground. Divine air filled the air and there were small battleships parked on top of each mountain. What a great place! Yi Fan could not help but exclaim. This was a place with soaring dragons and spirits. Auspicious air was overflowing, and divine light was faintly discernible. It was a rare place for cultivation. The more he looked, the brighter his eyes became. He had to admit that the Chao family had many tricks up their sleeves. To be able to snatch this ancient training ground, they must have spent a lot of effort. Ordinary ancient sages did not have the luck to enter. This was definitely the place where the ancient great sage lived. Now, there were still various runes flashing, and not all of them had been destroyed. This place was easy to defend, but difficult to attack. Even ancient sages would have to frown if they came. It would be difficult to attack. If they were not careful and triggered the restriction, they could be killed. Yi Fan entered the space carrier and could use the power of a sage. However, he did not rush in recklessly. Instead, he laughed coldly. What a good place. There are thousands of ordinary dragon veins, and the most important thing is that there are two rarely seen main dragon veins intertwined together. They are still alive! Yi Fan was originally thinking about how to break in, but after seeing this kind of terrain, the corners of his mouth almost twitched. 
This was the most ideal terrain for setting up the Heaven Yin Yang formation. He really suspected that ancestor Yuan Tian had been here before. That was why he had created such an absolute ancient technique that could evolve into a great killing tribulation. Now, he could almost be said to be the Yuan Taoist master. He was only a hair's breadth away. His understanding and comprehension of the great arts were unparalleled in the world, and no one could compare to him. Yi Fan began to get busy. He quickly set up the formation at the periphery of the mountain range. He wanted to kill without leaving a trace and make the Chao family suffer the consequences. This kind of dragon vein is really rare. Even dozens or hundreds of ancient stars might not have such an exquisite thing, but I actually found it here. All kinds of runes flew out. Of course, the premise was that he used the heaven-deceiving formation as a cover. Otherwise, he would be scanned as soon as he made a move. Yi Fan found that after coming to the Eternal Star region, he used this kind of formation the most. Otherwise, it would be difficult to move an inch, and he would be discovered very quickly. In the depths of the mountain range, the chaotic chi formed ribbons and surrounded this important area. The three space carriers were thousands of meters long and had a cold luster. In one of the space carriers, Chao Lin's expression was gloomy, somewhat spoiling her beauty. Her eyes were full of resentment as she said, He's really lucky to escape from the encirclement of four space carriers. I can't wait to catch him and kill him. We have to think of a way. This ascetic is super powerful and has extraordinary escape methods. If he doesn't take the initiative to appear, it will be very difficult to find him. An old man frowned. We have to capture him no matter what. Didn't Chi Yun make a move? We have to drag the entire Chi family down with us and borrow their great power to kill this little dog. Chao Lin was almost crazy as she screamed at the top of her lungs. They didn't know that Yi Fan had already arrived and had taken the initiative to take action. Before long, Yi Fan carved mysterious runes in the earth veins and on the stone peaks. As long as they were activated, they would instantly cause ten thousand dragons to roar and the divine veins to boil. Oh, it's enough. Let's enjoy the fireworks and the meteor shower, he said softly. Chapter 1161 An elder in the mothership exclaimed, That's right. Drag the Chi clan down with us. They are half the masters of this life planet. If they make a move, it will be earth-shattering. Make a good plan so that the Chi clan cannot leave and participate. Chao Lin laughed hysterically after speaking. Her face was ferocious, a far cry from her usual beauty. Report! We just received news that the ascetic cultivator broke into one of the Qi clan's divine islands. He massacred Qi Yun and the others. A middle-aged man entered the control room and reported. What? The elders stood up abruptly. He. Could it be that the god has taken a liking to him? They were doubtful. He he. Chao Ling let out a sinister cold laugh and said, This is really perfect, this way. As long as we give it a push, the immortal Feather Chi clan will definitely go into the water and advance and retreat with us. With this local snake, everything will be much easier. I want to cut that little dog piece by piece. That's right, ha ha ha. The elders laughed. This was a rare opportunity. The Chi clan would definitely be enraged. They just needed to guide them a little and they would be able to achieve their goal. What are you waiting for? Contact the Chi clan and send them our most sincere condolences. Oh, and don't forget to tell them that we will avenge the dead. Chao Lin laughed viciously. We have to be careful. He dared to attack the Chi clan. He is extremely daring. It is hard to say if he will not come here to kill us, an elder said with a frown. I really hope that he will appear. This place has the ancient great sages' symbols, 
as well as my clan's formations. I'm looking forward to him defying the heavens. Shaolin licked her bright red lips, revealing her snow-white and dense teeth that made one's hair stand on end. Rumble! All of a sudden, the sky and earth shook. The primitive mountain range shook as if it was going to flip over. Primordial energy erupted, and many spaceships parked on the mountain peaks fell. Not good! Enemy attack! The mountain was in chaos. Spaceships roared, and all kinds of sage symbols shot out in all directions. It was hazy and formed a horrifying ocean. This is the ancient great sage's place of seclusion. If anyone dares to cause trouble here, I'll make sure they can't leave. Their soul bones will be turned to ash. It would be best if that puppy showed up. Boom! An even more intense collapse occurred. All of the ancient sage inscriptions came to life, and the mountains and rivers began to flow in reverse. The sun and moon began to spin, and the river of time seemed to have been thrown into disorder. Not good, this place is going to collapse. The elders felt a chill run down their spines. At the same time, the leaders of the other two motherships were also alarmed. The ancient great sage's runes had been ignited, and this had become their nightmare. Quick, get out of here! Everyone shouted. The great Tao of heaven and earth was burning, the power of the sun, moon, and stars all swirling about to bury this place. Even the defensive light screen of the mothership was shattering, seemingly unable to hold on any longer. What? What's going on? Even the runes of the ancient great sage can't stop it? Who is it? Chao Lin's face fell. In the distance, Yi Fan indifferently watched all of this. From the moment the origin heaven yin yang formation had formed, he knew that this place would inevitably become a peerlessly dangerous land. The runes of the Forbidden Formation's soul altar flickered, the great Tao roared, and the power was monstrous. The earth veins turned into real dragons, tearing everything apart. Almost at this moment, the primitive mountain range was boiling. The dragon's aura was billowing, and the killing intent was monstrous. In an instant, more than a dozen battleships were smashed and turned into powder. Retreat! Retreat quickly! Everyone shouted. This was an impregnable base, and nothing had ever happened on the immortal Feather Star. Now, it had been breached by an unknown enemy, and everyone was terrified. Could it be that the members of the gods have come? Thinking of this possibility, everyone felt a chill in their hearts. The three motherships emitted a huge light screen to protect their own fleet. They wanted to fly into the sky, but it was extremely difficult. The ancient great sages' runes were originally meant to protect this place, but now they had been disintegrated by Yi Fan from the inside. The origin heaven pattern changed the direction of the mountains and rivers, turning this place into a land of catastrophe. The great sage's spell formation was burning. This was a disastrous result. The ancient great sage's magical power was so great that it could penetrate the heavens and the earth, summon the wind and summon the rain, and swallow the stars and the moon. It was omnipotent. But now, the great formation was out of control, disintegrating, burning, and heading towards destruction. The remaining great power exploded, attacking indiscriminately. Even the starships could not withstand it. Ah! No! Screams sounded one after another. One after another, the battleships were torn apart. The great sage's light swept across a large area. In the blink of an eye, more than a dozen battleships were destroyed, and many strong people were buried. Rush out! Leave quickly! people shouted. The densely packed battleships all rushed into the sky, fleeing for their lives. However, the ancient great sage's spell formation was not ordinary. The sky was also intertwined with light. The moment it disintegrated and collapsed, 
the destructive power spread to every inch of space. The battleships were like moths after autumn, falling in droves. It was a scene of doomsday. No! Chao Lin shouted in the mothership. She was completely crazy. She shouted, Who is it? Come out! Chao family, enjoy to your heart's content. Yi Fan appeared and stood in the distance. He no longer hid his aura, and the people in the mothership could scan him. Ah! The Chao family was furious, but there was nothing they could do. Bastard, I won't let you go. I'll grind your bones to dust. Chao Lin's facial features were twisted. She did not look like a normal girl. Her eyes were filled with hatred, and she was like an evil spirit with disheveled hair. Charge, kill your way out. The three motherships raised their screens of light and quickly rose into the air, wanting to break free from this terrifying domain. What was the ancient great sage? They were once unrivaled under the heavens. Although their formation had long since been damaged, it had been ignited by someone and turned into a sea of destruction. It was extremely terrifying. The three motherships had all suffered heavy damage and could not care about protecting the surrounding battleships. They could not even care about escaping and could only struggle frantically. This was a great disaster. The densely packed battleships in the sky self-destructed within the formation, exploding one after another under the great sage's light. It was a catastrophe. Blood dyed the sky red was not enough to describe how terrifying it was. There was no blood, no tears, no wailing, only the battleships being destroyed. Every time, a group of strong individuals would fall. However, such a catastrophe was like fireworks in Yi Fan's eyes. He was not moved at all and watched quietly. Boom! Finally, one of the motherships exploded which made the catastrophe even more shocking. A few important members of the Chao family in the mothership were killed, and not a single one escaped. Two real dragons, one black and one white, rushed out from the ground. They were tens of thousands of feet long and majestic. The dragon scales shone with a metallic luster, and their power was astonishing. These were the two main dragon veins underground. They turned into the power of yin and yang of the original forbidden formation, which destroyed everything in its way. It was like the autumn wind sweeping away the fallen leaves, and many battleships were destroyed. In the end, only one mothership flew up into the sky, fleeing for its life. It did not stop for even a moment. It left the immortal feather star and rushed towards the eternal lord star. The battleships were destroyed, and the mountain range was devastated. It had been flattened, and there were metal fragments everywhere. Green smoke was everywhere. One mothership escaped, and another mothership was destroyed. The last mothership was broken into pieces and crashed. The great sage's runes were destroyed, and the original forbidden formation disappeared. The dragon veins returned to peace. Yi Fan entered the wasteland like a demon. Not a single blade of grass grew, and the land was red for thousands of miles. He did not say anything. He first used the secret technique of the golden divine treasure to attack indiscriminately. He pierced through the wreckage of the mothership, which was tens of thousands of feet long, and caused it to split again. Many people did not die, but they were all seriously injured. They crawled out of the broken mothership, coughing up blood and struggling. You came here with so many people. Is this what you wanted? Yi Fan asked. You. A few important people were so angry that their wounds opened again, and they coughed up blood again. One of the women shouted at the top of her lungs and cursed loudly. The light in her eyes was terrifying. She was scolding Yi Fan. It was Chao Lin. There is nothing more to say. I will send all of you on your way. 
I think the Chao family must be very distressed to have lost so many battleships. Yi Fan made his move and displayed his vision. Boundless light rushed out, and the whole place was submerged. All kinds of miserable cries rose and fell. When it was quiet, everything was gone. Even the wreckage of the mothership had become fragments. The land was bare, and nothing was left of the primitive mountain range or the base. The sky was bright, and the night was over. The morning glow rose, and the Dahuang was very peaceful. The massacre had come to an end. In the distance, two gods were whispering. They were very shocked. They had seen the battle with their own eyes, and they thought that Yi Fan was qualified to enter the organization of gods. Perhaps he could become a core member. Brother Yi, please wait, they called out. However, Yi Fan did not stop. He turned into a bolt of lightning, tore open the void, and disappeared in the blink of an eye. In the morning, the immortal feather star was greatly shaken. Two terrible things happened that night, and the news spread quickly. Chi Yun had been killed in his seclusion, and the divine island had withered. Everyone was petrified. One had to know that the Chi family was half the master of the immortal feather star and they were the number one power. Their direct descendant had been killed in their own residence, and it indicated that a storm was coming. It was. It was done by a martial practitioner from outside the city. He entered alone and killed Chi Yun and his subordinates. He is really strong. This kind of thing could not be hidden. Yi Fan had left after the matter was settled, but many people had survived the night before and the news naturally spread to the outside world. Serves him right. Chi Yun was the most vicious person, and he was finally dealt with. This time, he bit the hand that fed him. Someone saved Chi Ming, but he helped an outsider kill her. It's good that he died. There were all kinds of opinions about this incident, but one thing was common. They recognized Yi Fan's strength, and dared to do such a thing. If the first incident was a storm, then the second incident was a tsunami that swept through the star region. The Chao family's three space carriers were destroyed, and the entire immortal feather star was shaken. Everyone was dumbfounded. Those were three space carriers, enough to sweep through the star region, but they had been destroyed by one person, and almost completely destroyed. It was Yi Fan who did it. He destroyed so many battleships by himself, and only one space carrier managed to escape. It's too scary. I don't believe it. Was it done by one person? Are you sure it wasn't a group of the strongest warriors in the universe that destroyed the Chao family's base? This. God, it's unbelievable. It's scary. People felt their mouths go dry when they heard the second incident. It was too surreal. Was this done by a person with flesh and blood? It should be a god. The Chao family was defeated, and their losses were even worse than the last time. Three space carriers were destroyed, and only one space carrier managed to escape. For the Chao family, this was a disaster. Naturally, this matter could not be hidden. Many of the big powers on the eternal main planet learned of it, and they were all dumbfounded. The Chao family's intestines were green with regret. All of this made them feel that it was unreal. Damn it, is that kid human? He destroyed three of our space carriers by himself? On this day, the people of the Chao family were going crazy. He has such a strong physique, and such a stunning ascetic cultivator is rarely seen. Do whatever it takes to recruit him. Let him have his pick of beauties and divine items. On the eternal main planet, many of the big powers made such a decision immediately. In the heavens, when the Brahmin clan received this news, they were all dumbfounded, and their expressions were very interesting. He's so strong? Fan Sien said to himself, looking incredulous. 
He's most likely related to the ascetic cultivator from a few years ago. We can use this as a guide, and perhaps we can bring him back, Fan Zhou said. Chapter 1162 No matter the cost, even if it's just a corpse, we must bring him back. This was the decision of the Brahmin tribe of heaven. They knew Yi Fan's value better than anyone else. The indestructible golden body was not a descendant. It had a pure bloodline and was one of the strongest constitutions in the universe. It could be cultivated into a world-shaking expert that could allow the Brahmin tribe to rule the world. We were too careless in the past. We did not discover in time that he was the first generation of the indestructible golden body. Now we have to make up for it. Some of the Brahmin tribe wanted to absorb Yi Fan's golden blood. It was not as simple as refining it. They wanted this bloodline to be passed down and used to change the constitutions of their tribe. The best way was naturally to marry and integrate the indestructible golden blood into their tribe. Perhaps it could even activate the Brahma divine blood in their bodies. If we succeed, the Brahmin tribe might be able to rule the eternal kingdom within 5,000 years and become the number one faction. That's right. The fusion of two types of divine blood, if it mutates, might give birth to a true god. The Brahmin tribe was extremely excited. The value of the first generation of the indestructible golden body was immeasurable. To them, it was an evolutionary fluid that surpassed the fourth stage, and they had to hold it firmly in their hands. They were in awe of the ancient gods. They were incomprehensible and supreme existences. Now, a few of the most powerful and ancient factions in the Eternal Kingdom still had some of the blood of the gods in their treasure vaults. In times of crisis, they could use it to create a few unparalleled experts to save the day. This matter. Perhaps we can only ask the ancestral saint to help us. Yi Fan's battle had stirred up a storm in the fairy Featherstar Ocean. His name had spread throughout the region. He had single-handedly destroyed three fleets of space carriers. His achievements were glorious and stunning. Some of the direct descendants of the Qi family had a dispute. Yi Fan had broken into the Divine Island at night and killed Qi Yun. This had hurt their nerves. Some were angry and wanted to kill him, while others wanted to restrain themselves and not make a rash decision. On the Eternal Lord Star, which was even further away, Yi Fan had not yet gone, but he had already attracted the attention of some of the major factions. They all wanted to rope him in and obtain this sharp sword. At this moment, the Chao clan was the most infuriated. They were extraordinary on the Eternal Lord planet and ruled over a region. Ordinary people didn't dare to provoke or anger them. Trash, what's the use of keeping you? Three fleets have failed, and almost all of them have been destroyed. You still have the face to live? An elder was enraged. Without a doubt, the Chao family had become a laughing stock. The Xian Yu Starfield was in an uproar. Although the news had not reached the eternal main planet, some of the major forces had already noticed it and were all laughing at them. He's just a Tao Severer, not an ancient saint. Even after sending so many people, they were all defeated. What use do you all have? A bunch of useless good-for-nothings. The more the old man roared, the angrier he became. The people below did not even dare to breathe too loudly. This old ancestor could become a saint at any time, and was currently an incomparably powerful giant of the Chao clan. No one dared to argue. Are you all mute? Why aren't you talking? The old man's temper was like a raging fire. Seeing that they didn't say a word, he became even angrier. Ancestor, now we can only ask the ancestral saint to come out of seclusion. Otherwise, it will be difficult to catch that ascetic cultivator. He has all kinds of mysterious methods, and if he wants to escape, it will be difficult to catch him. Someone bravely said. 
on the eternal lord planet, in a desolate and dilapidated ruin, a figure appeared. He faced an ancient statue and bowed, saying, I found an ascetic cultivator with an extraordinary bloodline. He is qualified to join our organization, God. In the future, he might become a core member. The indestructible golden body is indeed extraordinary. It appeared hundreds of thousands of years ago, and it caused the entire star area to tremble. It is unforgettable. The statue emitted a strange fluctuation. Its words were ancient and frightening. Everyone had different reactions, and there was a turbulent undercurrent. However, Yi Fan did not care. He continued to move forward with his goal. In the past few days, he had almost traveled all over the Xianyu starfield, looking for the relics of the ancient predecessors. This was a stop on the starry sky ancient path, a part of the land of self-refinement. It could be assumed that the predecessors had all stopped here before. Understanding this type of strange country was extremely beneficial for the ascetic cultivators. Their way of thinking would receive a great impact. He killed Chi Yun, and we cannot let him go like this. If we do not punish him, people will look down on the Chi clan. This is not generosity, but cowardice. The Chi clan was in an uproar. The pro-war faction wanted to act immediately and find Yi Fan. They felt that Chi Yun's death was a humiliation to the clan. He saved our clan's celestial pearl, and many people know about it. Even our enemy, Heaven, knows about it. However, Chi Yun repaid kindness with enmity and led a group of people to kill him. This can only be said to be a mess. If this continues, the outside world will definitely think that we are not kind. Chi Kun and the others did not want to act rashly, and they hoped to think of a safe solution. There is nothing more to say. This person must die. Only by obtaining his golden blood can we wash away the humiliation. That's right. Since he dared to provoke us, he must pay the price. We cannot let him live. In the end, the pro-war faction waved their sleeves and left, acting on their own. They sent out a large number of experts, and the whole Xianyu starfield was suddenly in chaos. The people were not very surprised. The Qi clan was half a resident of this ancient planet. How could they let the matter rest when a direct descendant was killed? They had to take action. However, Yi Fan's original technique was unparalleled. He could change his temperament and appearance without anyone noticing. He swaggered in and out of various cities with ease. We can't find him. This ascetic cultivator's secret technique is very strange. He hides in the sea of people, and there is no way to find him. The Chi clan's pro-war faction frowned and gritted his teeth. Go and find the ancestral saint. I heard that the Fan Clan's ancient saint has come out of seclusion, and he might be here for that lad. We cannot let them take him away. Oh, there is another way. Ask the Supreme Celestial Mirror to come out. Even if he hides in the sea of people, we can still find him. That's right, it is time to use the Celestial Mirror. The pro-war faction of the Chi Clan was about to make a big move. They swore to find Yi Fan and take his life. Tens of thousands of years ago, the Qi clan had a peerless and stunning revered immortal physique. He swept through the starry sky and was invincible. He had left behind several secret treasures, and one of them was an ancient mirror. It was not the strongest, but its divine power was definitely strange. Wherever it shone, all illusions would be broken and no secrets would be hidden. It was called the Supreme Celestial Mirror. Boom! A huge beam of light shone down. Yi Fan's soul trembled. He looked up in shock and found that a brilliant radiance had shone down and buried him. What a terrifying light! It's coming from an ancient mirror! Yi Fan's heart jumped. He took out the green copper defense and sped away like lightning. In the blink of an eye, 
he had left the city. However, not long after, a brilliant light shone down again. It was overflowing with colors, and he had nowhere to hide. This brat does have some tricks, but it's impossible to escape the supreme celestial mirror's search. The people of the immortal Feather Chi clan laughed as they locked onto Yi Fan. Boom! The battleships roared as one mothership after another soared into the sky. This planet was not big, so they could travel tens of thousands of miles in the blink of an eye. They quickly arrived at Yi Fan's location and shot out beams of divine light to kill him. Damn Chi clan! Yi Fan was astonished. With four motherships flying over, he could only run. He opened a realm gate and fled towards the outer space. However, the Chi clan used the supreme celestial mirror as a guide. Hazy immortal light flowed and illuminated everything about him. It followed him into the outer space, and he had no way to escape. Yi Fan had encountered great trouble in this star field. This was the first time he had felt so troublesome and unable to escape. The supreme celestial mirror was very magical and could reflect everything about him. The distance is too close. If I lay down great Emperor Wu Shi's heaven-deceiving runes, they might temporarily lose their senses. However, as long as I move, I will still be discovered. I need to increase the distance. Yi Fan traversed the universe, and the people of the Qi clan could also jump through space. They began a relentless pursuit. Yi Fan's expression became cold. He was preparing to descend on a meteorite and begin his counterattack. He still had some secret methods that might be able to heavily injure the enemy's motherships. However, at this time, a fluctuation that caused his heart to palpitate transmitted over. He knew that the situation was not good, an ancient saint had arrived. Not good, I've alarmed such a character. In the depths of the star field, a large expanse of dark clouds appeared. This was a magnificent scene that swept across the stars. A large black hand stretched forward and covered the entire starry sky. The four motherships trembled. They had been obstructed. Yi Fan's heart trembled. There was indeed a gap between him and an ancient saint. Unless he went up another level, he would definitely not be their opponent. The large black hand wanted to seize the four motherships. This kind of method was extremely powerful. Boom! In another part of the star region, a green hand reached out and collided with the black hand, blocking his way. At the same time, a loud voice shouted, Old ghost of the Brahmin race, how dare you come to my Chi clan and behave atrociously? The large black hand retracted and turned around to grab Yi Fan. It was boundless and covered the entire starry sky. Yi Fan's expression changed. He entered the host's mecca and let out a clear whistle. The five-colored divine light behind him swept across the starry sky. At the same time, he waved his golden fist and six supreme fist intense shot out. With a loud bang, the primal chaos under the starry sky surged. Yi Fan flipped a few times and fell into the distance. The giant black hand trembled, but it was unable to grab him. Everyone was shocked, especially the people in the four motherships. They were all dumbfounded and filled with confusion. Too powerful! He can compete with an ancient saint. Ordinary people can control the war tools of the ancient saints and unleash their saintly might, but they can't really fight a saint like this. A green Dao light shone as the large green hand reached out, wanting to grab Yi Fan and bring him back to the Qi clan. Behind Yi Fan, the golden divine treasure opened. Dao bells, divine swords, heavenly pagodas, treasured umbrellas, and all kinds of other golden weapons flew out, drowning the area in front of them and clashing violently with the large green hand. This brat is too heaven-defying. He can fight against an ancient saint. Our Chi clan's ancestor is here, yet he can still resist it. 
What kind of battle power is this? The Chi clan's army arrived one after another, but when they reached this part of the starry sky, they were all stunned. When Yi Fan put his life on the line, he could fight against an ancient saint. On the heavenly hall side, the large black hand didn't reach out. Instead, they watched coldly from the side. They could vaguely see a black figure standing in the depths of the universe. Traces of the Tao interweaved to form a terrifying field. He resisted an ancestral saint? In the depths of the starry sky, the Brahmin race's motherships also rushed over. Fan Xian felt his mouth go dry as he looked at this scene in disbelief. Chapter 1163 Yi Fan blocked the green hand and was not taken away. He was actually able to fight back in a short period of time. This made everyone dumbfounded. Not even a saint could do anything to him. The Qi clan's pro-war faction finally knew what kind of cultivator they had provoked. This fellow was extremely powerful and dared to arm wrestle with a saint. He was not afraid of the heavens or the earth and could fight. Of course, Yi Fan was on the passive side. No matter how many methods he used, he could only barely protect himself. However, this was enough to shock the world. Everyone on the battleships was petrified. Regardless of whether it was the Brahmin clan's giants or the Chi clan's leaders, there were all people present. Fan Zhou's eyes flickered with a strange light. Chi Kun frowned and sighed. Peerless fairies like Fan Xian and Chi Meng were also present. They stood in the mothership's control room, dumbfounded. Their eyes flowed with a strange luster. This was too shocking. How did he cultivate? How did he reach such a realm? Even an ancient saint can't do anything to him? Cultivators excavate their own treasures and cultivate heaven-defying techniques. Reaching this stage is truly frightening. The Chi clan saint frowned. He approached from afar and no longer used his large hand to fight. His true body had appeared. In order to protect himself, Yi Fan also began to fight with everything he had. A golden circle was propped up by him as he operated the ancient saint mech to form a taiji symbol to fight against this saint. Ha ha ha! On the other side, the heavenly clan's old ghost laughed loudly. This was the power of his divine sense that could penetrate any spaceship. The Chi clan's people were shocked and retreated in fear that this marauder ancestor would attack them. Chi Yaoguang, you're truly capable. You've fought a Tao executioner for so long without a clear victor. The heavenly clan's old ghost mocked. His body seemed hazy in the darkness. Fan Yutong, if you think you're a level higher than others, you can come and try. Chi Yaoguang spoke. His green robes fluttered and the saint's fluctuations were astonishing. The star domain was trembling under his divine sense. Why should I try? This little Tao friend and I are friends and not enemies. I've come here to support him. It's useless even if you try to sow discord, said Fan Yutong. In reality, he had also attacked Yi Fan at first. However, he had only tried once and stopped after failing to take him away. Clang, clang. Behind Yi Fan, the five colored divine lights spun, and the five treasured swords spun around, emitting an immeasurable pressure. It was comparable to the movement of the sun, moon, and stars, impenetrable by all arts, and even Saint Chi Yaoguang's attack was repelled. Fan Yutong saw all of this and was both shocked and regretful. This was the God's seed of the Hall of Heaven, and after so many years, no one had been able to comprehend it. Instead, it had helped Yi Fan. As for ancient sage Qi Yaoguang, his face remained impassive. After fighting for such a long time, even though he had the upper hand, he was still unable to take down Zhang Xian. He was a sage, a peerless expert in eternal kingdom. He was an existence that could look down on the ants in the world. However, he was unable to succeed. 
It was inexcusable. Boom! Yi Fan displayed an irregular phenomenon. Even though it was just a simple fusion, an expanse of indistinct and not a complete connection, the power was still astonishing. It struck Qi Yaoguang until he cried out strangely and flew backwards. This star domain immediately collapsed, chaotic energy toppling mountains and overturning seas. It turned into a dark cloud, rushing outwards, terrifying and astonishing. He had sent a sage flying. In the star domain, the people in the spaceships were dumbfounded. Everyone knew that after this battle, Yi Fan's value had increased. Perhaps the most powerful ancient factions on the Eternal Lord planet would extend an olive branch to him. All right, I admit that you can defeat a sage. This old man will have to go all out. Qi Yaoguang's face was hot. This was truly uncomfortable, and he almost spat out a mouthful of old blood. Sister Ming, your old ancestor was almost beaten to the ground by a Tao severing brat. Just now, his face was red and blood was gushing out. It was extremely uncomfortable. In the mothership, Fan Xian teased. She sent the scene to the main control room where Qi Meng was. Qi Meng blinked her large eyes and said, What are you so happy about? He came out from your hall of heaven, and he slaughtered his way through. I remember that your family suffered heavy losses, and everyone was hopping mad. I heard that your favorite nine-colored divine glass lamp was even shattered. Boom! An astonishing transformation took place on the battlefield. Qi Yaoguang did as he said. He released a wave of heaven overflowing might, and the sun, moon, and stars all trembled because of him. He wore a layer of green battle armor, and his aura immediately became many times more powerful. It affected the pulse of this star domain, and the terrifying aura shocked the heavens. Sage King Armor This divine armor wasn't very large. It was only half a jiang tall, and it was just enough to cover his body. Many people cried out in alarm. It surpassed the ancient Mecca and was a king-grade item. It could raise a sage's strength to a whole new realm. Just like how a half-saint could display holy might after controlling an ancient mecca, when a true sage entered a suitable war tool, they could similarly surpass realms, and their battle prowess would soar. One. An ear-piercing sound rang out. The universe shattered, and Qi Yaoguang became unmatched. He stretched out a large green hand and grabbed forward. It was as if the sonorous voice of the heavenly Tao rang out, and the star domain was broken. Yi Fan fled at lightning speed, turning into a streak of flowing light and disappearing into the depths of the universe. He knew that it would be difficult to face this opponent unless he went up another level. However, the large green hand broke through the universe, and it was omnipotent. It rapidly extended over and it was boundlessly terrifying. It enveloped a small planet beside Yi Fan's body, and it exploded with a single grab. Plucking the stars and capturing the moon, this wasn't a legend. This was something that had truly happened. When one reached such a level of power, they were all kings among the sages. They were absolute existences. Hong Long! The universe rumbled and the entire river of stars trembled. Meteors turned into powder one after another, and seven or eight small planets were all crushed by this large green hand. Yi Fan shivered inwardly. His thoughts moved at lightning speed, and he prepared to risk it all and use all of his trump cards. Suddenly, the old ghost from the heavens took action. He also entered the ancient sacred king armor, and a huge pitch black hand stretched out. With a ping sound, the starry sky was shattered, and the path of the large green hand was blocked. Old ghost, what are you doing? Chi Yaoguang said in a low voice. Naturally, I'm protecting my clan's esteemed guest. I won't allow you to offend him, Fan Yutong said with a smile. Chi Yaoguang laughed loudly and said, 
This little friend clearly rebelled against the heavens, and he killed his way out of your clan. How did he become an esteemed guest? It's just a misunderstanding. A little explanation will do. It's better than you guys biting the hand that feeds you and wanting to punish him, right? Fan Yutong said. Chi Yaowang shook his head and said with a smile, The younger generation is just insensible. I'm already this old, and there's nothing I can't accept. Why would I bicker with him and become enemies with him? I was just testing him. Now I'll invite him to my Chi clan as a guest. No one would have thought that the two ancient saints would act like this. It was unknown whether they really didn't bicker with him, or whether they had ulterior motives. Be it the Brahmin clan or the deity Feather Chi clan, everyone was a little stunned. They hid in the spaceship and watched the scene unfold in a daze. The two ancient saints were clearly fighting over Yi Fan. In the distance, Yi Fan didn't continue to escape because two powerful divine wills had locked onto this star region. He was considering whether or not he should fight to the death, regardless of the price. Brother Yi, can we talk? Just as the two saints were about to fight, the giant of the Brahmin clan, Fan Zhou, spoke. He flew out of the cosmos mothership and flew towards Yi Fan. What do you have to say? Yi Fan asked. Not long ago, there was a misunderstanding. Please forgive me for my poor hospitality, Fan Zhou said. He wanted to invite Yi Fan back and said that he would definitely treat him as an honored guest. Yi Fan laughed coldly in his heart, but his face was expressionless. How could he return to the Brahmin clan? There was nothing to say about this. Brother Yi, I know you have some prejudice against us, but please don't worry. I won't let anything unpleasant happen again. This time, I swear that if I do anything unfavorable to you, I'll be struck by lightning and die during the tribulation. Fan Zhou made a solemn vow on the spot, shocking many people. He was serious and didn't hesitate to be so serious. After that, although Fan Zhou didn't say it explicitly, the hints were very obvious. He hoped that Yi Fan would marry into the Brahmin clan, and the only thing missing was Fan Xian's name. Many people were dumbfounded. What was going on? The Brahmin clan attached so much importance to this ascetic cultivator. The change was too fast. Fan Xian, your uncle sold you out, Chi Meng said while blinking her large eyes. Fan Xian was devastatingly beautiful. Her two beautiful white legs were intertwined as she sat in the control room. She was also shocked. Then, she waved her jade-like hands, smashing the screen of her conversation with Chi Meng until black smoke rose. On the other side, Saint Chi Yaoguang's mind was shaken. He opened his heavenly eye and stared at the distant Yi Fan. Then, he looked at the old ghost and couldn't help but say, could he be the first generation imperishable golden body? No wonder. You guys suddenly became like this. The two of them were conversing in secret. Others didn't know, but they could see their expressions. They both revealed strange expressions. Chi Yaoguang secretly transmitted to Chi Kun, telling him to come out. Because his status was too high, it wasn't good for him to personally pull people over. When Chi Kun received the news, he was greatly shaken. Then, he braced himself and tried to rope in Yi Fan. He actually promised that if he could refine the fourth stage of the evolution liquid, he would give him a portion when the time came. What happened? Why did the two clans change their minds? Both of them have this type of attitude. Everyone was confused. Sister Meng Looking at your family's attitude, they most likely won't sell it to you. Instead, they will directly give it to you. Fan Xian sneered. At this time, Fan Zhou suddenly took out an ancient mirror and showed it to Yi Fan. He said, I wonder if little friend recognizes this item? Yi Fan was expressionless, but his heart was shaken. 
Wasn't this the void mirror? No, to be more accurate, it was a replica of the G family's imperial weapon. It was a king weapon. This was left behind by an extremely talented cultivator many years ago. He said that if someone could recognize it, then that person would most likely be someone from his hometown. Fan Zhou said unhurriedly as he stared at Yi Fan's expression. Was this left behind by Ji Hao Yue, or was it Ji Ziyue's weapon? Although Yi Fan's expression was calm, his heart was very uneasy. In the distance, Fan Yutong smiled. He had been paying attention and sensed the wisp of Yi Fan's divine sense. Although it was very faint, it reflected his mood. Yi Fan cursed in his heart. As expected, saints were not easy to provoke. A moment of carelessness and he was seen through, knowing that his relationship with this ancient mirror was not shallow. Brother Yi, why don't we find a quiet place to talk? Fan Zhou received the old ancestor's hint and heaved a sigh of relief. As expected, it was related to the stunning cultivator from many years ago. Qi Yaoguang's expression changed. Fan Yutong revealed a faint smile and put away the black Saint King armor. He was not prepared to fight anymore. He said, There is no need for the two of us to fight. Little friend, you can choose yourself. Brother Yi, I heard that you are an outer realm cultivator. Perhaps you came from the same place as my ancestors. Over a hundred thousand years ago, they walked on a path of trials and finally stopped here. Can we talk in private? Divine sense fluctuations came from the distance. Several groups of people were rushing over. Even though they weren't ancient sages, they still made the Brahma race and Chi family feel great fear. It was because they were actually the transcendental powers of the eternal overlord star. You really made it easy for us to find you. We were just about to invite you to become one of us, a god. A figure flew over from the distant sky, causing the expressions of the two ancient saints to change. This organization was too terrifying. Yi Fan had just fought against a saint, and this had truly shocked these people who had followed him. At this moment, they appeared one after another and fervently tried to rope him in. Chapter 1164 The Qi clan of the Celestial Feather clan had chased after Yi Fan causing a group of people to follow them. Now that they had shown up one after another, Yi Fan was shocked. He did not look at God, nor did he care about the hateful gazes of the Chao clan. Instead, he looked at the others. Your ancestor embarked on the path of the strongest trial and finally lived here for a long time? This was an earth-shattering piece of news. He had vaguely heard the old saint of the extraordinary warrior manor mention it before. Throughout the endless years, most of the people who stepped on this path ended up in a bloodbath in the outer realms, but there were also a few who stopped halfway. Now he encountered this group of people, so how could he not be shocked? He stared at them without blinking. The others all revealed strange expressions. This was someone from the Eternal Lord Star's Underworld King bloodline. Their power was great, and there was an old fellow with heaven overflowing magical force overseeing them. They couldn't be provoked. This was an ancient family that could contend against the Chao family. Our ancestor's last wish was to step on the path of return, to return to his hometown. Unfortunately, he couldn't fulfill his wish even until his death. The people of the Hades King's bloodline said, extending an obvious olive branch. Yi Fan did not talk too much with them. He only learned a little about a secret. The Northern Dipper Star Field was very special. It was a place that even the ancient emperors were searching for. It seemed that apart from the five colored altar and other primitive teleportation platforms, it was very difficult to find and enter from the outside. We've been exploring for many years, but we've never set foot on that path of return. We can't determine the coordinates. According to their speculations, if they wanted to enter that star domain, 
they could only rely on luck. There was no way to measure it. It seemed to be shrouded in an extremely mysterious mist. Yi Fan's heart was moved. He really wanted to travel with the Netherworld King race. There were many things he wanted to understand about the road ahead, about what had happened hundreds of thousands of years ago, and about the Eternal Lord Star. But in the end, he gave up on that idea. He needed to be careful. After so many years, the Netherworld royal clan must have been assimilated. This could be seen from their reliance on motherships and battleships. Yi Fan glanced back and saw the ancient mirror in Fan Zhou's hand. He sighed in his heart. He had to make a trip. Since it involved the big and small moons, he had to go even if it was a dragon's pool or a tiger's den. Of course, he wasn't too worried. If he was forced into a corner, he could fight with all his might. There was still hope for him to escape. He turned around to look at the god and tactfully expressed that he could consider joining them. However, he needed to go to the Brahmin tribe to take care of some matters, so he needed time. Afterwards, he politely expressed his gratitude towards the Netherworld King's clan, saying that he would definitely pay them a visit after the matter was settled. All of this was just borrowing power. If these two organizations were interested in him, they would definitely exert pressure on the Heavenly Hall, causing them to be fearful and not dare to make a move. In fact, the Brahmin race did not want to go to such extremes. After all, a living first-generation indestructible golden body was much more valuable than a corpse. Only the Chow family's eyes were spitting fire, but they didn't dare to approach. Now that Yi Fan had become the target of enticement from all sides, they definitely wouldn't be able to gain an advantage if they made a move in the outer realms. The Chi family tried their best to explain, but they still couldn't get Yi Fan to leave with them. At most, they could only ease the tension between them, so they were a little disappointed. But there was nothing that could be done. It was Chi Yun who repaid kindness with enmity first, and the pro war faction who chased after him was really too much and unkind. Just like that, a tense confrontation and great battle came to an end. The smoke dispersed, and the tension was gone. There was a harmonious atmosphere between everyone. Yi Fan would go to the Heavenly Hall. The god and the Netherworld King race had both made their voices heard. It couldn't be considered a threat, but it was a hidden warning. If the Brahmin race dared to harm him, they would incur their wrath. Even the Saint Fan Yuntong was incomparably afraid of the God organization, because there had been more than one incident of a saint being slaughtered, and it was all done by a member of the God organization. Yi Fan was originally a target of assassination, but now he had become one of the most powerful physiques in people's eyes. They didn't hesitate to pay any price to get him to join their side. He had become a delicious cake and the change was so great that it made people sigh. The Heavenly Hall was just a small world created by an ancient sage. It had merged with a small planet and evolved into a pure land. It couldn't be considered a true life source star. When he came here again, it was completely different from the last time. Yi Fan had become an esteemed guest, and not a guest elder who had to do his best for the clan. He was greatly respected. Of course, many people still pinched their noses and greeted him. They really wanted to skin him alive. Last time, he caused a great disturbance here, slaughtering in all directions, making many of the clan's disciples extremely dissatisfied. But now, things were completely different. Even the fan universe was extremely courteous to him, no longer acting high and mighty. Even a peerless beauty like Fan Xian had to welcome him with a smile. As for what he was thinking in his heart, it wasn't worth knowing. That brat destroyed several of our ancient divine war tools, and even seized our god's five-colored secret force seed. Now, he is instead being treated as an esteemed guest. Damn it! 
There were some who were discontent and wanted to step out. However, they were immediately suppressed by the experts who were observing everything in secret, telling them not to cause trouble. Without a doubt, this made many people feel extremely sullen. They wanted to swarm over and teach Yi Fan a lesson, but they couldn't. They could only watch helplessly. What? Even young Miss Fan Xian might marry him? This can't be real. It must be an illusion. I want to kill that brat. What virtue or ability does he have to marry our clan's celestial pearl? After hearing this news, many young people couldn't sit still. Not all the plunderers of the heavenly halls had the surname Fan. To them, Fan Xian was the goddess of their dreams. Suppress. Fan Universe only said these two words in response to this uproar. Now that he wanted to rope in Yi Fan, he naturally couldn't let some impulsive young people spoil the grand plan. Yi Fan didn't have much to say here. He only wanted to ask about the secret of the ancient mirror, who left it behind, and what words were left behind. Eight years ago, a stunning ascetic cultivator came to our star domain. He fought with an unknown creature in the cosmos and was gravely injured. Yi Fan's eyes were profound. Through Fan Universe's narration, he knew that it was undoubtedly Ji Haoyue. When he saw the portrait, he was even more certain. Unfortunately, that stunning cultivator didn't stay for long. When I rushed over, he had already disappeared. Ji Haoyue had brought a type of divine mineral from the starry sky and left a small portion to exchange for an ancient mecca. He was very vigilant. He had originally said that he would stay and join the heavenly halls, but he had disappeared in the blink of an eye. Fan Universe was a bit embarrassed and didn't explain in detail. But thinking about it, it wasn't without reason that Ji Haoyue was so guarded against them. What words did he leave behind? Yi Fan asked. It's all engraved on this ancient mirror. Fan Universe, in order to show his sincerity, handed over the void mirror replica. There were a few lines of small words engraved on the back of the mirror. It really was Ji Haoyue's handwriting. I suffered heavy injuries on the path ahead and returned to recuperate. The Eternal Lord Star can't be missed. It's vast and mysterious. The evolution liquid can speed up one's cultivation, so it's worth staying here for a while. The members of the Mind Division aren't limited to this star domain. There are hunters on the heavenly path that specifically target the strongest trial takers. Is extremely dangerous. These were nine pieces of precious information that shook Yi Fan's heart. The clues left behind by Ji Haoyue were very important to those who came later. Yi Fan carefully read through them and fell into a moment of silence. Eight years had passed. How was Ji Haoyue now? He should have improved very quickly in this place, and his cultivation had increased rapidly. Otherwise, he wouldn't have suggested for those who came later to stop and extract the evolution liquid. But even so, Ji Haoyue had suffered heavy injuries on the path ahead and fled back to recuperate. One could imagine how dangerous it was. Where did you get this ancient mirror? It was in a historical site. Legend has it that Wan Qing once bathed there. It's called the Evergreen Pond. Fan Universe said somewhat unnaturally, This wasn't given to them by Ji Haoyue. It was obtained when the race was searching for the whereabouts of the stunning ascetic cultivator. It was somewhat different from what Fan Universe had said before. In order to make Yi Fan believe it, Fan Universe called the people who had participated in the search and let Yi Fan observe their sea of consciousness to see how they had obtained this ancient mirror. Yi Fan didn't say anything more and thought about it seriously. The path to heaven was indeed difficult. He didn't know what he would encounter in the future. Could Brother Yi consider heaven? Fan Universe tactfully said, hoping that he would join. He hinted that Fan Xian could marry him. In this star domain, Fan Xian was undoubtedly one of the most beautiful women. 
She was on par with Chi Meng, a peerless beauty that could topple cities. She was a resplendent immortal pearl. Yi Fan tactfully declined. How could he care so much now? He was only thinking about how to obtain the most powerful evolution liquid to quickly increase his cultivation and then hurry forward. He was well aware that on this ancient path of the most powerful refinement, one might need the power of a saint. Otherwise, he would only die in vain if he charged forward. Whether he marries into the family or not has nothing to do with me. Don't involve me. When Fan Xian vaguely heard that she needed to be sacrificed, she immediately found an old ancestor and expressed that she wouldn't compromise. Fortunately, the young miss resisted with her life. How could she marry that bastard brat? Many youngsters let out sighs of relief. Young Miss Fan Xian is proud and arrogant. She has her own dreams. So what if this person is powerful? He can't enter her eyes. During these days, the Brahmin race tried every means to rope in Yi Fan, promising him many things. They said that they were searching for divine ores that might be able to refine the fourth stage of the evolution liquid in the future. However, Yi Fan knew that the Brahmin race's accumulation had almost been used up. There wasn't much left. If they wanted to refine the legendary fourth stage, they might not be able to do so without several thousand years. Not to mention them, even on the Eternal Lord planet, there weren't many great powers that could say they could refine it. Yi Fan wanted to leave. The Brahmin race was stalling for time but the members of the god race and the netherworld king race had warned them to protect Yi Fan. I think he's refusing a toast only to be forced to drink a forfeit. We might as well just kill him. We'll obtain the origin of the imperishable golden body and give his corpse to the Chao family. We'll share the burden. That's right. The Chao family has exerted too much pressure on us these days. If we continue like this, there will be big problems. The radical faction clamored, wanting to take action against Yi Fan. That won't do. Compared to the members of the god race, the pressure from the Chao family isn't much. That mysterious organization's reach is extremely long. It's extremely terrifying. Fan Zhou shook his head. We can let him leave, but before that, we must obtain what we want. An elder narrowed his eyes, revealing two strands of cold light. Some people didn't understand. If they didn't kill him, how could they obtain the golden blood? How could they merge it with the Brahmin race's bloodline? The elder explained that they could find some Brahmin race women and give birth to some descendants with the imperishable golden body. If these people grew up, their value would be immeasurable. That's right. That is the second generation of the imperishable golden body. With just a few of them, it would be enough to sweep through this star domain. In the end, the golden blood will merge with our Brahmin race and be used by our race. Another elder nodded. In the end, the Brahmin race became hostile. They sent out ancient saints to put Yi Fan under house arrest. They wanted to obtain his imperishable divine inheritance. Yi Fan clenched his teeth. The Brahmin race really was vicious, all types of drugs practically drowning out his residents, stimulating his primitive beastly instincts. They wanted him to submit. A few beautiful women appeared, every one of them tall and slender, alluring and moving. Their intentions were clear, they wanted him to leave behind descendants. Yi Fan's face darkened. He operated mysterious techniques, neutralizing all of the various drug effects. They weren't that effective against him. You better be a bit more obedient. Don't force us to extract your blood, genes, and other things. When the time comes, we forcefully accelerate the process. You still won't be able to do anything. Someone warned. Bring away all of these mediocre women. If you want to give birth to my descendants, then your clan's fan immortal is more likely. Yi Fan mocked. 
In front of the large screen, Fan Xian was also looking at the situation. She was so angry her delicate body trembled. She stood up and said, Despicable, too arrogant. Let's forcefully extract his golden divine blood. Chapter 1165 Fan Xian flew into a rage out of humiliation. She had had enough of Yi Fan. His undisguised mockery and provocation made her want to stamp her shoe on his face. However, no matter how angry she was, it was useless. The experts of the Brahmin race stopped her, and it was impossible for her to enter. After Yi Fan saw her, he loudly mocked her, making her so angry that she could only hide her anger. Heh, I was just joking. Since you rushed over so impatiently, could it be that you want to use force on me? Surnamed Yi, don't be so arrogant. You aren't as important to us as you think. Do you believe that I won't kill you right now? Veins popped out on Fan Xian's forehead. You're angry out of humiliation. Don't tell me you want to use force on me, but... Even if that's the case, I won't let you get what you want. Yi Fan laughed loudly, completely unrestrained. This brat is too savage. I really want to beat him to death. The few youngsters who accompanied Fan Xian clenched their fists. Yi Fan's mouth was extremely despicable, and he didn't stop nagging. Every word was enough to make others stomp their feet, yet he didn't seem to realize it and acted as if he didn't care at all. Fan Xian was so angry that she screamed. Soak him in the lunar death water and peel off a layer of his skin. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. The experts guarding this place looked at each other in dismay. The young miss had truly been provoked, and she was flustered and exasperated like this. It was rare to see her like this after so many years. Do as Miss Fan says. Soak him in the lunar death water and make him shut his mouth. A man with some authority spoke. No, the higher-ups won't allow that. An old man shook his head. It doesn't matter. Since he doesn't want to cooperate, we can directly extract his blood and refine his genes. We can directly interfere and promote the birth of the next generation of the indestructible golden body. Right now, they didn't have much hope. Yi Fan was clearly unmoved by force or persuasion, so they might as well directly extract his divine gene imprint and artificially create a second generation. Life is the greatest miracle in the world. We can replicate an exact copy of the indestructible golden body, but we can't maintain that kind of divinity. You and I both know that the next generation of the golden body that is born naturally is the most powerful. It's better not to use extreme methods. The old man retorted. The Brahmin race really couldn't stand Yi Fan. His mouth was so venomous that all sorts of medicinal substances had no effect on him. Whether it was the women who had been sent over or the Brahmin immortal who had come to teach him a lesson, he had ridiculed them all. Even someone as strong-willed as Fan Xian had flipped out and shouted several times that she wanted to castrate him. The most beautiful woman in this star region had said such crude words, so it was easy to imagine what kind of stimulation she had gone through. Beauty, you're the one who said those words. Did I hear wrongly? Such vulgar words coming out of your mouth. Should I say that this is your nature, or that you're vaguely looking forward to it? Kill this bastard! I've had enough of him. Fan Xian was so angry that her beautiful body was trembling. The Brahmin race was starting to consider using force to obtain the blood and genes to extract what they needed. However, they would definitely have to ask the saints for help. Wait. In the end, Fan Xian stopped them again. She was truly angered badly. She felt that doing this wouldn't appease her anger at all so she thought of an extremely abnormal idea. Didn't we capture a rarely seen devil emperor ape in the starry sky? Lock her up with this brat. The Brahmin race's people were stupefied. 
they knew that Fan Xian was truly angered badly. She couldn't bear it any longer and wanted revenge. The Devil Emperor Ape was a type of extremely evil, evil, and obscene creature. They lost two half-saints before capturing it. Its genes were incomparably terrifying. They had always considered extracting it for research, but they hadn't taken action yet. The Devil Emperor Ape likes strong and robust men. Now, fulfill her wish, Fan Xian said. Yi Fan was stunned. He realized that he could offend anyone but this woman. If he truly angered them, they would do anything. Ah, uh, that was a giant Devil Emperor Ape covered in black fur that reached a foot in length. It was six jiang tall, and its bloody mouth was wide open. Drool dripped down continuously, truly making one feel nauseous. Use the divine laws of the great Tao to completely suppress him. Make him lose the ability to move and help the devil emperor ape, Fan Xian said sinisterly. She then turned around and left. She was a woman after all, so she didn't dare to truly watch. You're a freak! Yi Fan knew that he couldn't take it anymore. He prepared to break out of prison. If this continued, he felt as if all of his goosebumps were going to fall onto the ground. Hong! A cauldron rushed out from between Yi Fan's brows. The source energy of all life descended, able to collapse the void of the universe. The giant black ape's bones were immediately smashed apart, and it flew outwards. What? This is the source energy of all life. Heavens, this type of rarely seen immortal material can be used to forge divine mechas. It's matchless and unrivaled, yet he actually has it in his hands. The Brahmin race was in chaos. Those who were watching over Yi Fan were all shocked. They quickly hurried over to report. This matter was too important. Yi Fan wanted to break out of prison, startling all of the experts in this region. They hurried over together, activating the divine patterns of the great Tao to stop him. Don't worry, even a true saint can't break out. This is where saints are imprisoned to begin with, so there's no need for everyone to worry. Someone said, You have the source energy of all life on you. Fan Xian heard the news. When she hurried over, she was stunned. At first, the heavens didn't want to completely offend Yi Fan. That ancient saint didn't search him for the secret treasures of various sects, and only wanted to use a few of his family's beauties to get close to him. After that, it was just a romantic affair, and it couldn't be considered a grudge. Now, they were a bit regretful. The value of something like the source energy of all life was too high, and it was worth taking action. Golden blood, source energy of all life, all of this is too fantastical, all concentrated on a single person. Hong! An intense tremor sounded. Everyone discovered that the source energy of all life wrapped around a green hazy object. It smashed into the ancient saint's symbols, and many ancient traces were erased. Not good, he might escape. We need to report this to the ancestral saint. The green copper was extremely sturdy. Even though there was nothing worth its revival, it merged with the all-life source cauldron, and when it was used to smash things, it was absolutely unstoppable. What it lacked was magical force, but a portion of it was replenished by the source energy cauldron. Hong Long The ancient saint's great prison split apart, and streak after streak of cracks appeared. All types of symbols were erased, and Yi Fan was about to rush out. Ancestral saint, please come out of isolation! Someone shouted loudly, going to invite Fan Yatong. Suddenly, all types of colored light flew out. Everyone felt as if the world was spinning. This was something that flew out from the black prison, and it was everywhere. Retreat, quickly retreat! Close all of the pores on your body, and don't use your divine senses. This is a holy medicine that stimulates the primordial beast instincts, 
and it has leaked out from the prison. Someone shouted loudly, and his expression was one of panic. During these days, for the sake of dealing with Yifan, they piled up all types of holy medicines in the great prison. These things could not only attack one's physical body, but they could also corrode one's divine senses. They could turn into light, and they were everywhere. These were holy medicines, refined by medicine saints who understood ancient medicine refinement techniques. They were the most terrifying. Dong! Yi Fan blasted open the great formation, successfully breaking out of the prison. All types of light mists flew out, submerging this region. No one could hide, because who could instantly move faster than light? Ho! Many people's eyes became red, releasing roars that were full of wildness. This was the return of their bestial nature. There were some who couldn't help but start a slaughter, and there were others who were full of bestial desires. This place became incomparably terrifying. Killing intent rushed into the heavens, and everything was in chaos. The Fan clan suffered the consequences of their own actions, absorbing this type of holy medicine. Didn't you want to deal with me? Yi Fan looked at Fan Xian who was like a crane among chickens. She was slender and elegant, her ivory-white body dyed in a layer of pink. The medicinal effects aren't enough, give me a bit more. Yi Fan grabbed a handful of holy medicines, scattering them all over her body. Ah! Fan Xian's screams were accompanied by a type of hurried breathing. It was a bit high-pitched, and it shook one's soul. Fan Xian's figure was tall and straight her beautiful legs turning from pure white to pink. She almost fell weakly onto the ground, and her entire body became incomparably hazy. You dare? Yi Fan roared with laughter. He didn't care about anything else, rushing forward and slaughtering his way over. All types of holy medicines were being tossed about, and then this place became completely chaotic. Everyone went crazy. You dare? Fan Yutong arrived. A saint could travel thousands of li in the blink of an eye. When he opened his eyes and broke out of seclusion, he naturally arrived in an instant. Boom! A beam of heaven overflowing holy might descended, heading towards Yi Fan. Fan Yutong was truly angered badly. What had the heavens become now? Their bestial nature had returned, and there was going to be great chaos soon. All of this started because of this brat. He was the one who spread the holy medicine everywhere. He was simply a scoundrel who burned, killed, and plundered, committing all kinds of crimes. Yi Fan hadn't killed anyone yet, and was only giving them a taste of their own medicine. However, the consequences were even more severe. That devil emperor ape howled loudly, chasing after several half-saints. Its eyes were all red. Yi Fan naturally found it extremely strenuous to resist the holy might. His entire body burned with golden blood energy, and the blood in his body seemed to be boiling. He felt that the situation was far from reassuring. Under the pressure of the holy might, his body had no choice but to resist with all its strength. The holy medicine turned into light and mist and it was effective against him. At this moment, he had no time to refine it. The various experts of the Fan clan went crazy. The prison was in a state of chaos, and bestial nature, slaughter, and instincts all interweaved together. I'm going to kill you! Fan Xian shouted loudly. Her full and towering chest heaved up and down, almost bursting through the bindings of her tight clothes. Her entire body was sparkling and translucent, and she was gasping for breath. She still had a bit of rationality left. When she saw Yi Fan, she immediately attacked. However, it was completely useless, and she couldn't move the holy physique at all. A cold light flashed in Yi Fan's eyes. He wanted to kill her, and with a tap of his finger, a bloody mark appeared on her snow white neck even from far away. However, he immediately released a muffled groan. 
holy might covered the sky and earth from the heavens. Fan Yintong's expression was cold as he slaughtered his way down, wanting to quickly quell the chaos. Hong! Another wave of holy might appeared, meeting Fan Yintong head on. It sent him flying and blocked his path. Why aren't you leaving yet? Qi Guang arrived and shouted at Yi Fan. During these days, he had always been lingering outside the heavens, and now he appeared to help. Yi Fan nodded and turned around to leave. He quickly laid down the chessboard formation platform and walked inside. At this time, his divine sense was also a bit scattered, and his vision was no longer clear. He was also affected by all kinds of light mist while fighting against a saint. Behind him, Fan Xian's body had long since become weak. Her breath smelled like orchids, and many multicolored clouds appeared on her pure white body. She had completely lost herself, and she instinctively shouted, I'm going to kill you! She entered the realm gate and weakly attacked. Chapter 1166 I'm going to kill you! Hurried words and a powerless voice came from behind, accompanied by a breath that smelled like orchid. Yi Fan turned around and Fan Xian followed closely behind. She aimed her palm at his back, but how could she injure the indestructible golden body? They arrived at the star domain. The chessboard platform was connected to the outer space, far away from the battlefield of the heavens. All the clamor and sounds of fighting could no longer be heard. Fan Xian was tall and slender. Her hair was smooth and silky, and her body was sparkling. Her eyes were hazy and her long eyelashes were trembling. Although she was lost, she still maintained her usual train of thought. Surnamed Yi. I'm going to demote you to a slave and make you the lowliest servant. Even the ancestral saint won't be able to forgive you. Her thoughts were in chaos, and she couldn't control them at all. The resentment in her heart erupted. Her slender arms flickered with a bewitching luster as her slender fingers streaked past, aiming for Yi Fan's temple. Yi Fan's divine sense was also scattered, and his thoughts were unclear. However, his eyes still flashed with a cold light as he turned around. His golden blood energy surged and blasted Fan Xian away. She coughed out large mouthfuls of blood, and her face was pale. She almost lost her life. You dare! The realm gate hadn't disappeared yet. Saint Fan Yutong had transcended mortality and entered sainthood. He saw this scene through the spatial passage and attacked with a peerless attack. This was the fluctuation of a saint. Yi Fan suffered a heavy blow while he was in a daze. His body was flung away, and a vast amount of magical power pressed down on him. Old ghost! Qi Yao Wang's expression changed. He quickly blocked the ancient saint of the heavens and fought with him. The realm gate that cut off the path ahead dimmed and disappeared immediately, isolating heaven and earth. Starlight sprinkled down, and specks of light appeared in the darkness. Fan Xian was like an exquisite work of art. Her entire body was translucent, and her skin and bones were jade-like. However, at this moment, she was stained with strands of scarlet light. She was tall and slender compared to ordinary women. Her body was built according to the golden ratio as if it was carved out of warm jade. At this moment, she was in a trance. I won't rest until you die. You'll become my slave. She lost her ability to think normally, and an instinctive anger drove her to attack Yi Fan, spilling out many of the words in her heart. You lowly ascetic cultivator, You've provoked me time and time again. How hateful! I will use the cruelest methods to torture you. To make you understand what reason and law are! Her body moved up and down gracefully, curvaceous in all the right places. There was a hint of red in her snow-white skin, and there was a luster in her translucent skin. 
she stepped forward with her long white legs, aiming for the top of Yi Fan's head. Yi Fan let out a low roar and swung his fist out of instinct, releasing a blazing light. His physical strength was so great that he could fight against a saint. Pooh! There was only a flash of bloody light, and that body turned into a bloody mist. It was killed on the spot, and the light slowly dissipated. What? Inside the heavenly hall, Fan Yutong was startled. He felt a chill as he growled. You actually killed my direct descendant! Fan Xian and Fan Tian were the two people his clan valued the most. They had spent a great deal of effort to nurture them because their bloodlines were very pure. Perhaps there would be a day when they could revive the blood of deities. I hope the death substitution talisman left behind by an ancient deity can save her life. Fan Yutong's face was gloomy. He fought Chiao Guang while killing his way to outer space to save Fan Xian. Bloody mist curled up in outer space. With a flash of misty splendor, a delicate jade-like body that seemed to be carved out of ivory appeared. All of the bloody mist and light flowed back in reverse. It was incomparably mysterious. Surnamed Yi. Fan Xian let out a resounding scream. She was momentarily clear-headed, but as the light of the holy medicine circulated, her large eyes became blurry and no longer as clear. At this time, she wasn't touched at all. Her body was slender and snow-white like jade. Her hair was scattered, and her eyes were very bewitching. She instinctively launched an attack against Yi Fan. Pooh! However, what awaited her was only a golden finger radiance. It shattered her perfect body, and she turned into a bloody mist amidst the intense pain. This ascetic is really ruthless. Within the heavenly hall, Fan Yutong's expression changed once again. He had bestowed the death substitution talismans left behind by the ancient deities, so he could sense them all. Fan Xian was one of the top beauties in this star field. She and Qi Meng were known as the twin peerless geniuses. Who would have thought that she would be mercilessly killed by Yi Fan? Moreover, she was under the influence of the holy medicine. Even her instincts couldn't control her killing intent. A terrifying beam of light flew out from the heavenly hall and slashed towards outer space. Fan Yutong had deduced Yi Fan's position and launched a long range attack. Yi Fan's body shook violently. A sudden beam of holy light swept over him. If not for his indestructible golden body, he would have been smashed to pieces and his soul scattered. No half saint could withstand an attack from an ancient saint. He had been attacked by a saint in succession. Although he was strong enough and didn't die, his blood and aura were in chaos. He couldn't purify the holy medicine, and his mind became even more unclear. Pooh! A bloody light flashed. Yi Fan had already killed Fan Xian four times. The death substitution talismans left behind by the ancient deities were all cracked and couldn't be used again. Ah, you lowly ascetic cultivator, you actually killed me so many times. Fan Xian was indignant and cried out in alarm. Every time she recovered, she would have a brief moment of clarity. She was so angry that her delicate body was trembling. Afterwards, she would become even more confused every time because the holy medicine's light would flow back and reconstruct her body, completely merging into her blood. Her body was beautiful to the extreme. Every inch of it was white and full of luster. It was the work of the gods. It was a perfect masterpiece. She had a peerless face, a swan-like neck, a towering chest, a small waist, and a slender, white, and beautiful legs. When combined together, she was incomparably graceful and moving. Yi Fan killed Fan Xian five times in total. The sixth time didn't happen. After the two of them rushed together, a charming scene appeared. Their primal instincts won over their respective hatred and other factors. 
the holy medicine was completely activated. It couldn't be expelled or purified, affecting their bodies and minds. The two of them were entangled together. Lowly slave, I'm going to crush you under my feet forever. What most resplendent and beautiful pearl. I don't see you being any more noble than that. Specks of auspicious light flickered under the starry sky. The two bodies were entangled together. When their primal instincts flared up, in their final moments of clarity, the two of them slandered each other. One of them had a bronze body, sturdy and sturdy. The other was spotlessly white like ivory, slender and wonderful. They violently twisted about like two snakes coiling around each other. This was a type of primal desire. It was a scene that would make one's face blush and heart beat wildly. The medicine refined by the ancient sage finally displayed its effects. It was unstoppable. Clear and cold star splendor, the boundless cosmos. This vast and spacious void could contain everything. There was no sound, and it was so quiet that it made one feel lonely. Yi Fan and Fan Xian didn't know where they were. Their blood was boiling, and after being dominated by a primal instinct, they lost themselves. That last bit of clarity completely disappeared. Ten thousand strands of star splendor, the eternal cosmos. In this boundless starry domain, an individual was as insignificant as a speck of dust, not worth much. The bronze power, the pure white sparkling beauty, the two slender bodies, and the fluctuations of divine sense. It was incomparably charming. The primal instinct, the sea of desire, the scene of blood vessels surging, all of this interweaved together to form a hazy scene of amorous feelings. Fan Yun Tong and Qi Yao Guang fought, and they finally fought their way into outer space. Wherever they passed, meteors turned to ash, and beams of light shot out in ten thousand strands. Nothing could obstruct their footwork. Fan Xian had a high status in the heavens, and was nurtured as an inheritor. But now, she had already died five times, and even the ancient deity's puppet death substitution talisman had been completely destroyed. Fan Yuntong had lost contact with her, and this made him very uneasy. He didn't know how she was right now. Old ghost, you robbed my race's mothership and refined the most powerful bloodline evolution liquid. I've long since wanted to settle accounts with you. Chi Yaoguang blocked his way, not giving him a chance to rescue her. The battle continued. After an unknown amount of time, Fan Yuntong didn't hold any hope. They had fought for more than two hours and he believed that Fan Xian had already died several times during this long period of time. This brat really is vicious, even treating my Fan Clan's immortal beads like plants, willing to take action. He's worse than a beast. He was furious. In the end, they finally fought their way into this star domain. Fan Yutong was the first to notice that something was wrong. He laughed coldly and said, Old ghost, your wishful thinking actually came true. You want to raise the next generation of golden bodies? Fan Yuntung's expression was also strange. He didn't expect to run into this scene in outer space. His expression wasn't that good, but he finally understood what was going on. This was the effect of the divine medicine. Before this, his great-great-granddaughter had already been killed five times. This was truly abnormal. If the two of them were clear-headed, Fan Xian would definitely be dead. Starlight flowed like water. Yi Fan and Fan Xian revived. When they understood each other's state, they both stared blankly, and then began to struggle intensely. Ah! Fan Xian's divine sense fluctuations were sharp and ear-piercing. She was so angry that her teeth hurt and her internal organs were burning. However, at this time, she didn't have a trace of strength left. She couldn't change anything at all. Her snow-white body was flushed red. She was so angry she wanted to scream out, but she was weak and powerless. 
You. Her face alternated between green and white. She used the last of her strength to push Yi Fan away. She pulled out a blue dress and wrapped it around her jade like body. Then, she quickly moved several hundred Zhang away. Your Brahmin race is truly despicable, Yi Fan said. He put on a long robe and then took out an ancient mecca. He was ready for battle because he sensed that Fan Yuntong and Shi Yaoguang had arrived. Fan Xian almost fainted from anger after hearing these words. Several black lines were lightly throbbing on her sparkling white forehead. She pointed at Yi Fan but couldn't say anything. After a long while, she gritted her teeth and spat out a few words. Surnamed Yi, bastard from outer space, I'm not done with you. The two saints arrived and took action to separate them, each protecting one of them. Fan Yintong's face was gloomy. A large black hand reached out and slapped toward Yi Fan. Chi Yaoguang laughed loudly and met his palm. Old ghost, you've suffered a double loss. It seems you didn't get anything. The golden body descendant plan has failed. Fan Yintong became even more furious after hearing these words. He attacked crazily while Fan Xian, who was not far away, clenched her fists tightly. Her eyes were spitting fire as she wanted to smash that disrespectful old bastard to pieces. Of course, if glances could kill, Yi Fan would have been the first to bear the brunt of it. He would have died over ten thousand times already. Chi Yaoguang laughed and said, Let's call it a day for today. We'll talk about it after you've calmed down. Do you want this little fellow cultivator to marry into your family and continue to complete the indestructible golden body plan? Or do you want to kill him? You can decide after you've calmed down. I'll leave with him. With a flash of light, the two disappeared without a trace. In the sky, only the ashen-faced Fan Yuntong and the rosy Fan Xian were left. Chapter 1167 Under the dazzling starry sky, Fan Xian screamed, but there was nothing he could do. Fan Xian's face alternated between red and white, but he could not change anything. Fan Yutong wanted to chase and kill, but he held back his anger. If he dared to do this to the Qi clan, Qi Yaoguang would definitely destroy the heavenly hall. Light showered down, and Yi Fan and Qi Yaoguang arrived at the immortal feather planet. They were extremely fast, and along the way, the Qi clan's saints were all in a good mood. Hey, kid, why aren't you saying anything? You took advantage of me and now you're a saint. The old man was not serious. You're the saint, Yi Fan said. Thinking about what had just happened, he felt a headache coming on. Young people are so lucky. You're so much better than I was back in the day. You're so decisive. Chi Yaoguang laughed. You old man, you're so disrespectful. Yi Fan rubbed his temples. He had cultivated many meridians, and his Xian Kung Fu was connected to the gods. Now that he had completed the nine transformations, all the side effects were gone. Hey, little friend, don't say that. That was a celestial flower from the star field, and it was stuck in a pile of cow dung like you. Tisk tisk. Really? The old man's words were not kind. Yi Fan really wanted to step on him. He gave him the back of his head and began to think about what to do next. Chi Yaoguang obviously felt that it was easy to talk. He said, Hey, young man, don't act like you have a deep grudge. It's not like we're taking advantage of each other. After all, you have an indestructible golden body, and you're worth paying for. Black lines appeared on Yi Fan's forehead. He glanced sideways at him and said, since you say so, I think Miss Chi Meng is not bad. Chi Yaoguang immediately stopped and warned him not to have any bad ideas. Otherwise, the whole world would hunt him down. At the same time, he did not dare to continue teasing him. Senior, I'm serious. It was Yi Fan's turn to tease him. Go away, 
Chiaobuan said. If you piss me off, I'll destroy your corpse and get rid of you. I don't care if you have a golden body or a holy body. The Qi clan was located in a primitive mountain range. Below it was a city, and above it was a divine island that floated in the sky. It was densely dotted with stars, and it looked very spectacular. This was the first time that Yi Fan had entered as a guest. This time, he received a grand reception. With their ancestral sage accompanying him, naturally, no one dared to find fault with him. Yi Fan felt a sense of vicissitudes and grandeur as he ascended a floating ancient city. This was the place where the supreme immortal physique had secluded himself in the past. Now, it had become a sacred ancient land that even saints had to revere. The bluestone slabs on the street were filled with potholes from the passage of time. As he walked on them, the sound of footsteps echoed throughout the ages. Yi Fan's heart was clear, and he found a rare moment of peace in this place. Qi Yaoguang was very cunning and naturally wanted to obtain the indestructible golden blood, but he did not force it. Instead, he took great care of Yi Fan and did not force him. Old ancestor, he killed Qi Yun. Are we really going to let this matter rest? Someone asked unwillingly. Qi Yaoguang sternly warned his descendants to improve their relationship with Yi Fan and not to become enemies. This was because he had already seen through Yi Fan's potential. If he grew up, he might become unrivaled in the world. Having a friend like this was far better than having a shameful plan. Of course, the premise was that Yi Fan could survive and grow to that realm. There was one thing that Qi Yaoguang had not considered. One of his descendants was born with a big mouth. Not even an hour after they returned to the Qi clan's immortal city, this person had already exaggerated the story of the Brahma clan's defeat. What? You're saying that Fan Xian and that ascetic cultivator are under the starry sky? No way, one of our eternal star fields' divine flowers was taken by someone just like that. That damned ascetic cultivator, I'm going to kill him. The outside world was in an uproar. People from all walks of life were moving to verify this news. The Starry Sky Network was even more chaotic. Many people were writing, unable to accept this. When Chi Yaoguang found out, he was so angry that he wanted to slap this blabbermouth great-grandson to death. His face was covered in black divine patterns. Wasn't this just looking for trouble? I don't believe it. Just an ascetic cultivator from the outer realms. How could he be worthy of our star fields immortal beads? It's definitely a rumor. If it's true, I'll definitely go. And kill that imperishable golden body. Fan Xian was extremely popular in this star field. With such a major event happening, the younger generation could no longer remain calm. There was a huge uproar, and many people were rubbing their fists in anticipation. As for the heavens, many people were bursting with anger. This time, they had really suffered a double loss and obtained nothing. Yi Fan lingered in the Qi clan for several days. He wouldn't give a single drop of golden blood even if he was beaten to death. He was even afraid of losing a single strand of his hair. He treated Qi Yaoguang as if he were a thief. It's not that I'm stingy, but if you guys use my genes to create another golden body that is exactly the same as me, how can I endure that? Qi Yaoguang patted his chest and guaranteed. Don't worry, I just want to obtain a little bit of the imperishable golden blood to cultivate. I definitely don't have that kind of intention. Moreover, that kind of clone isn't very valuable. It won't have your original divinity. Yi Fan looked at him. He wouldn't believe it even if he was beaten to death. He was determined not to give it to him. During these days, his entire body was clean and without a single strand of dirt. He was afraid that Qi Yaoguang would take advantage of this loophole. In the end, 
He gave this old saint some divine liquid from the immortal ascension pond as thanks, but he didn't expect that it would cause the other party to be shocked. This liquid actually contained a type of divine mineral. Brat, do you really not believe that my Chi clan can refine the fourth stage of the evolution fluid? Yi Fan insisted on leaving, and Chi Yaoguang couldn't stop him. Although he knew that this imperishable golden body was extremely valuable, he felt that it was more appropriate to be on good terms with it. Yi Fan needed the fourth stage of the evolution fluid, but after understanding it in detail, he could only sigh. This kind of thing was too heaven-defying. It was no problem for the Qi clan to refine the third stage, but it was almost impossible to advance further. This was because it was impossible to find the missing main material of divinity. It was rumored that there was still a remnant of that material from 4,000 years ago. It was taken out to be auctioned, but unfortunately, it had already been exhausted. In the boundless universe, if one wanted to search for it by oneself, one could only come across it by chance. It was like looking for a needle in a haystack. Nowadays, regardless of whether it was the Heaven or the Chi clan, most of the divinity minerals were accumulated over many years or exchanged with others at a high price. It was too difficult to search for it at the last moment. These days, Chi Yaoguang acted as if he was guarding against a wolf. He didn't let Yi Fan get close to Chi Ming, which made him roll his eyes. Before leaving, Yi Fan wanted to see this supremacy immortal mirror. This sex secret treasure was too mystical. It was actually able to find him in the boundless sea of people. It was really worth being vigilant about. Chi Yaoguang took out the secret treasure. It was an ancient mirror that had been around for tens of thousands of years. It was simple and unadorned, and it overflowed with a divine aura. It was very mysterious. You can rest assured that there is only one treasure mirror on the Eternal Lord Star. Other than this, no one can see through your fake body, Chi Yaoguang said with a smile. This mirror was very mystical. As long as the light shone down, and shrouded the body. No matter how one tried to hide or hide, there was no place to hide. The immortal feather star was very small. Hence, the mirror's light could shine down and illuminate everywhere. If it was on the eternal Lord's star, it would not be so effective. The Chi clan was half the owner of the immortal feather star. They could act without any scruples. It was not a problem for them to illuminate all the cities but it would not be so easy to leave this place. Yi Fan touched his chin and felt relieved. This mirror could not deduce the secrets of heaven. It was just that the mirror's light was mysterious. It only appeared when he was swept by the light beam last time. If the area was vast enough, or if he avoided it in advance, this mirror would not have any effect. On this day Yi Fan left. The Qi clan helped him build a starry door in the extraterrestrial region, which led directly to the Eternal Kingdom. This saved him the trouble of finding his own way and crossing over. You have to be careful. The Chao clan has sworn to take your divine blood and destroy your life spirit. These days, the Qi clan has withstood a lot of pressure, Qi Yaoguang said. Without batting an eyelid, he sent Yi Fan on his way. Silently, he picked up a strand of Yi Fan's hair. Yi Fan immediately sensed it. At close range, he was definitely not weaker than a saint. He purposely teased the old man and said, Senior, when are you going to marry me and Sister Chi Meng? Get lost! Chi Yaoguang's face twitched, and he wanted to hit someone. Yi Fan flicked his fingers, and the strand of hair turned to ash. He then rushed into the starry door without looking back and disappeared. It was dark inside the void tunnel. After an unknown amount of time, Yi Fan rushed out. There was a huge star in front of him, and a godly aura that made people feel awe-inspiring covered the sky and covered the earth. It was incomparably vast, 
and it was unknown how many times larger than the immortal feather star. It was as if there was a real living god lying dormant on this ancient star, and it made people tremble when they saw it. This was the eternal Lord star. In terms of grandeur, it was definitely comparable to the ancient stars with life and the Big Dipper. No one knew how long it had existed, and it was as if, as the legend said, it had once given birth to a god. Yi Fan was very cautious and used the deceiving stratagem to cover his body. He used the secret technique of the celestial court to blend into the void, and then flew towards the huge star. He did not want to be discovered the moment he approached. In the end, he successfully descended and stood on this large planet. Immediately, he felt a desolate and vast aura rushing toward him. The mountains shook and the earth shook. A group of ancient beasts, each as big as a small mountain, rushed through the forest in front of him, crushing many giant trees. This was a world that had once given birth to a god. It was boundless, with towering mountains and flowing rivers. The mountains and rivers were majestic and boundless, and there were many species that had never been seen or heard of. Yi Fan traversed who knew how many millions of miles and finally made it out of the great desolate. He asked cautiously and slowly came to understand the situation. He truly understood how powerful some of the major powers were. Yuan City was a huge city with a long history that had existed since ancient times. There were ancient buildings, and there were even modern ones. It was very complicated and strange. There were no overly tall buildings here, or else all the ancient palaces and so on would have been submerged by modern buildings, and now they looked even more classical. The combination of ancient castles, crystal cities, gardens, and modern villas was very pleasing to the eye. This was one of the ten famous cities of the Eternal Lord Star, and all the big powers had settled here. It was an ancient sacred city where crooks mixed with honest folk. Yi Fan was speechless. He saw a huge advertisement board, and on it was actually Fan Xian. The movie she starred in was about to be released, and Yi Fan was dumbfounded. Is it similar to the movies on Earth? He was really speechless. No wonder Chao Qing would chase after her from the Eternal Lord Star to the heavens. It seemed that the effect of celebrities and beauties was not limited to the other side of the starry sky, and it was the same everywhere. Yi Fan walked on the main street that still had an ancient aura. He was struck by the alternating modern and classical scenes as he walked forward aimlessly. Along the way, he saw the footprints left by the ancient great sage on a bluestone and he also saw the ruins of the ancient castles where the descendants of the gods resided, as well as a modern theater. Suddenly, a bitter aura rushed over. It was as if there were thousands of soldiers and horses galloping in front of him. The murderous aura made even him apprehensive. Yi Fan's eyes flashed. It was a coliseum that occupied a large area and every giant stone was engraved with great Tao runes that flowed with the traces of time. Many people stopped in their tracks because a large advertisement had just been posted. In three days, there would be a stunning battle here, and it would be a great collision between super-powerful divine bodies. Yi Fan was petrified on the spot because he saw the person participating in the battle on the advertisement. Even though it was only a side view, he could almost confirm that it was an old friend. Chapter 1168 The man on the poster had jet black hair that was as thick as a waterfall, draping over his chest and back. His eyes were filled with endless stars, deep and terrifying, like a demonic god. Even though it was only the side of his face, people could feel his sharpness. His face was as sharp as a knife like the reincarnation of an ancient god. Behind him, a vast and intimidating purple aura surged. Southern monster Chi Lin. Yi Fan was quite surprised. He didn't think that one of the gladiators would be him. This was too unexpected. 
This was an old friend of the Big Dipper. Central Emperor, Southern Monster, Bodhisattva of the West. Back then, he was the most outstanding person of the younger generation. After so many years, he finally heard news of the Southern Monster. This person is very powerful. He's undefeated 99 times in a row. He's called the demonic god, a legend. In front of the huge stone gate in front of the arena, many people were looking at the poster. They discussed in whispers, talking about some of the southern monster's situation. He's about to face the most crucial battle. If he can win 100 battles without being defeated, he'll have the qualifications to fight for the title of the strongest and become a member of that sequence. We must come to watch the battle in three days. We can't miss it. It will definitely be a battle between dragons and tigers. There will definitely be a world-shaking battle. There will most likely be peerless experts stopping him. The southern monster definitely had a heavenly talent when he was in the Big Dipper Star region. When he cut down the Tao, he produced a phenomenon comparable to the ancient demonic emperor making all monsters worship him. And now, he was still stirring up a storm on the Eternal Lord Star. Clearly, he was a super powerful character that everyone was paying attention to. I don't know if he's loyal to a family or fighting for himself. His background has always been mysterious, and there's no way to find out more about him. It seems that he's the strongest warrior raised by a big family. Someone is hiding everything about him in the dark. Maybe he's a slave captured from the outer realm. Otherwise, who would fight like this? The 100th battle is about to begin. A hundred battles of life and death was an impressive achievement. Up to this point, it was truly a sensational battle. Unfortunately, no one had been able to uncover the secrets of the demonic god. Yi Fan learned a lot in front of the arena. This was the pastime of rulers and the favorite of the nobles. They would often send out their battle pets to compete. Every time, a large number of people would be involved, because there would be all kinds of bets on who would win and who would lose, and every time, the wager would be astronomical. This was a competition of death. Entering the arena was a battle of life and death. The slightest bit of carelessness would result in the death of one's body and soul. No one was willing to enter. Normal people wouldn't participate, because this was too cruel. This was an arena where great powers fought, using their powerful servants to fight. Many disputes were resolved through this. Of course, there were also special circumstances. Some people wanted to hone themselves or participate in the duel for the sake of the high duel fees. High risk naturally had high returns. The underground black merchant hoped that cultivators of a certain standard would enter the arena, and they were even more looking forward to the showdown between famous people. Thus, they didn't hesitate to offer a sky-high price. In the past, the things that could attract experts were nothing more than peerless beauties, sacred artifacts, and so on. Later on, even the most powerful evolutionary fluid became a reward, attracting even more experts' hearts. Because of this, the Colosseum became more and more popular. Every time there was a battle of importance, it would cause a commotion in all directions. Many nobles would personally come to watch. This time, the winner of the duel would obtain the third stage of the evolutionary fluid. The demonic god would break through the legend of being undefeated in over a hundred battles, attracting the attention of the world. Naturally, the reward would be very generous, attracting many ancient clans to participate. Many people would definitely place bets. Three days passed in the blink of an eye. Many cultivators wanted to watch the battle, but it was difficult to obtain a ticket. Even if they spent a lot of money, they still wouldn't be able to obtain one. The seats in the Colosseum had long been filled, and they had been divided up by various nobles. Yi Fan could only watch helplessly. 
Even if he had all kinds of treasures, it was useless. It was difficult to obtain a ticket, and he had no way of entering. A large group of people had gathered at the entrance of the Colosseum. They were all people who wished to obtain a ticket but couldn't enter. Suddenly, Yi Fan's eyes lit up when he saw Qi Ming. She actually came to watch the battle, and one could imagine the influence of today's battle. He immediately moved forward and secretly transmitted his voice, causing Qi Meng to be astonished. Qi Yaoguang appeared from the side, blocking him as if he was guarding against a wolf. Brat, I'm warning you, don't have any ideas about my descendant. Senior, I didn't think we would meet again so soon. Please help me get a ticket. Yi Fan laughed. Six or seven people from the Qi clan came. In the end, an unlucky fellow with a darkened face unwillingly handed over his ticket to Yi Fan. He had a stomach full of resentment, but because of the old ancestor's face, he didn't dare to act out. He gloomily walked towards the main street. In this place, you absolutely must be a bit more obedient. Don't cause trouble, Qi Yaoguang warned. The Colosseum was vast and enormous. At the center was a stone platform that resembled half a mountain. The cut surface was as smooth as a mirror. It was rumored that this was cut out by an ancient great sage. It was sturdy enough, and there were immortal divine patterns engraved on it. As for the spectators, they all sat around the stone platform. There was a great protective formation in front of them so they didn't have to worry about all kinds of offensive techniques rushing out. They could peacefully watch the battle. This place was mainly made of stone. All kinds of seats, railings, and platforms were made of stone. It retained a primitive aura and emitted a type of pressure. During the ancient years, saints often fought here. The ground here has been dyed with saint blood, and it is definitely a holy land. Someone discussed in a low voice. The great battle hadn't started yet, but the various kings had already sat down. The enormous Colosseum was completely filled with people. Every single one of them was someone with status and background. Yi Fan entered separately from the Qi clan, and his seat just happened to be right behind them. Even though they were adjacent, no one felt that there was any connection between them. Brother, can you change seats? My clan's master has some matters to discuss with young Miss Ji Ming. A young man spoke, using his eyes to indicate for him to stand up. Unfortunately, Yi Fan just happened to be sitting behind Ji Ming. He did his best to avoid the two of them getting to know each other, but someone still came looking for him. He glanced at this person. Even though this person was a servant, he had already reached the Tao Severing Realm. He looked in the direction where this person came from, and on another row of seats not too far away, there was a cultured and refined young man who was currently nodding towards him, and Qi Ming. I'm sorry, I don't want to change seats. You. This young man's eyes shot out a beam of light. It was extremely shocking. This was a supreme expert and he didn't think that Yi Fan would refuse without even thinking about it. Don't worry, Zhao An is back. Not too far away, the cultured man in white said, as if he didn't want to cause trouble. His eyes were very bright, and his cultivation was extraordinary. This is Zhao Qing Chuan, a famous expert who is extremely famous among the younger generation. And the Zhao clan is similar to the Chao clan, they are both nobles of a region on the Eternal Overlord planet, and they are the most powerful forces. Qi Meng frowned. She had never interacted with Zhao Qingchuan before, so she didn't know why he was acting like this today. Based on his status, there are definitely very few people who would dare to go against him. As one of the most outstanding talents of the younger generation, today he is acting like this. He is testing my identity. Yi Fan's heart stirred. That's right. Qi Meng nodded. Yi Fan was a new face, and to those who frequented the arena, 
he was too unfamiliar. Now that he dared to refuse Zhao Qingchuan, it revealed a lot of information. The battle has begun! On the high platform, a screen of light rose up and enveloped the huge stone platform, preventing the battle from affecting the spectators. The screen of light was crystal clear, and it was carved by the ancient great sage, so it was absolutely safe. On the vast stone platform that was like half a broken mountain, a young man appeared. His black hair fell over his shoulders, and his body was bronze in color. He was very strong, and his eyes were sharp. He was like a demon god, and he had a special temperament. This body was no different from the southern demon, but it was a pity that Yi Fan couldn't use his divine sense to penetrate the great sage's screen of light, so he couldn't sense his aura and make a final judgment. The battle has begun! There was a commotion in the arena, and another gladiator appeared. His body was covered in demonic patterns, and his silver hair fell over his shoulders. Even his eyes were silver, and he was very powerful. As soon as he appeared, he left behind a few afterimages as he pounced towards the demon god. Silver eyes, it's actually silver eyes. No wonder. I knew that the demon god's 100th battle would be obstructed. It turned out that this person has come out. How much did they have to pay to invite him? This was a king tier who had only been defeated once in his life. He had dominated the eastern region for more than a hundred years, and only gave way to saints. He didn't fear any Tao-severing experts, and he had killed several half-saints. It was said that a hundred years ago, during the selection for the strongest constitution, he had lost to his opponent due to an accident. It was very regrettable. Everyone, you can place your bets now. The bets on the ground reminded everyone. Silver Eyes quickly retreated after the attack and confronted the demon god, no longer attacking. Clearly, the two of them were familiar with the rules of the arena, and they wanted to give the noble guests time to place their bets. After the commotion, the arena regained its calm. Many people had placed their bets, and the battle was about to begin. This was a primitive battle without the help of mecha or war tools. It was a battle fought with the methods of the ascetic cultivators. For the people of the Eternal Lord Star, this was especially hot-blooded. Since ancient times, they had always relied on external tools, and there were almost no ascetic cultivators left. This profession was almost extinct. They had heard that in the era of their ancestors, the ascetic cultivators tore apart Mecca with their bodies and fought against the world. Unfortunately, that era had passed, and all kinds of powerful war tools had become their choice. Within the arena, all kinds of light beams danced, and a fierce battle broke out. The demon god was like its name, like the reincarnation of an ancient demon lord. Its divine bravery was unstoppable. Yi Fan secretly guessed that the southern monster must have taken the evolution fluid, and not just once. Otherwise, it would be impossible for him to be so tyrannical. Silver Eyes was also divine. After all, he was a peak Tao severing expert, and he had an absolute advantage in terms of cultivation level. He was stronger than the southern monster. The two of them fought, and all kinds of secret techniques were used. They were all ascetic cultivators' methods. This was a battle for the treasures of the flesh and the spectators were dazzled. So powerful. If they continue to develop like this, they will one day be able to tear apart ancient Mecca with their bare hands. The southern monster is too powerful. His cultivation level is not as high as Silver Eyes, but he can fight on equal footing. This is really inconceivable. You should know that Silver Eyes can be said to be an invincible existence among Tao's severing experts. People discussed in low voices and watched nervously. Piffed. 
No one would have thought that after a mere 200 rounds, the demon god would strike out with a peerless attack and almost cleave Silver Eyes in half. Silver blood splattered, and this opponent was sent flying, no longer able to fight. Ah, he won. So fast, a hundred consecutive victories. Oh my god, that piece of divinity or of mine pressed down on silver eyes. At this moment, another young man appeared in the arena. With a smile on his face, he waved at the crowd and said, Everyone, please calm down. Do you want to know the origins of the demon god? Until today, when he won a hundred consecutive victories, I feel that I am qualified to say it. He comes from a mysterious ancient planet. I have been looking forward to this day for a long time, waiting for him to create glory. To tell you the truth, he is only one of the powerful bloodlines of that ancient planet, and there are many more there. I think you all know what I am talking about and understand what I mean. I have shown everyone the terrifying value of that mysterious ancient planet through him. I think our compatriots here can't hold back anymore. Does anyone want to go on an expedition? Chapter 1169 What? A mysterious ancient planet with many powerful bloodlines? Doesn't that mean this source of life is very terrifying? The arena was filled with all kinds of voices. Many people were cursing. They had bet on Silver Eye, but in the end, they lost everything and lost everything. What a joke. If there was such a precious planet, you guys would have already left. Why would you say it out loud and invite us on our way? The heirs of the great nobles naturally bet on rare ores. Many people lost big and were in a bad mood. They didn't believe his words. Let him speak in detail. I want to listen carefully. Naturally, there were also true nobles in the arena. Their expressions were serious, and they were very interested in this. The man on the stone platform was very young with a slender figure and a fair complexion. He had a head of long blue hair and an imposing appearance. With a calm and confident expression, he quietly watched people's reactions. This seems to be someone from the Lan Tua clan. It's the saint's grandson, Lan Tua. He's very fond of him. Someone was astonished. The Lan Tua clan was very famous on the Eternal Lord Star. They focused on the exploration of the star domain. They started off as marauders and slowly grew into a giant. They once discovered an ancient land of life and sold the experts there, accumulating a batch of initial capital. Yifan clenched his fists. He learned about the clan's past from people's discussions. Simply put, they were a group of human traffickers. Now, they had their eyes on the Big Dipper Star domain and started with his old friends. Everyone, you don't understand. You still don't understand the value of that ancient planet. Although my Lan Tua clan wants to advance, we don't have the strength to do so. If we go there alone, we probably won't be able to make a splash. I can tell everyone with certainty that it's a divine land with traces of ancient deities' activities. There are all kinds of powerful bloodlines and ancient minds formed from the origin lifestone. There are many natives and naturally, there are also some experts. Lan Tua Tu explains some of the Big Dipper Star's situation. It immediately caused a sensation. At this moment, people couldn't sit still and were all attracted. There are immortal tears green gold, black dragon pattern gold. They can be refined into divine meccas. In addition, there are supreme immortal medicines used by ancient deities to refine immortal pills. You all know what this means. It's incomparably dreamy. All of these are extremely precious and their value can't be estimated. They will only be wasted in the hands of those natives. We need to excavate them and display their true value. Lan Tuatu was impassioned as he mobilized all the major clans, asking who wanted to join them and head to the Big Dipper Star region together. This was a huge uproar. 
The outcome of the battle in the arena was no longer important. Everyone was attracted by this mysterious ancient planet. Traces of the ancient gods, countless precious resources, this is what we lack. Those natives don't understand the value of these things. We can't let them shine. The Lanto clan was about to carry out a great robbery. They deeply felt that their own strength was not enough, and they needed some powerful allies. Otherwise, they were afraid that they would fall in the Big Dipper Star region. With such a beautiful prospect and so many divinity ores, it was worth it for every major force to make a move. No one could remain calm. The Lanto clan started off by plundering and grew into a giant. Their hearts wouldn't be so kind. If the road ahead was filled with immortal medicines, would they still call on us? Needless to say, it's full of danger. Naturally, there were people who didn't buy it, especially the hostile forces of the Lanto clan. They spoke up one after another and questioned loudly. High risk comes with high reward. The natives of that place are indeed not weak. Otherwise, why would we need allies? However, no matter what, they can't contend against our eternal kingdom, said Lan Tuatu. In the end, he threw out a heavy bomb. It shocked many nobles and even some saints who had secretly arrived stood up and looked at him in disbelief. Everyone, do you still remember Wan Qing? He proved his Tao with a primal chaos green lotus and came from that ancient planet. What? Is what you said true? Everyone was in an uproar. I can tell everyone that Wan Qing finally returned to that ancient planet and passed away 10,000 years ago. He left behind his orthodoxy and immortal treasures. This information was fatal. Everyone was tempted. Wan Qing swept through this place back then and left behind an indelible myth and legend. If what you said is true, we can consider cooperating. A battle across galaxies is the most interesting. Some nobles responded positively. In the arena, only Yi Fan's eyes were cold. Some nobles were very conceited and treated the cultivators of the Northern Dipper domain as lowly natives. The Lanto clan in particular deserved to be killed. However, he couldn't change anything. The news had leaked out, and a collision between galaxies was inevitable. Yi Fan was not anxious. He was calm and even somewhat expectant. He firmly believed in the terror of the saints of the Northern Dipper domain. If these people went on an expedition, it would be interesting to see who would suffer a great loss. Everyone, we need to make a long-term plan. If there are nobles who are interested and want to go on an expedition, they can come here and discuss with our saint, said Lan Tuatu. The arena became a meeting place. Many major forces were discussing, and many people were red in the face. Faced with absolute benefits, no one was willing to relax. Lan Tuatu said, Everyone knows that an expedition will cost a lot and require a great price. My clan is willing to go there with the ten races. We can discuss in detail who is willing to form an alliance. Many people cursed. This was a naked asking price. The Lanto clan wanted to find a partner and clearly stated the number of allies. They didn't want to accept everyone. People understood that they wanted to make a killing. They would choose whoever had the highest value and who was willing to give up various resources. The nobles were naturally unwilling, and the scene was chaotic. Not far away, Zhao Qingchuan walked over and chatted with Qi Ming. They actually talked about the indestructible golden body. He was cultured and elegant, asking if this ascetic was from the Northern Dipper domain. Qi Meng naturally wouldn't say anything. The Qi clan had already made their stance clear. They wouldn't be hostile to Yi Fan. It was better to be friends with such a person than to be enemies. At this time, even someone of Qi Yaoguang's status had already climbed onto the stone platform in front of the arena. There, 
he was there to understand the situation of the Northern Dipper domain in detail. The arena was in an uproar. There were a few people walking over with Xiao Qingchuan. One of them cast a sidelong glance at Yi Fan and sneered. Who are you, brat? Brother Zhao wants to exchange seats with you, yet you dare to go against him. You must have just come out of your sect. How insensible. Cooperate with you? Yi Fan glanced at him. I'll give you two choices. One is to scram immediately, and the other is to wait for death. This young man was insufferably arrogant. He directly approached Yi Fan. Qi Meng secretly transmitted her voice. This is a rogue cultivator named Su Hai. He's quite famous in Origin City. He has already cut his Tao for many years and is very close to some of the nobles. He's a sharp blade. Is Zhao Qingchuan really that sharp? This is the first time we've met, and he's already like this. Could it be that he's discovered my identity and wants to use Su Hai to test me? Yi Fan's heart stirred. Su Hai, what are you doing? Hurry up and come back, Zhao Qingchuan said. Brother Su, come back. Those who don't know would think that Brother Zhao is bullying us. A few nobles also tried to persuade him. I just can't stand his calmness. I want to see what kind of divine being he is. Su Hai was very insolent. He came up and pulled on Yi Fan's arm. Scram! Yi Fan didn't budge. The swastika heavenly art was mixed with his voice, forming a beam that rushed into Su Hai's immortal platform. Piffed. Blood flowed out of Su Hai's seven apertures. His forehead cracked and he was sent flying, landing right on his seat. His entire body convulsed and trembled uncontrollably. The expressions of the people around them changed, but no one said anything. It was obvious that this kind of thing happened frequently. Some nobles' heirs were passionate fans of the arena. Their battle pets and slaves would often come here to participate in the battles, and there would be conflicts from time to time. Zhao Qingchuan looked deeply at Yi Fan and left with a few people. However, when he turned around, he said to Qi Meng, The Chao clan is angry. If the Qi clan wants to go to the Big Dipper Star region, you must be careful. The arena was in chaos. The people were very dissatisfied. Only the ten clans could form an alliance with the Lantua clan. This was too little. Many nobles wanted a piece of the pie. An elder from the Lantua clan appeared and comforted them. He promised that this was only the first batch of advanced troops. Their main task was to scout ahead. After the results were confirmed, the main army would set off. Everyone, perhaps you don't know, but there's an important piece of news that I haven't said yet. The value of that ancient planet is much greater than we imagined. Do you still remember the person named Wu Shi who almost destroyed our eternal Lord Star over a hundred thousand years ago? In his later years, he also descended on that ancient planet and passed away there. What? The people in the arena were completely shocked. This matter was too distant, but the nobles would never forget it. That year, that battle was simply a nightmare. There were peerless experts wearing the battle armor left behind by the ancient gods, but they suffered a crushing defeat. Moreover, there was a divine battle armor that was permanently shattered. It was destroyed in that battle. Wu Shi swept through the Eternal Star region, leaving behind a terrifying legend. Yi Fan's mouth opened and closed again. Emperor Wu Shi had also appeared here. Such power made people revere him. He had once heard the Black Emperor say that Wu Shi didn't set off from the extraordinary scholar residence in a step-by-step -step manner. Instead, he had set off many years after becoming a saint and had gone to many places. I wonder if the saint is who wanted to follow in Emperor Wu Shi's footsteps and look up to him for the rest of her life came from here. Unfortunately, after searching for a lifetime, she died in the starry sky in the end. The resplendent Big Dipper. 
The arena meeting ended, and the various races dispersed one after another. However, the storm spread like a hurricane, and the entire eternal Lord's star was in an uproar. The era of great wastelands had arrived. Many major powers were eager to go all out and enter the Big Dipper to transport away those rare resources. In the following days, the giants discussed in secret and began the interstellar expedition. Everything was carried out in full swing. Many loose cultivators became active because the various great clans were recruiting. Since they were about to embark on a long expedition, it was only natural that they would need experts. Some of the great clans even hired mercenaries. In many people's eyes, this was a great era. There would be endless wealth waiting for them. That was a mysterious ancient planet filled with dreams and divine treasures. As for what Yi Fan was doing, of course, he was being recruited. He wanted to use this opportunity to go back and take a look. There was a faint anticipation in his heart. The battle between the mothership and the saints was about to be revealed. After so many years, Wu Shu's tomb is still here. It's called Purple Mountain. Those natives are really pitiful. Since they can't bear to do it, let's go and cut it open. When they heard that Wu Shu's tomb was still there, the major races that had suffered in the past were immediately excited. They firmly believed that the supreme human must have left behind countless divine treasures. I'm looking forward to you opening it. Yi Fan only let out a cold laugh after hearing this. Chapter 1170 Eternal Lord Star was in an uproar. Undercurrents were surging in the dark today, all sides unable to remain calm. The great era of development had arrived, an unprecedented opportunity placed before them. All great clans were recruiting soldiers. As long as one had enough strength, they would definitely be recruited. They all wanted to seize the initiative in the future battles for territories. Origin Ancient Mine, it truly is something to look forward to. There is actually a place like this. I believe that a certain amount of Origin Lifestone can be excavated. Since there is this type of divine material, then perhaps the others can be found as well. It truly makes one excited. Fifth, or even sixth level immortal evolution liquid might even be refined. The beautiful prospects and grand blueprints made many great clans excited. For them, that place might become a divine land of revival, recreating the glory of eternal kingdom. Only Yi Fan frowned. These people wanted to excavate origin ancient mine, were they tired of living? Could it be that this ancient star had a few quasi-emperors who were going to head over with mechas left behind by ancient deities? This will trigger a great revolution. Back then, we found a similar resource star, allowing our civilization progress to be advanced by 50,000 years. This time, it might be a hundred thousand years, or even longer. Just wait and see. Yi Fan was rushing about, entering and exiting various great recruitment points. He was choosing a great power wishing to find a king clan with enough strength to join one of the ten clans. In reality, all of the clans were recruiting, but there were only eleven clans including the Vanguard and Lantua clan. The others had to wait until they were clear before setting off. Yi Fan wasn't willing to wait too long. The entire star system was recruiting, the supply of mercenaries becoming unprecedentedly high. After being recruited by the great clans, it was as if all of humanity was going to carry out a great migration. The starry sky web was boiling, people discussing and arguing every day, always revolving around this topic. There were naturally people who criticized this, saying that this was invasion, protesting that this was bullying the weak natives. However, no great power cared about these things. In their eyes, there were only benefits, not letting go of any resources. Yi Fan was choosing between mercenaries and great powers, moving back and forth. With his strength, he would definitely be welcomed no matter where he went. However, 
his ambitions weren't limited to this. He wanted to rise up, and when the time came, he would be able to plunder a mothership. When the various great clans took action, only the underworld king clan remained calm. They didn't make any preparations, coldly watching from the sidelines. They only gave a few great clans they were on good terms with a word of warning, saying that that place would most likely be difficult to find. Back then, their ancestors came from that place. Now, very few people knew that even their ancestors couldn't find the way back. They felt that the Lantua clan might not necessarily succeed. When the Lantua clan learned of this, the person in charge shook his head and laughed, saying that the demonic god was not ordinary and had grasped the demonic race's ancient method to record the starry sky coordinates, paying great attention to measurement along the way. The Lanto clan, on the other hand, could deduce and calculate step by step based on these coordinates that were so primitive that they were almost ancient. They could go back in time and find that mysterious universe. When the Netherworld King tribe heard about it, they also started to make preparations. However, their true intentions were not to participate in it. This was because they vaguely remembered the teachings of their ancestors. There was a path of immortalhood in the Big Dipper Star domain. Even the ancient emperors had found their way to that place. It was definitely not simple. However, they buried all of this at the bottom of their hearts and didn't say it out loud. They were prepared on the surface, but they were watching silently in secret. Other than the Netherworld King tribe, the deity Feather Chi clan also had other plans. This was because the old saint, Chi Yaoguang, had personally consulted Yi Fan and said that he would listen to his advice. Don't go. Looting there won't end well. Yi Fan only said this and didn't mention the situation in the Big Dipper Star. The Qi clan immediately quieted down and became very cautious. They didn't want to get involved in this mess. From Yi Fan's calm words, they could feel a murderous intent. You have no choice but to prepare. Someone is watching you. They all know that you have helped me before, and some big clans have already guessed that I came from the Big Dipper Star domain. For example, that Zhao Qing Chuan is very meticulous. He must be observing your movements. Brat, you are really dishonest. Aren't you tricking us? Qi Yaoguang said. Yi Fan's expression was solemn as he said, They are going to invade the Big Dipper Star domain. There will be an interstellar war, and it's hard to say who will die. I just don't want you to act alone and attract the attention of others. This was a long and drawn-out preparation because an expedition was not a child's play. There was always the possibility of failure in the outer realms. The people of the Eternal Lord Star weren't blindly arrogant. They had learned enough information from the demon god. Recruiting experts, building warships, and repairing motherships were all being carried out in full swing. All kinds of expedition plans were also being discussed. During this time, other than thinking about which major force to join, Yi Fan was also actively preparing. He was doing his homework analyzing and studying all kinds of minerals. He learned about the various divine main materials needed to refine the strongest evolution fluid. They were truly rare and could only be found by chance. However, he might be able to find some in the Big Dipper Star. Today, he urgently wanted to increase his realm. The ancient mirror left behind by Ji Haoyue recorded the dangers ahead. The nine pieces of information made him restless. If he wanted to advance, he must become a saint. Otherwise, there would be many dangers ahead. If he chased like this, he would most likely die. This divine mineral that only appears once in eternity is the eye of creation? Yi Fan was shocked. No wonder the evolution fluid was so priceless. None of the required materials were ordinary and all of them were peerless treasures. Especially the nine main materials, each more precious than the last. The Destiny Rock, the Eye of Fortune, 
the immortal vine, the primordial life stone, the heart of the dead world. Which one of them was in heaven defying? In a sense, as long as there was a main mineral with divinity, he could refine the first stage of the evolutionary fluid. He could find substitutes for the other main materials, and then add dozens of auxiliary rare minerals, and he would more or less succeed. In fact, the number of main divinity materials would determine the stage of the evolutionary fluid that could be refined. For example, in the pure land of heaven last time, they didn't have the immortal vine and used the meteorite withered vine heart as a substitute. They only had the destiny rock, the primordial life stone, and a small piece of the heart of the dead world to successfully refine the third stage of the fluid. Of course, they were well prepared. They had gathered all kinds of auxiliary rare minerals, and they were all of high quality. The missing main materials were all good substitutes. Yi Fan pondered for a while after understanding the details. It was simply impossible to refine the ninth stage of the immortal level fluid. Not to mention the ninth stage, even the eighth and seventh stages were difficult to refine. The most sensational event in the past 50,000 years on the Lord Eternal Star was when someone barely managed to refine the sixth stage of the fluid. After robbing the purple-eyed woman at the Undying Mountain, the Destiny Rock had only just begun to melt and had just extracted the first stage of the fluid. I left it in the Heavenly Village, so it should be of great use. In addition, I can ask the sacred prince to invite the victorious fighting Buddha. Maybe he can get a piece of the primordial life stone from the origin ancient mine. As for the heart of the dead world, I seem to have it with me. When he stepped on the starry sky ancient path, he once stayed on a planet full of withered bones for a period of time. He once saw the battle between the saint-level skeletal creatures and the golden holy ship. In the end, he went deep into the Earth's core and took away a mineral filled with death energy. Now, he finally learned that it was actually the heart of the dead world. This kind of mineral only had a one in a billion chance of appearing in the land of extreme death. The black mineral contained the miracle of immortality and was the rarest of treasures. Yi Fan studied it carefully and finally learned a lot of valuable things. If he could return to the Big Dipper this time, he would pay more attention and collect them. By doing so, both he and his old friends would gain great benefits. There would be a qualitative transformation. Every step forward would shorten the time of cultivation by a hundred years. The significance was too great. In the blink of an eye, for months had passed. The various clans of the Eternal Lord Star were in full swing. Their preparations had almost come to an end. It could be seen that they were very serious and attached great importance to this trip. Yi Fan chose to join a super noble clan known as the Rising Sun City. In the history of such an ancient clan, there had been great sages. In particular, some of them still had King of Sages. Therefore, they were known as nobles. The Chao clan, the Brahmin clan of the immortal feather star ocean, the Emo clan of the original demon star ocean, the Zhao clan where Zhao Qingchuan was from, the Rising Sun City Royal clan. Including the Lantua clan, there were a total of 11 clans. The pre-war preparations were almost done. They were about to start assembling and embarking on the road of expedition. A war across star fields was about to begin. Yi Fan was not so optimistic. There really were experts in this star field. It was not as simple as he thought. If the great sage rode a divine mecca on the road, it would most likely be a disaster. Of course, he was not pessimistic. Since he could not stop it, he could only follow. When the time came, he would inform the saints of the Big Dipper in advance. Perhaps there would be a grand occasion where the weapons of the great ancient emperors collided with the Mecca of the ancient gods. I should prepare some gifts for them. For example, I should send some sketches to the eleven great royal clans. 
It would be best if I could lead them to places like the origin ancient mine or the gathering place of the ancient races. However, it was very difficult to do so. Who would believe him? If he presented the sketches, he would most likely be immediately targeted and found out. In the end, the opportunity came. What happened next caused a huge uproar. A pair of siblings from the Purple Cloud race who had been lost in the universe for many years returned with shocking news. They said that they had been to the Big Dipper Star Field and had fallen near a strange place called the Immortal Mountain. They had hibernated there for many years, but in the end, an accident happened. The evolutionary fluid that they had refined was taken away by a native. That is really a treasure land. Through the description of the siblings from the Purple Cloud race, it has been confirmed that the words of the Lanto race can be trusted. That native has one of the strongest physiques in the universe. Perhaps there really are many powerful bloodlines in that land. Miss Zien has finally returned. She is the pride of the Purple Cloud race. She has entered the universe alone with her brother for so many years to refine the evolutionary fluid. It is really admirable. She is the most beautiful fairy on the eternal main star, comparable to Qi Meng and Fan Xian in the immortal feather star field. When Yi Fan received the news, he was stunned. The pair of alien siblings had escaped and returned. They were once his captives and had only just returned to the mother planet. The fairy-like beautiful young lady Zi Yan and her group had suffered greatly. The mothership had been taken away, leaving only the golden mecha god's will inside. It had to constantly jump through space and was lost in the cold and dark universe more than ten times. It had almost died outside and only returned after a narrow escape. Some of the warriors who had returned with them were immediately secretly divided up by the various royal families. They were lured with large amounts of money just to understand that ancient planet. Unfortunately, these people's knowledge was limited. Because they had been immersed in refining the evolutionary fluid for many years, they had no idea what kind of divine land the real Big Dipper star was. They also talked about some important matters. When they were about to leave, they had captured many strange races. The power of their bloodlines was indeed extraordinary. This could not help but make the people of the Eternal Main Star even more excited. Yi Fan began to move. He distributed various versions of the secret map, making people mistakenly think that it was the secret revealed by these people who had returned. After doing all this, there was only one thing left and that was to save the southern demon. In these few months, he had been working hard to confirm her identity, but it was still difficult to get close. The Lanto race's defenses were too strict. Finally, before he set off, the ancient saint Chi Yaoguang brought him an important piece of news. Recently, rumors had been everywhere. All kinds of maps of the Big Dipper star field were flying in the sky. This made the various royal families lose confidence. Together, they forced the Lanto race to make them reveal all the secrets the demon god knew. In the end, the ten generals pressured the royal families. The Lanto race had no choice but to tell the truth. They allowed them to see the demon god's sea of consciousness. Everything was no longer a secret. What? The demon god is a clone and not the real one. Yi Fan was a bit surprised, but he was not that surprised. He had long suspected that it was most likely not the real southern demon. That's right. There is a strand of the southern demon's imprint in his sea of consciousness. Most of it is led by a half-saint from the Lanto race. Chi Yaoguang said. The southern demon had once fought with the Lanto race. In order to save her sister, Chi Wushui, she almost died and spilled a lot of demon god's blood. The Lanto race used this to forge the demon god's body, Chi Yaoguang said. A few years later, the demon godlike man came back and killed many of the Lanto race's experts. 
However, under the intervention of an ancient saint, he lost an incarnation and passed away with heavy injuries. Yi Fan was shocked. The southern demon was not simple. To be able to escape from an ancient saint, either he was well prepared or he was unbelievably powerful. In that case, the demon god's sea of consciousness now contains the imprint of the southern demon's incarnation? That's right. Chi Yaoguang nodded. Since the Lanto race revealed the secret, did you let anyone see the consciousness of that incarnation? Yi Fan asked. I saw it myself. Chi Yaoguang showed it to him. In the end, Yi Fan was dumbfounded. The southern demon was really ruthless. He lost his incarnation and almost died. It was definitely done on purpose. That was because these imprints were all terrifying killing plans. The Big Dipper in the Demon God's Sea of Consciousness did not seem to have many ancient saints. The Sea of Consciousness clearly showed some important places of the ancient race, thinking that there were divine treasures there. That incarnation was definitely done by the Southern Demon and was left behind on purpose. This is a massacre against the ancient race. The people of the Eternal Lord Star and the ancient race will kill each other. When the Southern Demon left, the Big Dipper Star region was in deep trouble. The threat of the ancient races was too great. They could sweep through the world at any time and leave billions of corpses behind. In a sense, the Southern Demon was forced to leave. Yi Fan distributed the map and wanted to do the same. However, it was not perfect because he did not fall into the same situation as the southern demon and could not take advantage of the current situation. The southern goblin's plan was very perfect. It displayed all of his intentions, and the two of them coincidentally had the same idea. How ruthless! Yi Fan laughed. The southern demon was indeed impressive. Woo! The war horn left behind by the ancient great sage sounded. The motherships of the eternal Lord Star rose into the air one after another and headed for the stargate that had been opened long ago. The violet cloud royal family also joined in. A total of twelve noble families set off, and each group sent at least four motherships. As for the ancient Saint Mechas, there were even more. There were also powerful beings like Saint Kings to hold the line. 